Well, let me yeah. ask you a so question there, Rito. That can't mean that it goes you from above that, your head, on, so you're on, looking up on. to you're below your head, up, which is you looking down. Because it's a globe, right? So have you ever yeah. seen things disappear as you're walking by a straight line? I don't understand why you're asking me that. It's got nothing to do with my argument. You're an idiot. So things it's don't got nothing to do with my argument. My argument is standing on a hill, God damn it, standing you're on a hill, you have to look up, and then you have to look well, down, and then it disappears. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep over talking to you because you're a fucking asshole. Right. So until you um, answer my fucking head? question instead of over talking me, I'm just going to keep over talking you. Right. So What's now, that nothing to do with are you argument? denying? Are you denying that things disappear from the bottom up on a flat surface? It, it's got nothing to do with my argument. It doesn't indicate. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Are, are you denying care. that things disappear from the bottom up on a flat surface? Yes or no? You'd have to give me a specific instance of it happening, things and then I can explain you how it happens, but it doesn't just magically surface, happen. Yes no. There has to be certain things that cause it to happen. Things disappear from the bottom up on a flat surface. They can. Surface. Yes or they no? They can, but they don't always do. They can, but don't always do. They always do. Always. No. Unless there's give me so the rule much for that. Fog, everything disappears at once. Give me the rule for that. Quit. You're just going to keep talking. You're annoying the fuck out of me, man. Give me a reason why you think it will always happen. Because all you have to do is go outside and watch. Every time yeah. I do it, it happens. Every that could time. be because it's a globe as well, couldn't it, mate? Nope. Not on a flat road. Well, because I'm yes, talking because a about a flat road. Yeah, but you said now, every time it happens, but it every doesn't time. happen yes, every, every time. time. I've the showed stars pictures. don't suddenly, I've the stars don't suddenly stop being visible just because they're a long way away. I've shown pictures of a flat road, how my tires disappear. How far away can you see the sun from where you oh are? Oh, my God. You're fucking, you're an asshole. I, I'm disengaging. Fuck you. See, when you, when you have no brain and you can only think with a curve and you don't understand that shit disappears from the bottom up on a flat surface, which is provable over and over and over and over, the only thing you guys can do is deny it? That's really fucked up. See, I'm not denying it. I'm saying it. it can happen. I can I'm see saying it can happen. Buddy. Okay. I'm going to listen. I'm saying it can happen. I'm saying it doesn't always happen. There's no rule that says that it will always, always happen. happen that way. So it also has nothing to do with my argument. So would you yeah, like to address my argument? Happen. Yes, it does. All right, two seconds before you guys carry on. Geeks, can you turn your video <laughs> off, please? It caps, it caps the room at 25, so there'll only be 25 people oh, in here. Please turn your video off, dude. Thank you. If you don't, I'll disconnect you. Yeah, just disconnect him. He's a troll. Please He's a drunken troll. No, I have it. Love you guys. All right, see you later. Right. This way, just crap stuff. Cheers, guys. Carry on. All right, cool. All right, huh? So you, you, do, you do concede that uh, things do disappear from the bottom up on a flat surface, at least sometimes, at, right? At least sometimes, yes. Okay. But not always. Sometimes they just disappear like a motherfucker because there's all kinds of shit in the air, right? Yes, a plane flying away from me will disappear. I won't be able to see it, and it won't necessarily disappear bottom up. Right, because it's in the air, and it's not on the ground. Mm -hmm. Right? So here's the thing, right? So if you watch a plane landing, it's on the ground. As you watch it land, it's going to disappear from the bottom up as it's landing. Right, so... Yeah, right. that's right. Yes, Thank you. Agree. Well that could indicate the Earth is a globe, or it could indicate that things no. on a flat Earth disappear bottom up. Both of those things can be indicated by that piece of evidence. My evidence okay, isn't that things disappear okay. bottom up. My evidence only works for the globe, so it's positively indicative. Right. But go ahead, finish so, what you're saying. All right, so I put a, I put a, I'm, I'm going to walk across a, a basketball court, okay, flat as fuck. I'm going to stand under the hoop at the one side. I'm going to put a brick. I'm going to lay a brick on the floor, and I'm going to start walking away to the other side. As I'm looking, is that brick going to start disappearing from the bottom up, yes or no? No. Okay, you're an idiot. Go try it yourself, and you'll see. And it disappears from the bottom up. So you just lied Mate. or you're dumb. Mate, basketball courts are small. 
Basketball court will cause a brick to disappear from the bottom up as you walk away from it. Now, I don't you know don't if you crawl on your me, belly or what, but I'm don't six foot two. Believe me, go try it yourself. I'm six yeah. foot two, mate. It doesn't disappear at all. That's I can great. see the entire That's brick. I can see the road, in, the bit of court in front of the brick and behind the brick. I'm six two. You see a brick. My small court isn't big enough. But what does this have to do with my argument? You're a liar. So you're a liar. You've never done it. You're just saying shit. Because as you walk across oh a God. basketball court, that brick will disappear from the bottom up gradually. Now, the whole thing may not disappear as you go across. You may, not, you may have good eyesight, but that thing is going to disappear from the bottom up. So you're going to only see half it that just, brick. It won't. That whole brick will still be there. Do you think yeah, I've yes, never played will. basketball? Yeah, I've been playing defense here, on one side of the... Up down one side of the court, I've been looking at where I left my shoes and phone on the other side of the court. Okay, this is what I want you to do, right? I want you to go onto a basketball court, put a brick, whatever the fuck, <laughs> doesn't matter, put it on the one side, and then take your camera and walk away, and then when you get to the other side, put the fucking camera on the floor and see if you can see Oh, that yeah, thing. I agree with that. That makes sense. It's all gone, isn't it? Yeah. So, yes. shit disappears from bottom up on a flat surface all the time, every time. Not necessarily. If you're slightly okay, elevated, well, you it can won't. keep saying that, but, you know, whatever. Show me what the, did I where it what, it. Show me where it what did I finish my? What did I finish my sentence with before? I, I said, it doesn't always when you're... You're what? Slightly elevated, right? So, now, will that elevation work if you're on a flat surface or only on a curved surface? If you're slightly elevated, you will bring both things um, back into view. Okay, so that being on a flat surface or a curved surface? Or both? Both. So this is my problem with this bottom-up thing. People, yes. Okay, so hold indicate. on real quick. So if you have a ship on the ocean, you can indicate the shape of the Hold on real quick. Ah, I just want to tell you this. It's positively indicative in all cases. Just, just hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. So, so you guys say that when you're in a crow's nest on a ship, the only way you're seen further is because you're on a globe. you deny that? Do you deny that um, statement? Yeah, I'd say that's the truth of it, but I'd say that isn't evidence it would so positively only on indicate. A globe it just in matches. A hold up, hold up, hold up. It just, just matches just, the model. I'm just verifying, only on a fucking globe, and you climb up to the crow's nest and see further from a ship, right? Not on a flat no. surface, right? No, I'm saying on a flat earth, the, a similar thing would probably happen because there'd be less atmospheric interference. But that's, you wouldn't be cool. able to, if you could say, see a ship off in the distance when you're standing on the deck, if you could get like a decent view of it, the air's really clear, and you can see like half of the ship off in the distance. And then you climb up to Crow's Nest, only on a globe Earth would that bring more of the ship into view. You're an idiot. You'd, on a flat earth, you'd have to assume the ship is actually like... Okay, so check sinking. this out, right? Check this out. Is a football field pretty much flat? No. Why do, you, why do you keep asking these questions? You haven't dealt with my argument yet. Because you're full of shit, and I'm going to show you why. Is a football field flat or no? No, it's not yards. flat if it's on a globe earth. So they're not playing on a flat field. Not nice. if it's on a globe earth. Globe, it's a curve. Dude, football pitches are made to be flat. Whether you think this the earth's a pool or not, I have paid to be a level surface. Surely, yeah, level, not flat. That, right? yeah, dude, they're flat. <laughs> they're whole, <laughs> level, they're not flat. Definitely. Dude, they're made to be horizontal. The grass is cut. Level, not flat. Ball, dude. You're saying that flat level surfaces, level being horizontal in this case, can't exist when they're made to be that way. Whether you think the Earth's a globe or not, Sunshine. No, I'm saying you're using level wrong. So if you're referencing the surface of the Earth, so an equidistant point from the centre of the Earth equal elevation yes. to give you level, yes. then it can be level on a curved no. curve and that level would be curved. But if you're using level to just mean it's horizontal to one vertical, then level would be horizontal. 
They are like finished full, full full. It's your turn now. Wow. It's horizontal from one wow. end to the other. Okay. That's a great claim. Can you prove that? Yeah, of course I can. Do you know how many Premier League football pitches are made up to this standard? They're made to be level. It, y- y- yeah, but not curved, dude. They're horizontal. If level is curved, they're made to be curved. Fun. That follows. That's just level logic. is not that curved, you fucking idiot. Dude, seriously. I mean, level is no I point higher than the other. Oh, two seconds, dude. Thanks. So, dogs, I had you down as a relatively smart guy, even though we're on different ends of the fence. But seriously, you're going to die on this hill thinking that football pitches are hills. The center of a How do you establish level? It's hot, dude. Let me finish. Are you saying that the center of a soccer pitch is higher than where the penalty spots are and where the goals are? Not in elevation. Pardon? Not in elevation. Uh, dude, you don't have to patronise me. I just generally didn't hear what you said. So what do you mean not in well, elevation? I'm sorry, I've been talking you to people for a while now who either uh, uh, don't listen or want to interrupt and, and not listen that way. Don't listen to elevation being a curved surface? You're an idiot. Why should we listen to your fucking stupidity? And because was, I'm right. No, dude, I was going to let you job. go with harp, harp two sex. I was going to let you go with Harp until you made that claim. What the claim? football pit, the, 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 the football pitch is being curved. Yeah, why wouldn't they be curved? Because they're made to be <laughs> horizontal. Yeah, can you show me them being made to be horizontal so that yeah. um, there's a, a straight line oh, between the two nice, sides? Man. Two seconds, two seconds. You know the new White Hart line, the, the Tottenham Hotspurs football ground. You understand wow. that that football pitch can be removed underneath the stadium. It is taken out on the trolley. Are you trying to tell me that that trolley's curved? Yeah, it could be. It, but it isn't. <laughs> it's made in horizontal. Would you like me to get the schematic know? for you, dude? Yeah, yeah I'd love that. Go the ahead. Fuck? All right, okay, I, I know, know we're on opposite sides, but your glow birth has got you twisted, bruv. If you can't even admit that a piece wow. of grass is made to be... Sure, horrible, spend a lot of time talking so about me and not just giving an argument. Shut up, dogs. You're demonstrating yourself to be an idiot at this point. And yep. I did class... Sure, spend you. a lot about me and not giving the argument. He's been an I'm idiot the whole time. Dude. I'm literally talking to you. I can go and get the other shit in a minute if you want. But up until that You're point... You're talking about me, Jedi. Berate. There's a difference. I'm just going to berate you at this point, dude. Go. the fuck? So no argument? I've given you the argument, dude. I'm going to go and get you the schematics if you wish. If you really think that I need to. To back up or go against it, your claim that football pitches are made to be curved in accordance to the curvature of the earth. Do you Ooh, really that wasn't do? my that wasn't what I said. That though, absolutely was, it, was you're lying me the fucking piece of shit. Mm. No, so what I actually said big fuck. What I actually yeah. said is that it was level. So the pitch level. is level. And if the earth level. is curved, then level would conform to the curve of the earth. So the pitch is curved. I don't even then. know the definition of level. Good job. Yeah, but it's not made to be curved, it's made to be level. It just it's happens that level is curved. Horizontal. If level is curved, correct? Level's curved now, isn't it, according to you? Yes? Yes. Okay, but football yeah. pitches are made to be flat and horizontal. Oh, great. Can you show me that? Can you show me yeah. someone drawing a straight line between both me? ends yeah. that doesn't most get closer to the ground in the middle? Yeah, that's really? the thing about football stadiums over the last, like, five, ten years. We're having loads of them built, especially because of that's World Cups and European Championships, dude. You're now saying that football pitches are higher in the middle than they are in the extremities. You're an idiot. No, equal elevation. It's not higher. Higher is about elevation. Dude, you understand what I'm saying? From the reference point of the centre circle, everything else has descended. No, it's all of equal yeah. elevation. No, from so from wherever of, you are, all things from, curve away from you. Words, from reference of the centre circle, where the football is, where the football spot is in the middle, right? Mm-hmm. Everything else is descended from that relative point. No, According descent is to, going down, not curving away. Curving down. Not curving down, curving away. Not curving up. 
Not curving up either, curving not away. Curving at all, then. <laughs> curving no, it's away. curving, of course we it's understand. curving. Oh, Jedi. Oh, Jedi, 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 Hello. Jedi. In order to establish that it's horizontal, up. you'd need a horizontal yeah, line. Can you show me that horizontal up. line with the soccer pitch? Dude, horizontal what the fuck straight, are you bro. talking about? So you say horizontal, I say level. Now, when you build something that big, how would you make it horizontal? With a level. No, you'd have to do a straight line to reference it, right? Straight line. Uh, yeah. You're trying to tell me that that curved. Go and show me a football pitch that is manufactured to be curved. Ah, here's the interesting thing. I don't say you'd be able to tell either way. The reason I know it's curved is because I watch sunsets. So if that shows you're that the Earth is curved, then it follows that a football pitch just, referencing oh, level oh, would also be curved, doesn't it? Wow. Did you hear what I said at all? Yeah, I, lo yeah, I, I heard I you left real clean, real fucking loud and clear, bro. Sorry. Great, I've I been a hundred bucks. Left. Neither of you can repeat back what I just said. It doesn't have to be perfect. I left the conversation when you said, I know that the surface of that football pitch is curved because of sunsets. I there left then. Correct. Enjoy yourself. That was again. the end. It's, it's not just that the sun sets, it's because I watch sunsets and there are certain properties of that that positively indicate the shape of the earth to be curved. So you have no clue of reality. Good job. Which end of the football pitch do you imagine is lower than the other? I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly. Page. Hold on. I'll tell you exactly. Oh, he was asking me, Harp. Calm you. down, because you don't know, obviously. I'll tell What's you. Going on now? I'll tell you the pitch of a football field. It's great. It's been three minutes where you've been dodging my positive evidence of the globe. You're not going to let me talk because you're an asshole. I know. I get it. I'm going to tell you how the football field actually does pitch and why it pitches. Ready? Everybody ready? Oh, you're talking about, like, real pitch so that the water flows. Yeah. Very good. Well yeah. done. Yeah. Thank you. It goes from that's side right. to side. And that's summer, it. summer. Thank you. Don't, that's it. don't need Other water run that, off. It's straight, 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 straight. Because the water runs through the ground into the it water cavity. It has a crown, bro. Listen, Jedi. Dude, the uh, the we field has a crown. Harp. Harp. Seriously, I, I'm just trying to tell you how the field has a crown. It, it, it this, goes down on either side. Don't. Some do, some don't. Yeah. We're, right. we're talking exactly. about Premier League, dude. We're talking about Premier League football pitches at the moment. The ones that right. have been developed over the last 10 years, including the Etihad Stadium, uh, the London Stadium since the Olympics in 2012. That's Every right. single one of those is manufactured to be flat. There's no water runoff. Because the water oh, is taken through the grass underneath. That's oh, where the... Shut up, dogs. Yeah. I'm not talking to you. So it's so level, not flat. That's the word you mean to use, Jedi. No. Well, they're flat. The ones I was word talking word about have water off. Dude, okay. fuck yeah. Like, yeah. It's like talking to Johnny earlier. Do you remember that? Don't need your help him right now, bruv. It's all good, man. I didn't know that. <laughs> really true. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just letting you know. There's no size for it I prefer it when people are more correct. Dogs, okay. you can crack them with your sunset shit. No, it's fine. I just, um, none of your schematics will say that it is from one side to the other flat. It will say living. Okay. <laughs> living. okay. So, how about yeah, the that, indoor stadiums, bro? Is that, that on a flat earth, fuck, right? Are on a flat sure? earth, level would mean flat, and on a globe earth, level would mean curve. Right? Okay, so level them. Oh, yeah, great. So that doesn't positively indicate one way or the other, right, Jedi? Level meaning flat and horizontal in this instance, not curved. Um, no, level is just referencing the shape of the Earth. If the Earth is curved, level would be curved. If the Earth is flat, That's amazing. level would be flat. Is that correct? Is that, is that accurate? Is that I don't even points. know why you bothered even saying all of that shit. I thought I made it quite clear just a minute ago. You seem to be wanting to conflate issues and trip people up for some reason. I don't understand why. Yeah. You understand what I mean. I'm a flat earther. I say level, and I understand it to be flat and horizontal. If you want level to be curved, that's absolutely fucking fine. We understand where we're both coming from. But let's not harp on about this, dude. Sorry, Harp. No. So, um, if I see uh, something that's level, that doesn't indicate whether it's flat or curved, right? Wow. So, no understanding. Good job. It's only me presupposing that it's either flat or curved 
What the hell was the definition of level? Do you know the but definition if I don't presuppose it, yeah, if I don't presuppose it, then that would mean that that evidence isn't yeah, for either yeah. side. Shut up. So you need some positive hey, dog, and negative evidence, right? Shut up. I got hey, dog, do you know the definition of level? Dogs, do you know the definition yeah, I'm, of level? I'm, I'm, I'm going to shut him up for a minute because I need him to at least concede that there are more than to. that definition of level, right? He's not going to. That, 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 that <laughs> there is dis definitions of level that, that um, define it as being flat, as being horizontal, right? He's got to at least admit that, right? Let's see. Let's see if he does. <laughs> Dude, I went through this with Horizon earlier. There's... Uh, they don't, yes, they don't some concede. definitions off level indicate flat. What's wrong with that? How does that change anything? Wow. So, what is the definition of level then? No part being higher than the other, or that's one or, of the definitions. So, so hold on. How can you define no part being higher than the other and then say curved, which is one part being higher than the other? You can't. You can't do that. Right. I can. Are you ready? So one part being higher than the other on a curved surface would be referencing the center of that curve. So the center of the earth is a reference. The distance from the center of the earth will tell us the height or the elevation. And so to have no point higher than the other, the, the only way you could do that on a circle referencing the, the center of the earth is if you drew that line in a curve. You're retarded. I, I know I am. Thank you. And now for my son argument, are you ready to listen to that one, Harp? <laughs> so the son argument, if you stand on a hill on a flat earth, the sun will only converge into your eye line due to perspective. It won't drop below your eye line. But if you're on a curved earth standing on a hill, the sun will start above your eye line, go past your eye line, and then go below your eye line. So which one happens in reality? So if you walk down a flat street with a candle and your buddy's watching you and all of a sudden your light diminishes but your light is still on, you must have gone beyond the curve even though you're on a straight-ass flat road, right? Is that right? Yeah, that's great. That's that's right. But you, so you have no idea how light works right. at all, right? That's what you're admitting pretty much. You have no clue how light works whatsoever. Like most of you fucking idiots, you just come out here and talk shit. And we're allowing it for like five hours. So, will it cross your eye line? Will that candle light cross your eye line from above to below or below to above? Oh, for fuck's sake. Whatever, dude. Well, it's a simple question. I understand will it go past your that eye you're line? a fucking fundamental uh, religious globetard. I understand. I'm giving you positive evidence for the shape of the earth. Why are you running from this? You're not giving me anything. I keep telling you. Of course you I am. It crosses your eye disappear. line. That can't happen because of convergence. That right. means the sun relative to you is going past being like 90 degrees from your vertical to now being less is, than 90 degrees. Sun? That can't happen on a flat Stop earth. Stop talking. Stop talking. What is the sun? Why? I'm giving you positive evidence for Stop the shape talking. of the earth. What is the sun? The sun is a bright spot in the sky. I think it's a large fusion reaction in space. Okay, so you think and you believe bullshit, and you're going by what you there's believe and for think. That. So you're speculating, and you're. But there's evidence for it because you have no idea how light works at all. Right? Do you? But there's evidence for it being a large so fusion you reaction. Do understand how light works? Yes or no? That's a yes or no question. Understand I understand lots works, about yes, how light works, but not light everything. Diminish. Like I understand that they're photons that work in waves. I understand that um, photons. Shut they the fuck uh, up. have a set speed Shut and the fastest thing in you, any you reference frame. I understand that they conform to the inverse square law, meaning the greater the light source, the further it'll reach. Is he just going to be allowed to fucking do this? Really? But I shouldn't get pissed off, should I? Well, maybe that's a you problem, not everyone else. So now, I'm giving you the same it. argument for 30 minutes now, and you haven't once it. addressed it. That's cool. You fucking fuck me over this, right? You you let him keep talking. No one wants to here. fuck your buddy, all right? Calm down. Put your pants back so on. Shut up. Try to shut up. 
I'm so trying to tell you shit, and minutes. all you can do is over talk me. Every fucking time. I've been giving you the same argument for 30 minutes. You haven't addressed it. Because you keep over talking. You don't no, because you're, you're not addressing why it goes past your eye line. Yeah, you I just want to talk about it. It disappears up in the distance. I'm done well, with this. Maybe, maybe shut you know up what? and, and Are you see mod? if he does address you it this You can go point. fuck yourselves, right? Because if this is how you mod this bullshit, you can fuck yourselves. Seriously, dude. We've been letting you shout at him for fucking ages. What the fuck's going on now? You don't like having the platform. Really? You're just going to let this motherfucker talk over me? Dude, you've been talking over him as well. If you want Holy me to... Crap. mod, If you want me to moderate... Holy crap. Okay, dude. cool. Fuck you. All right. See you later. Wow. If he wants to be moderated like a fucking child, I guess I can do that. No, he's fucked off. Oh, well. I'm so confused by what dogs means by birth curve because he said that it doesn't. He said that it's all at the same elevation. It's all the same elevation. And like when a hill curves, it's not at the same elevation, you know, because it's it's a hill. I've got your pictures, Jerry. If you can't understand at this point, it's because you're functionally retarded. Nice addressing of his um, argument. Lovely little ad on there. That was beautiful. I've done it before, Jedi. Do you like? Okay. Okay. Told him. okay. Maybe do it again. Hmm. Well, if it's all the same elevation, then wouldn't that be flat? I don't know. How do you measure elevation? No, how do you, dogs? I mean, like, I've told you over and over again, but you say. Nah, -uh. so I just want to know how do you measure elevation? 
Elevation is the distance from the center of the Earth, and we generally that. refer to it as that, sea man? level. The sea level conforms to the shape of the Earth because it's equidistant from the center. That's a, oh, man, that's a mess. How do you measure a curve that isn't a change in elevation? Yeah, how do you do that? I don't, I don't know. Because the curve, the two ends have equal elevation. My little birdie picture that I put up earlier demonstrates that. <laughs> hey, was that what, a crayon drawing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was a crayon drawing. Yeah, the circle but it still the demonstrates my point, doesn't it? <laughs> the circle oh, drops from horizontal, though. Yeah, because we don't get elevation from horizontal, do we, dickhead? Oh, that is a lie, isn't it? Oh, great, go ahead. I'll wait while you find a reference to the elevation of anything that comes from a horizontal. Despite any surveyor who says that elevation isn't measured as a drop or a rise from horizontal. Any. Like when you use a tool, there is no reference to the center of the earth on an auto level or a theodolite or a spirit level or any level. Sorry, how does an auto level give you elevation? It doesn't establish a horizontal. If I want to find like the elevation of a tree, how would I do that? You could use uh, you could use a triangle, or you could just climb it. Let's it give me the height of a tree, but not its relative elevation. What if the tree is on top of a hill versus in a valley? Well, what yeah. do you want to know the height of? As it's still I want to know the elevation. The last bit of, bit of food in mouth doesn't mean I'm now in a fasted state. You got to calculate five hours after that. It takes about five hours to digest. Okay, so after the five hours after your last bit of food in the mouth. Now you're in a fasted state, right? So that's going to be when you're sleeping, most likely. I want to stop eating about three hours before you go to bed. If I'm going to give you some really good information. Thanks, Dubs. Oh, you're sleeping. Wait, who was that? Dubs. Dubs. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Oh, that's all right. So what do you want to know the height of, dogs? The tree, the hill, or both? Elevation. Of what? I want to know if a tree in my backyard has the same elevation as a tree, say, 200 meters away after I walk up and down a small hill. Well, if it's uh, on top of the hill, then <laughs> it's going to be higher than the other tree. I don't know. This is why I ridicule you, Jerry. Why? Because that answer, I'm not going to mince words here, is fucking retarded. I don't know, dude. I mean, if you're on top of a hill, then there's a bottom of the hill, right? A valley? Uh-huh. All right. What's so retarded about that? Well, you have to work out the heights of the trees. You have to work out the relative height of the hill compared to the dip in the valley. You have to make sure that the height of the tree doesn't... Um, over extend past the dip of the valley differential and the way to do that would be to reference a point on the earth which would be relative sea level and that relative sea level is equidistant from the center of the earth at least pretty closely because all things are pulled down all things sort themselves out dependent on their uh, different relative densities on the earth and due to buoyancy so that you end up with Water, finding a consistent level across the earth. If it is curved, then every time you do elevation, it is referencing a curved surface. And that's how you end up at no, this level being curved. No, no, no. All right, no, I'll wait while you find something that disagrees with that. You're just referencing a point, folks. So there, there is no surface that you're referencing. It's a point. Is the point in the room with us now, or is it in your imagination? It's just a point, dogs. I mean, you don't have to agree with it. 
is it is it a point in meat space or is it a point in quantum space? It's a point in three D space. Oh great! Where is it? Anywhere you want. It's on Anywhere a whiteboard. You... Is it on a whiteboard? Do you draw it on a whiteboard and then you think that's the Earth? Well, in reality, uh, they have these uh, geodetic markers, and it's like a it's like a thing that they kind of like drive into the ground, and they're like all over the world, mm. and they tell you how high that point is from sea level, or they actually mark yeah. the actual sea level. Yeah, that's awesome. like, on, like fire hydrants or sidewalks, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really really good. How do they tell us how far above sea level they are? Wait, often I I found them around my town on power poles. Yeah, there you go. It's just a point. Again, how do they tell us how high above sea level or how high in elevation they are? Well, there's a code stamped on it. I believe. What are they referencing? Sea level. Okay. Or How do they tell us? That... What? Go ahead. What is, where does sea level come from? The mean. Mm -hmm. And so if sea level is on a curve C, would those no. references be referencing the curve? No, no, no. no. It's yeah. just a point. But of course they so, No, it, it it's follows. It's just a point. Yeah, no. they reference different points depending on where you are, right? No, it's one point. No, they area. reference different points. It depends what area you want to measure. Yeah, so if all of those different points, all the data, are on a curved surface, then they'd be referencing a curved surface. There's no surface involved. It's a vertical. I don't know, mate. It logically follows like that it's a valid structure to an argument that I just gave you. So whatever it's you're saying. It's just mate. a vertical datum, dogs. There's, there's no yeah, surface. Yeah, multiple vertical datums can show you the shape of the Earth. Great job. It's, it's just a bunch of straight lines, verticals, points. No surface involved. You can imagine anything you want. Look into this stuff. It's pretty interesting. Have you ever looked into barometric or um, GPS altitude? Uh, different points. So different ways of measuring your altitude. Yeah, so different ways of measuring points on a vertical datum. Sure. Okay, great. So how does the GPS um, satellite measure your altitude? I don't what know. What is it reference? Oh, shit, that's a bad answer. Okay, so would, what's the answer? References the center of the Earth. Okay. Is that what you imagine? So if a GPS tells me that I'm 30 feet above sea level, am I 30 feet from the center of the Earth? Or? No, of course not. What it does is it oh. takes the distance from the center of the Earth and then it, um, it tells you what that distance is from the center and then it subtracts it relative to the mean sea level. So I can tell you your oh, sea level okay. based off the distance to the center of the Earth. Or you could just use distance from the center of the Earth. I don't know. I'm just looking at my... 
device here. It says I'm 30 feet above sea level. I don't see any 30 feet plus, however far you imagine this. Why would, write, why would you expect to see that? Well, that's what you just told me. Yeah, that's the mass they do to give you that number. But why would you expect to see the mass behind it? So it's it's not there, but you can imagine that that's how it works. Just so you know, I'm going to ask the same question when you're done. Are you ready? So it's so it, it says 30 feet above a point, and you say that point is another Ooh. distance from an imagined center of the Earth. Nope. What it does is it takes the measurement from the center of the Earth, so it tells you that. And then there's a little bit of mathematics in the background that figures out what mean sea level is for you, and that will tell you your height above mean sea level that it gets from another bit of data, but it still measures the distance to the center of the Earth for your altitude. Do you think so? Uh-huh, of course. Wow. And you get all yeah, that from know, right? a, a GPS that tells you you're 30 feet above sea level. Yep, completely fucks up your worldview, doesn't it, buddy? Not really. <laughs> yeah, of course it does. Hey, look, my worldview is that the Earth is a pretzel, and everything proves it. Sunsets, stars, everything. Okay, But I can't prove that. Yeah, well, you'd be able to at least check your model again. See? So how do you account for um, not being able to stand on one point of the Earth where the pretzel's closest and be able to see across space at the curving upward part of the other part of the Earth? Uh Refraction. How about that? That doesn't work in that way. Eh, been measured differently. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, uh, bendy space time uh, curves the light. How about that? Eh, been measured different. Doesn't work. Oh, all right. Yeah. I guess I'll just have to make up some dark matter to to fix it. Yeah, go ahead. Make up dark matter. Tell me what observation yeah, reality I just do you have I want. to show that there's something there, and then you can explain how that would match your model. Well, it's just a just an imaginary model, right? Yeah, so what's the observation you're linking to? Because dark matter's observation is the relative gravitational, um, the relative gravity of different galaxies and their spin. Yeah, dogs, listen, I don't get into this model talk because, as you can see, it's... Oh, um, so you can't do it. You're just saying that you can without it ever being... No, I just, talk about, I just talk about what I can prove. Well, yeah, what can you prove? Prove something to me. How about a straight line? Uh-huh. Now what? Two points of equal elevation with a water level. How about that? That's great. Now what? That's it. Yeah, what does that prove? Proves Nothing outside line. of two points of equal elevation. Oh, is oh, that a, is a water level a straight line? How did you show that the water level is a straight line? It's the shortest distance between two points. Uh, incorrect. How did you show it was a straight line? Oh, it's the shortest distance. Nope, that's your presupposition. How'd you prove that? <laughs> it, it is. It just no, is. it's presupposition. How'd you prove it? But the shortest distance between any two points is a straight line. You saw and what does that have to do with the water level, Jedi? Dude, I'm just trying to figure out if that's a presupposition or not. And what does that have to do with the water level, Jedi? I'm trying to figure out if it's a presupposition or not. Are you not listening? What does that have to do with the water level? Sorry, Jerry. So the presupposition in this is the water level is a straight line between two points, the shortest distance. The water level that presupposition establishes, true? establishes a straight line. Uh, incorrect. Okay. So not uh right? Nice. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's it's like it. Got it. <laughs> okay, so. I, well, hey, I mean, you don't have to believe it. Okay, so we just, that's fine. I don't have to believe that. I don't have to believe your presupposition, but, you know, because I've never observed that a water level will generate a straight line. It's well, do you know distance between two points. It is also, for some reason, perpendicular to vertical. Do you know what happens to the water if it's not on the same straight line? Of course I do. Why are you asking me? questions like this when I've answered okay. again and again and again and again and again and again correctly. I mean, I'm, I'm not a goldfish. I'm not like you. I don't have a five-second memory. 
Okay, so it's a straight line that doesn't slope. Yep. Right? You would call that. You know that flurf reset thing? Like, I've never seen anyone with worse flurf reset than you. We would call that line that doesn't slope horizontal. Can we agree on that? Why doesn't it slope? That's just what horizontal is. What line doesn't slope? A horizontal line. What line, though? The line established by the two points of equal elevation. Um, so an imaginary line, not a real one that goes across the surface of the Earth? No, it's above the surface. An of imaginary the one. one. No, it's an imaginary yes. one. Yes. It's, it yeah, great. Exactly. So that's a reification sure. fallacy. I don't give a fuck about fallacies. Okay, so geometry is a reification fallacy. Is that your position? Mm -hmm. Trying to say that drawing something out uh, in geometry, just making two points and then drawing a straight line, that somehow that means the Earth is that shape. It's that's a reputation fallacy. I don't give a fuck. That's not I'm what not you're proposing saying. a shape. Yeah, he, okay. he's not saying that, dogs. If you were to follow the conversation, that's not what he's saying, dude. I follow the conversation much better than anyone. No, you did that. Because that wasn't the point he was trying to raise, and he said Do you that. I'm because I'm following along. But he's not talking about the Earth at the moment. He's just trying to get to the understanding between you two people. That's all he's trying to get mm -hmm. to at the moment. Don't so fuck. his argument is a water level establishes a straight line between two points that is the shortest distance. Now that's an imaginary straight line, right? It's not a real one. Right. Now, the Earth, the, the Earth's surface does not match that straight line. So to say, because that straight line Correct. exists, underneath it, the Earth's surface will match that straight line. And I'm not just talking no. about topography. I'm talking about an average over an, an overall distance. Well, if it does not I match don't, that straight line. I don't imagine some other Earth that's separate from the I topography. So. I say the topography I've is never, never met a weaker group of people than the cult of Ben. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is tough. Well, yeah, I mean, if you want to you know, talk about refraction and gravity and all the other nonsense, go ahead. But, you know, when you talk to me, you know, it's going to be tough, dogs. No, it's not tough. It's like I've drawn you pictures. I've been very clear about my words. I've explained things. And you keep saying the same dumb shit again and again and again without providing an argument, without providing measurements, without providing anything that backs up your weird supposition that making this level, uh, straight line thing match up is what actually well, happens. Level is curved. Like, you straight mean like line, you're horizontal, drawing. created by a water level, does not match a straight line. You mean like yeah. your crayon drawings? You wouldn't be reifying, would you? Nope. Sounds like a reification <laughs> there. Do you know what that means? Could you explain a reification fallacy? Do you, you, you think it represents yeah, reality? Yeah, it's, also it's, also or a it's also known as the fallacy of non-concretism, taking those things that do not have physical attributes and giving them physical attributes. So giving concepts physical. Sorry, I just wanted to define it. You said that we couldn't. I just have. No, I asked oh, if you, you could. Thinking, um, you so could. would you, do you have an example of a reification fallacy? I can give a really good one you guys use all the time. Yeah, we can talk about maps not being the terrain. Yeah. Maps, no, that wouldn't be the reification fallacy. The reification <laughs> fallacy would be saying because the map shows that there's a the hill here, there has to be. Fallacy is. Would you like me to Excuse post me, this? I was as the first thing I was, that comes I was up explaining definition for a reification fallacy, you said, no, -uh. I've just Googled it. There it is right in front of me, one of the first definitions. The map is not the land. Yes, yeah, so that's the map is not the territory. So by saying that um, a map is a reification fallacy is wrong. You have to apply the map to say that the land must Which be formed to the map in order for it to be a reification fallacy. You so your throw-out sentence you wasn't a good description you of a reification fallacy. So well, it's hard to listen when I'm finishing my sentence when you start talking. Yeah, but you don't listen very well to me, and you're now you're starting to attack something that I haven't said. Well done, dog. Well... Did you not say that a reification fallacy is the map not matching the territory? Did I not just read it? And you said I had to be in reference that. to something, and that would be the territory. Huh? So what the that was fuck a really bad description. Yeah, the reification so the fallacy 
the reification fallacy is when you say that because a map says X, the land must have X. It's not that they don't mm. match. It's when you try to impose yeah, like, like your crayons drawing over the concrete. So, no, yeah, I haven't like done that. Drawing. Nope, I, I haven't have. done that. Oh, okay. All right, you're not, so you're not saying that, that level is curved then? Uh, that is a really, really sneaky tactic you have there. What I'm saying is that if level is conforming to uh, equity, uh, points of equal elevation, on an earth, those points of equal elevation could give you, give you a curved level. And then I, I drew out it. how that I would work it. as a concept. But I never said oh, that because okay. I've drawn right. it out as a concept, it oh, has so to be not, that in reality. Not in reality. I never right. said okay. right. because I drew it okay. out as a concept, Jeez. it has to be that in reality. As long as the audience understands that you're not saying that is actually what exists in reality. Yeah. No, I, I do think it's what exists in reality because, again, I've given my positive oh. uh, observation that only works for globe uh, Earth and you guys have nothing that only works for flat Earth. Okay. You can only show it on a crayon drawing, though. You can't show it in reality. There's no problem, sure though, dog. Reality. I'm saying that this whole level no curved horizontal thing, it doesn't indicate the shape of the Earth. Using the word level doesn't indicate the Earth is flat or globe. Yeah, that that is true. So why do you keep using it when we're talking about shape here? Because we're trying to talk about curvature, right? Curvature. Okay, what do I think level is? Curvature can be measured as a drop or a rise from horizontal, but you can't even have a horizontal between two points. So Is that horizontal an actual horizontal that matches the surface of the Earth, or is it an abstract horizontal that no, doesn't match the surface of the Earth? It doesn't match the Earth. The Earth goes up and down from the horizontal. It doesn't matter. You're saying that it matches. <laughs> You're saying that it matches the curvature of the Earth. I'm saying it doesn't. That's because I have prior information and a prior observation that leads me to say that the Earth is curved. Yeah, I know. So if level could indicate, could work on a flat Earth or it could work on a globe Earth, all it is is making sure that none of the datum are of different elevations. Then if I have evidence to show that the Earth is curved, that means level in my uh, worldview would mean a curved surface of the Earth. That doesn't mean just... using the term level is my argument for the Earth being curved. It just means because the Earth is curved, level to me means curved. Yeah, I wouldn't use observations of other things. I, I would just use a straight line, you know, geometry, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you use, use something you drew or... on a blackboard. No, I would just use a level. Oh, where's Real your level? straight line in? Where's your straight line on the earth? Here we go again, right back to the beginning. There are no straight lines on the earth. Okay, you would just Great. establish one. We agree. You are drawing an abstract fake, fake line on a whiteboard, and you're saying that that's what exists. No, on earth. no, no. Which no. is a reification fallacy. I'm just making a straight line with a water level. Where? Where have you done this? <laughs> swimming pool. Yeah, sure. It's yeah, the water pool. level. Water level. Yeah, does that um, reference curved or does it reference um, flat? No, no. Each end references the other end. All right. Uh huh. So it doesn't reference curved or flat, does it? It just it references reference anything elevation. except itself. Yeah, just equal elevation. That's what it references. It's just two points. I mean, this is this equal is elevation. That's what it references. Each end is at the same elevation. Yeah, great. Okay, now can you connect those two lines? Or yeah, points? but that line won't be perpendicular to either end. It'll be perpendicular to a point in the middle. Okay, so you cannot have a horizontal, correct? Oh my God, you can create an artificial horizontal, but it won't reference the shape of the Earth. I've got right. one more, one more of these up here, Jerry, before I, I just start calling your names. You measure the Earth with that line, up and down from with that line. line. With what line? The, the horizontal. That could be curved, right? Horizontal doesn't curve. Yeah, so why are you talking about the horizontal? Because that's how you'd measure curvature, with the horizontal. No, you'd measure... No, you measure curvature using equal elevation from the point that you reference elevation oh. from, which in this case is the center no. of the Earth. 
Yes. Uh, it would be measured as a deviation from that horizontal. No, it would be measured as distance to the center of the Earth as elevation. That's how you get level. Level is equal elevation. Nobody Not referencing an artificial horizontal line. Think about how dumb this is. You're saying the actual reality we live in must conform to the, an artificial horizon line that you draw between two points. Not checking the angles at either of those points, just drawing a line and saying, oh, we reference everything from this line I've drawn for no fucking reason. Yes. Great. That's retarded, Jerry. What are the angles at either end of that line to the verticals? 90 degrees. Nope. Check that. If you check oh. that and show it to be true, great. Go on, go check it. What Got any evidence for it? Yeah, built in. You're literally disagreeing with how they measure the height of mountains. Yeah, look at you all, like little fucking pigeons. Someone's thrown some corn feed out, and you're there like, oh, shit, oh, shit, we're going to mock this guy. But no one's what ever measured that the two uh, ends of that water done level done are both 90 building. degrees. Don't understand what a square building is. Oh, yeah, I don't understand what square building is. That'll absolve me from having to give evidence. Excuse me. You, I'm waiting for those footy ground evidences, mate. It's like you've never met a square building before. Still waiting for the footy pitch evidence you said you'd give. I've got fucking loads of them. Been looking into the burner barrel. Do you know they separate that football pitch into six pieces and then stack it on top of each other? Did you know they do that? I don't care. Okay, fuck off then. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Show your evidence. <laughs> you want me to go, go and get... On. Okay, dude. I'll just post it. Go on. Great. What about you, Jerry? You got evidence that two ends of those lines are both of that artificial line that you draw is 90 degrees? Or is it a reification fallacy, Jerry? Good. Yeah, the line doesn't slope. Fallacy. So because Jerry on a whiteboard slope. draws a... Because Jerry, on a whiteboard, draws a straight line and then draws two straight no. lines on either end, he thinks that that's what a, no. a horizontal line, on a straight line between not, two points on Earth would look like. It's not because I draw it. Because the water will flow if that is not horizontal. It's very simple. No, the because they're equal you. elevation, you fucking idiot. Exactly. <laughs> what, what, what does the sun go below again? Your eye line. <laughs> Nothing. Your eye line, what, would that be like a line? <laughs> what sort of line? Curved line? Straight line? It's an artificial <laughs> line that's created that's perpendicular oh, from oh, you as a person. So sun goes be below that. That would be reification fallacy. Would it? Earth. <laughs> no, it wouldn't actually. Because I don't think that line's actually there in reality because I drew it on a Body. fucking theodoline. Body. But how do you know the sun's going below it? <laughs> what do you mean? How to... You use your eyes? What the fuck do you mean? How do you know the sun goes below it? It's not going below a, a physical thing. It's going below a line drawn on a lens. An imaginary line. Yeah, that line can be imaginary. I don't think it's out there in the sky that the sun passes. It's known as eye um, It doesn't matter. So long as it indicates 90 degrees off your vertical, you can use that to reference where the sun is in I think you're allowed to do that. It's an angle. Jerry's not. You're allowed to do no, that. Jerry's can. not. Uh, okay. He oh. can. He can't. He just can't claim that two points, like two ends of a line, uh, will be ninety degrees from the ends of a water level. If he draws that line, it's the shortest distance between the two ends of a water level, unless he measures it first. Well, can that line be horizontal in your world, dog? That's, it can be horizontal to a single point in the middle. It can't be horizontal to both ends if the Earth is curved. The Earth is curved because I have an observation of it being curved. No, the Earth curves from that horizontal, up and down. That's how you tell. You have a single point in the middle, and then the horizontal will come off either side, and then you can connect that to two points of equal elevation. But those two points of equal elevation won't be 90 degrees from that horizontal line that is 90 degrees at the center only from a vertical. Do you imagine that the center point is higher than the ends or lower? No. Higher is elevation, you dipshit. Right. So like, have equal did you come out of your mum's fucking pussy with a scoop in your head that was filled with your <laughs> own fucking shit? You goddamn retard, Jerry. Oh, whoa, there. whoa, whoa. <laughs> I like it. Uh, you know, you know, I concur with him. Big I concur with him. Like... Folks, even though he's he's very foul mouthed, I concur. He's correct. 
Yeah, great. Someone else take this over. Like, Jerry, you are retarded. Yeah. I have answered the same question 80 times to you. You have nothing. Neither, none of you have anything to deal with this. Hey, listen, if anyone else wants to talk to dogs, go ahead. I think I made my point. Okay. Go ahead. I, I, I have a question for the room. Uh, is related to what this guy's saying. I, I want you to imagine that all you guys in this room right now are in a in a uh, audience, like a theater audience. I want you to look to the left. I want you to look to the right. Those are two people that probably don't need to exist right now. Uh, the world. Has I hope too no many one actually people. did that. Yeah, the the world has too many people, flat or round or curved or spherical. There's too many people here. We that need to reduce the number of humans on this planet. Uh, have you ever seen the ocean? There's no one out there. I mean, come on. Maybe we need tried, to reduce the tried, number of people in this. In have you ever tried? Uh, have Start you ever you. tried? Uh, have, sorry, excuse me. Have you ever tried uh, treading water for more than five minutes? Fucking have, hard. You, have you ever done the maths to this? You do realize that every single person on the earth could fit into the continent of Australia and have half a, kilom half a kilometer squared of land to themselves whilst using the rest of the land for agriculture. Did you know that? Do you want, do you want to be around people? I don't. Fuck them. Dude, I'm, I'm not interested no. in being around people. It's, it's the point where you said that we need to get rid of people because there are too many. I doubt you've looked into it. If you have, even if you haven't, you're just fucking trolling at this stage. He bailed. Good. Does water flow? <laughs> you better believe it, buddy. Only when the earth curves. Yui, do you see the picture or the uh, gif that I posted in the chat? Uh, yeah, water flows from high to low. Everyone knows this. Yeah. Okay. Now, would you say the Earth is curving underneath that water? Uh, curving? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, see, dogs can't get that. Like, he, he, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, yeah. He would say that that's in, yeah, he would say that that's not Earth curve. Um, when we say Earth curve, I think we're equivocating between the two things. Like, so um, what, me curving a ball of things? dirt is Earth curve, right? Well, what other Earth are you imagining? Like, the, the in totality of the terrain. No, I don't do that. Maybe it's a conspiracy. Like there's a different Earth to the one that we could see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's got to curve at the right rate for the water to not flow. It's got to just it's just sit there. Yeah. Exactly. Now you get it. And what rate would that be, Yui? I don't know. It would have to some have to do something with gra Ugh! It would have to do something with uh, gravity. I don't know. Don't ask me about physics. I'm not here for the physics. No. Well, as soon as you figure out the rate, you're gonna have to tell me the direction. You know, down, down or up. Um, what does that mean? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you don't know what it means. It's okay. I'm not. Uh... God damn it! What happened to dogs? He was fun.
it is April Fool's Day today. You shouldn't have said that because, you know, I think we should all plan an April Fool's thing for like I don't know Alpha. Well, you might be watching, so I don't know if it will work. But who no, reckons I should? Go to the ball. should all... Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, just for a day or twelve hours. I I, I was going to do it, but yeah. I didn't think any, anybody would get it. You know, so. <laughs> I'll get paid on the, uh, the fucking stake, I swear. Uh, maybe Yui can play his flat earth tricks again. Yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> I want to hear, hear you argue for gas pressure without a container, Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you do a good job. I've not. I've heard him argue for Globe Earth, but not the for no container. Oh, That'd be you know That's easy as fuck, man. It's just gravity does it. Not pictures from fucking space. You just have to take the standard of I can go to, you know, high altitude and I can see blackness and the gas isn't dispersing into it. It's quite simple. Would Would you be able to debate it and consider yourself that you've won the debate afterwards? Would I be able to completely ignore everything that anybody else has said to me like you? Yeah, of course. I don't ignore people. I just keep saying the same thing with the gas pressure stuff. Nobody gets it. Well, actually, everyone gets it. I think Harp didn't get it, but everyone else gets it. No, uh... I think the options, I mean, like, which is the main part. Look at the end of the argument. Uh, let's post in the chat. Hey, Tanner. Yeah, show me your diagram. It's not a diagram, it's a set of points. I mean, there's nothing else after that, right? Like, that's that's all we've got. Yeah, and ta sorry, just to remind Talon, that thing that you posted a couple of moments ago, dude, that's not me. That's somebody else. You notice that it's got an FE at the front of it and it's in fucking gold. Now, where did you get that from, dude? He'll answer me later. Oh, look, he's done a little presentation as well. That's yeah, cool. I've, got, I've got my uh, my notes down so I can remember which way I'm meant to go with the argument. How how what. How it's meant to go in chronological order, because sometimes I jumble everything up. Nice to know that you've got a script. Yeah. It's good. It's a good argument. I like it. What's the, what do you mean? When, see, this is the thing, right? When, whenever you say medium vacuum, you'll notice that there's still pressure there, right? Yeah. There's always, when you've given the, us this graph, it even goes down to 0 0.000001. That's still pressure, isn't it? Yeah. So you're just Delta. demonstrating the gas pressure gradient, right? Yeah, but like a global, a, a global doesn't think zero pressure is an actual thing, right? No one thinks that zero pressure is an actual thing, dude. Yeah. All I'm pointing out is within your graph that you've got a gas pressure gradient. That's all it is. Hey, let me show you something Embo did for me. Uh, some little mass on his little uh, his little fingers or whatever, and uh, <clears throat> he showed the what the difference is between the pressure on the surface of the Earth to a medium vacuum and the medium vacuum to the vacuum of outer space. It tends to um, be negative seventeen torr. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, look at that. I mean, the difference between the surface of oh, the wow. Earth. And um, the ground is phenomenally larger than the difference between the common line and outer space. So, uh, here we go. Here's the... I thought it was going to be a pretty graph or something. So, the no, it's text. Uh... Yeah, and no, I'm reading the text. would have understood it better if it was a pretty graph. And they said the difference between pressure at ground level and the common line is approximately 
506,6250 times greater than the common line in outer space. Like the difference, it becomes a point where, like, what's the meaningful difference between these two low pressures, right? There's such low pressure that we consider them a vacuum on the surface. But, uh, uh, you know, that's why, I'm in, that's why I'm interested in why that pressure is so low that now it requires a container, and why the earlier pressure, which is still phenomenally low, isn't enough. Because it's pressure. That's change in pressure. You still have pressure. How do you get pressure in the first place? Um, well, you just have, uh, well, in this case, gas. Uh, gas colliding with things, like other gas being pressed down by things. Um, and, you know, if you want to say, if you want to treat the Earth as a wall of a container, you're welcome to. Sorry, sorry, pressed down by things? What? Well, if you go for option three, it's certainly being pressed down by something, right? The weight of it. Indeed. So what's pressing down on the top bit of gas if there's no weight above it? Well, whatever that force is in option three. What's that force? And does it exist? And is it um, even a force anymore? If you reject option one and option two, option three almost certainly exists. Based on option what? one and option two okay, being lovely, wrong. But I'm asking what that force is. Uh, let's call it Jerry. Okay, you can call it gravity, mate. I'm not going to fucking beat you up over it. It's just that you're invoking mass attracts in mass when you say force, right? I don't. This is why I don't argue for gravity because well, I'm not actually talking about everything that gravity is supposed to be. All right, go and talk to someone else, dude. Oh, you better see. say it's like a well of space time being bent, and all the gas is trapped inside that well, like the way mustard gas would work in World War One. So the mass of the Earth is pushing Sorry. down to the fabric of time, creating a little well of volume there that all the gas fills up. So like every time you come up against an argument you don't like, it's, well, I'm not arguing for that. I'm, I'm not going to say gravity. The, the horizon's the effect of Earth curvature. It's fucking hard <laughs> to just have a conversation with you, dude. It's, oh, like okay. I pointed out to you, it's like I pointed out to you a couple of months ago. When you turn around to us and say, the horizon is the effects of Earth curvature, but we don't see the physical curvature of the Earth. That's like me turning around to you and saying, well, we don't see the container, but we have the physical um, effects of containment, i.e. gas pressure. It's the same fucking argument, dude. The thing is, you'll barrel around it by saying, well, it's all physics -y stuff that I don't understand and start jerking Embo or uh, Manufactotum off to come in and save you. But you won't get into the nitty-gritty yourself. It's weird. Well, Again, this, this behavior that you've started displaying since just before Christmas is weird, dude. So okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break, break down a few things here. The first thing is, the nitty-gritty is the argument. Um whether or not I invoke gravity is like, am I going to defend everything that gravity is purported to be and how it's argued for? Um, I don't need to, right? Because I'm not trying to sell you gravity. I'm trying to sell you no container, right? So Which, for the purpose of the argument, it's like, why would I waste my time defending gravity knowing that if I do that, everyone's going to say the next tomorrow that, oh, you can't have gas pressure without a container, right? So the, the goal of the argument is to move people away from this silly idea. But the goal of the argument is to prove your fucking shit. And when you rely on something that hasn't scientifically been proven, and the gravity that you're talking about is not the current scientific rhetoric for what even gravity is, you're kind of being dishonest. It's not well, one of the conversation, is. and it seems to be a blockage in your own head. I don't want to talk about this like a two-year-old fucking child stamping their fucking feet in the ground. It's weird behaviour, mate. Well, option I'm three not, is okay. what something gravity friend, does. I'm turning around you and saying this is weird behavior, dude. Yeah, option three is something gravity does. So, like, it's it's a part of the globe cosmology, but it's to not to say... Friend. Prove it, then. Demonstrate well, it's, it. It's demonstrated in the argument. The, the, the physical demonstration, dude. Does it actually exist in the way that you're hoping it does? If... It's either a container of some force, and we've removed the container from the equation, it's some force. That'll be the deduction. Some force that what? That changes the vector of gas. Well, what do you mean changes the vector of gas? Makes it come back again? 
yeah, changes its vector down. Okay. Are we denying gravity? What's going on? Well, no, it's not that I'm denying gravity. It's that no, 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 I'm not saying. I'm saying so you you take gravity. take the container argument and you go, you step in the side of the argument, and you try to see where does that argument lead. And I think it also leads to the idea that um, there's two options for a container. Probably both that a flat earther wouldn't accept based on what the point of the argument is. And then you have the third option, which is the the force, right? And the force, I think, I think is. Well, I think is a Chris type Ford's of option property was better than the third. I'm bricked. What's the fourth Chris, option? No, no. Yeah, the one I said. The well of yeah, the gravity mass. Well. Yeah, mass of the Earth pushing down the fabric of space and time, creating like a trench that all the gas is just pooled into, and it can't yeah, escape. It, it get, right, the gas is just being redirected. It's not actually like um, being pulled back down. It's following a geodetic Curve. It's a it's a path that it can follow due to due to space time. So this is why, through. if you really want good globe arguments, you talk to flat earthers. They're the ones who thought it through all the way to the full conclusion. Brit's like stuck in like, well, if there's no container, it's gravity. Like you default. just said what I said, but you just added some extra bits to it. No, you're talking about a gravity, a force of gravity. I'm talking about the well of space time. Okay. Two different things. Okay, well, yeah. Option four, you could say a well of space time. Which can be represented by option three. No, not even close. Just getting stuck on the word force, aren't you? Yeah, gravity in option four or D is not a force. It's a consequence of the warping of space and time. Yeah. Well, I mean, are you welcome you to kinda, you, you're welcome to different types kinda of forces? You could kind of visualize it like a like a fountain. You could kind of visualize it like that, like a fountain. But, yeah. You're welcome draws up to the water and then spits it back out into the pool and then draws it back up again. And just continues. What's wrong with the out. trench in World War One? Picture yeah. like a like a mustard gas attack in trench warfare. I, I think it's articulated in option three, but if you think it's not, you're welcome to any other non-container possibility. Because yeah, as okay, soon as you sure. Introduce Explain those, how yeah. you think a trench in World War One is is gas attracting gas. How would you say that? Well, that's not my defense. My defense is option one, two, or three. Okay. And you're in heresy. You bring your own <laughs> model. Yeah, it's for a flat earther, not for a globe earther. It's orientated towards someone who thinks <clears throat> that the laws of thermodynamics say X and that implies Y, and there are options for your container of what way, where and what you can do with it. You also fix it by just simply saying that the law of thermodynamics isn't that doesn't cover space there's something else completely well, look, you know, they did exactly bust, yeah they did bust the third law too all three laws are broken by other space but the first and second are the most spectacular one well yeah they, they needed to amend them didn't they once they realized like deep space exists or whatever same with gravity right that's it that's why they needed to fuck about with gravity because it didn't work yeah, the mass was elsewhere, and there was too much mass for the amount of gravitation. And I'm this and that. They had to mess about with it once they started looking into deep space because they didn't. I guess they didn't. Understand oh, that, it. that's that's why I don't want to argue for gravity really because there's so much to it. There's so much. It goes so much beyond gas, right? That it's like, you no, know, it's just too much, right? It's not. I don't even need to defend it. I don't know why I would, right? It's not exactly pertinent to what I'm talking about or what I'm trying to do. You don't want to defend it because it makes your position look stupid. That's the <laughs> um, in a way, yes, because my position is that there's no container, and if I get bogged down for four hours arguing for gravity, you will say oh. that the container exists tomorrow, and nothing will stop then you, you from saying think, that. So you don't think that the sky is mostly empty space? I'm not, I don't need you to what? believe gravity exists. I just need you to believe there's no container. No, you what, to, then, then, you, then you don't think that the sky is mostly empty space. Hey, Huey, Empty or, space. Huey or Brit. So what's what the first law? Do you know the first law of thermodynamics? No, off the top of my head. Okay, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. That's the one, yeah. yeah I knew so it somewhere I, in my head, but I don't know. Yeah, you it. probably know them like, locally or whatever, but not, maybe not in order. So do you see a problem with that, if you look at the helios in his model? Uh, no idea. Maybe. 
is like the spinning of Earth in the solar system perpetually a perpetual motion machine? No idea. We'll think it through. Is it perpetual motion or not perpetual motion? Again, couldn't tell you. Don't know anything about physics. All I know is arguments. Okay, how about from the very beginning of time? The Big Bang. Does that violate the first law of thermodynamics? Um, if you think matter was created at the Big Bang, then maybe. But, okay. um, I don't know. So then number two, you know, the, what's the second law? Um, second law is without being specific, uh, Law of entropy. Yeah. Um, and... Unless you got contained. Unless it's contained, then you can have a closed yeah. system. Okay, what's the, f the third law? I don't know. I'm not good at physics. Right? I'm good okay, at but just, just think it through. I'm sure you've heard it before. If I tell you what it is, you'd be like, oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, okay, let me. I'll oh, tell me. The absolute zero. More information on that one? Yeah, like. As far as like like the whole heat death of the universe thing, it, you'll never reach an absolute. You can't reach absolute zero, where everything stops motion. The check. Uh, third law of thermodynamics states that the entropy is of a closed system at thermodynamics equilibrium approaches a constant value when its temperature approaches absolute zero. So here, look at so here's strike three. This is what they said. They, they, people aren't paying attention. The James Webb Telescope, most heat-sensitive instrument, continues cooling to absolute zero. All about the uh -oh. argument. Uh oh, spaghettios. Can it? Is that true or false? Can it reach absolute zero? I don't know. This is a space.com. Not on Earth. It can't on Earth, right? But somehow in no outer space. No idea. Again. So that's why the, the laws of thermodynamics is a strike one, strike two, and strike three. You're out of here. The heliocentric model does not work on any of these laws. Number two is just the most spectacular one in most the easiest way to articulate it. And he agreed yeah. with oh. you. He, he agreed that he doesn't know. That was amazing. Yeah, well, believe it or not, I've been saying I don't know anything about physics for about seven months. You know, uh, I'm not here well, to defend physics. I'm here to destroy flat about Earth. Seven months ago, you oh, I'm not here to. About se yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm not seven here to defend ago, physics. Here to destroy flat Earth. Very different. Right. Uh, so course. seven months ago, you should have started looking into it a little bit. What do you think? No, I don't think so. Because that's not. I don't need to. Right. Well, I've been quite successful. You don't care successful. about physics, then. You don't care about. I don't physics. believe it or not. I think science is boring. You don't. You don't know it, and you don't. Don't care like about Neil deGrasse it. Tyson. Don't watch any of that bullshit. Globe, but you're defending the globe with no knowledge of physics or anything. So that's retarded. And yet, I've been so good at doing it. Look at that. Well, not with me, bro. I picked I don't know about that. on Friday, and I was. I was running rings Friday. about you about four hours ago. This guy's delusional what? half. Don't worry about it. I know. I know. It's all good. Dude, I pegged you a troll on Friday. I yelled at Nathan Oakley for entertaining you. Do you recall? Oh, we yeah. you do because you're brain um, dead. When he got mugged. I remember I, that. I gotta watch I that. I haven't watched that yet. <laughs> yeah, it was it's good. It was good. And then people I'm... told me I fucking... that He's one of my priests. Get the fuck out of here. I was yelling at the motherfucker for entertaining you. The James Webb Telescope reaching absolute zero. I don't think that's physically possible because there's you still his light. Hand there's still light. <laughs> what? I think he was... Give him a chance. He's a new guy, you know, like, give him a chance. I mean, sorry, he's coming in real quiet, sorry. Yeah, real quiet, bro. Turn your mic up. Oh, I just heard someone trying to overtalk, so I just muted him. Yeah, this whole concept where someone, all of a sudden someone's an expert in something they never even heard of. Because the flat earth said it. I don't I don't think that's know. Goose. Let's talk about me. No, the, the, well, like one of these things me. where, like the law of thermodynamics, like all of a sudden someone would be like, oh yeah, I knew all that, I knew all that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I knew the first one, the but third then, one I have no idea about. But then, Crit, don't they say that the earth doesn't go by the natural laws? Yeah, there, there's there's space that it busts. Yeah, the Earth that's, is outside its own laws. That's like God. the third law. Yeah, so they the second law of thermodynamics doesn't apply to the Earth. 
Right. So they, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So they kind of declare Earth as God. It does. You take it. You guys just get it wrong. You don't understand what it's saying. I, I was quoting. I was quoting Rumpus. Scott. Here's the guy who oh, can't okay. produce a single element of any type of proof at all. Scott Mackey introducing the man. Well, Go but, ahead and bust us up, brother. But basically, what you guys are saying is that every physics professor currently working has got it wrong, and they don't understand yeah. how the globe model and the heliocentric model of the solar system yeah. doesn't work with thermodynamics. And of did course they the do. Did you ever see the TV show Big Bang Theory? They know. Did, did you ever see the TV show Big Bang Theory? I seen parts of it. I hated it. It was okay. bad. So, all right, it was ridiculous, wasn't it? Because they were all theoretical assholes. So. No, they were actors. They were. They were yeah, the show. They portrayed theoretical they assholes. They portrayed. They acted as they were theoretical assholes. They literally said, "I, I, I quote Leonard." Uh, Theoretical physicist, yeah, I sit around and think about stuff all day. That's exactly what he quoted. And that's exactly what they yeah, do. Well, there's there's a couple of good, good scenes in that show, right? Like where he sure says... It is. Yeah, they do you get your the opinion truth. on remember phys when, theoretical physicists from Big Bang Theory? Yeah, remember when there, there was the bomb? And he built the bomb, basically built right. a bomb. And, yeah, um, sure, that was uh, Shelby, right. Yeah, yeah, and he goes, oh, you wouldn't, yeah, right, so, as if you'd know with your theoretical physics, you know, this is practical right. physics, don't worry about it. Exactly. <laughs> and, exactly. And it took the theoretical physics physicists to save them, because he knew what to do, but yeah, that was funny. There was another one, he goes, uh, he goes, um, you remember how you told me that the Kardashians are, like, um, are not real celebrities? Well, geology is like the Kardashians of science. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. When the, they were the one, constantly uh, blowing truth in your face. Constantly. The one, the one episode right. I saw it was where annoying as fuck. This one episode I saw where the comic book store caught on fire and it burned down. Oh my god! And he, the guy had a, like a meltdown, like a, a, like a pure, true, glo like globalist style meltdown. Like he, yeah. he just he didn't know what what how what to happen. Now that was his world, man. Yeah, his whole world revolved around that comic book store. And I'm like, wow, this is what these people are like. And, and he was, wasn't making shit. He was like he, poor. He, has, he, he wasn't he has making no, they're shit. fictional characters, right? They're completely made up by Hollywood screenwriters. Yes, and they're made up for a reason. They're strictly the imagination of screenwriters. There you go. Like you you're like your globe. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, this whole Sheldon Imagine thing the literally made they, they were theoretical physicists and whatnot. And they all believed in the globe. They all did. Now, I don't know that they were lying. I'm pretty sure that they believed, just like I used to believe, we lived on a globe. And I wasn't lying. They were, lying actor, when they I were said actors reading a script. A Dude, are you not understanding what I'm saying? No, not they're at portraying all. Sorry. People that, they're portraying people that not necessarily are lying about anything, but they just fucking are educated and they believe what they believe. Like I did, and everyone else did, and some of you guys still do. It's a thing, right? We, this is how we're born into, man. You you have the Santa Claus thing, you have the Easter Bunny thing, and you have the globe. And the globe continues. Yeah. There's people that are very knowledgeable on on the, you know the Star Wars epic, and they're ca they're able to sit down sure. and write. Uh, fan fiction, which fits in with the whole story, like it's pretty. No cool. Problem. <laughs> That's and also let's do fiction. The math. Yeah, let's do the math and figure it all out. And just like I said earlier, 1492, we had our first globe, and then everybody got in a frenzy and they tried to tell me you know, what Atlas used to be and what the fucking globe was in history, and they were showing me as above, so below, and they were showing me the sky. They didn't even know what they were showing me. It was crazy. Uh, you know what? I'll you give you. Because, I'll give you a concession. How about that? Uh, I cool. thought Atlas's main, the main story behind him was that he was holding up the Earth, the terrestrial Earth. But actually, the main story is cosmology. Yeah. Obviously, there is terrestrial Earth Atlas, yeah. but the main one is the cosmos. Right. But but that doesn't take away from the fact I showed you drawings of people drawing a spherical Earth in the f ten ten years before what Are you were you talking about. And I also told you about scholars who are writing about the Earth 
in the no, early early uh, fifth centuries, and the Globus Crucigus still refers to a globe. No, it doesn't. No, it's a sphere of influence. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fear, see, now, he says sphere of influence. You're All saying right, Atlas, down, and I'm saying calm globe. Down. Hold on. I want you to show me evidence of a globe before 1492. That oh, is okay. not something that is showing us as above, so below, with a cross, which is literally an X, not really a cross on the top of it, which represents Saturn. So you guys don't have a clue what you're even showing me. What you need to do, since you say, and Brian Cox says, nobody even ever thought the Earth was flat. And I proved them wrong really bad with a video, a really short video. Now, what I need you to do is show me some kind of evidence where... They knew 2,500 years ago that the Earth was a globe, and not 1492, but, I don't know, even a thousand years ago. Let me see a globe. Of Are you talking time. about a map of the globe? Wow. Okay. Everybody knew the Earth was a globe. That is a big spherical ball, yes or no? Uh, before 1490, yes. There you have it, 2,500 years ago, yeah? So, where is your fucking evidence for that? Please, thank you. Uh, I've got a paper that goes into everything you need to know about. I have a paper. Okay, what you're going to need to show me. See, I can show you a physical globe from 1492. But what you're doing is showing me bullshit. Now, yeah. please try and... Figure this the fuck out in your brain where you need to show me physical proof of a globe 2,500 fucking years ago. Real quick, go ahead. Yeah, uh, so Matter in... Matter of fact, take your time. So, Jean Buridan, Buridan yeah, yeah, yeah. 1300 AD, 1358, Nicole... Walking. Oh my God. Ask me a question and then All right. so here's protest the thing. me replying to you. I, I posted a video in here. Do you get all your times. information from YouTube? Wow. You're an asshole. I'm confronting you with a paper Here's the thing, by right? a historian, you're an and you're coming and at me talking. with, well, this YouTuber I says. I you a video with proof you all of what the from fuck paper. is up, and you ignored it, and now you're going to talk to me about bullshit. Church Fathers, Augustine, 438 yeah, yeah, yeah. AD, no Jerome, 346, 420, and Ambrose, 397, all agreed the Ephesus sphere. Yeah, stop talking and show me where they made a mold of some kind of a globe. Don't show me as above, so below with the Christianity cross, which really is Saturn. Don't show me any of that garbage. I need a fucking globe. Funny how the Globus Crucica came out around oh, uh, by the time God. Christianity is, is became... Is wrong with your brain? Are you okay? Became popular. <laughs> When you're, uh, uh, there's a direct question! Conjecture. Yeah. Look, you can scream all you want, right? But, uh. Try to answer the question. Try the globe to did not come about in 1490. People thought question. it was a globe before. No ad homs, no bullshit. Show me the fucking proof of your globe 2,500 years ago. No. No uh, ad homs. 2,500 years ago? I'm not talking about 2,500 years ago. I'm talking about so in the first few centuries now? AD. Okay, I'll tell you what. 1,500 years ago. I'll just reference a few, uh, a few early church fathers. Show me a globe from 1,500 years ago, please. Go. Are you two talking about the same subject? Yes, I think when are. he says, I yes, think when he are. says that the globe came about in 1490, Gregory. Please he's shut the trying fuck up and to say, me. he's Stop. trying to, Stop going somewhere else and answer my fucking question. I think he's trying Show to say a globe. like a sphere with all the places on the Earth on the sphere. No, I'm yeah, not. Not, no, not the I idea not. that people you thought it was a sphere. Don't fucking okay, okay, cool. at me. Please try to gather your fucking brain and show me some evidence of a sphere 2,500 years ago. Go. Evidence don't of a sphere or people thought it was a sphere? Put words in yeah, my that. fucking mouth. Go. Yeah, Show me a sphere 2,500 years okay, ago. Okay, here's, so, here's the everybody paper. Everybody knew. Everybody knew it was a fucking sphere. Go. Show me. Uh, here's, here's the second <clears throat> page from the paper. There you go. Yeah, okay. Words? Wait. Okay, good job. Good job. <laughs> now, try to fucking gather your brain. I know you have very little parts of it. 
and show me some fucking proof. I'll give Don't you a show me a paper page. with writing. Show me a fucking proof. The globe. What is I the can source show of the screenshot anyway? Here's the thing. I can show uh, you 1492. Sorry. Calm down, everybody. Because I can show you 1492. Hey. Physical. Physical. Basically, Gregory, the conclusion, the point of this oh, paper is to say... See, this is why but, I did not oh, want you to get the I'm fuck into say, this. Just chill out for a second. Uh, Gregory, the point of the paper was um, that in the, in the 19th century, a group of Globers spun the idea that uh, the Globe idea didn't come, ar uh, come around to later, and everyone before them thought it was a flat Earth because they thought everyone before them was stupid, right? It was a Globe Earth myth, right? And, um, and then in the 20th century, 20th century Flat Earth Society wow. adopted it, right? And then... Um, and a lot of flat earthers today who are basing this whoa, off what the whoa, flat earth whoa. society said, who base it off what the globers said in, in the 19th century, still have this idea that the globe only came about in the in the 15th century. Obviously, that's not the case. You know what? Can you post a link to this? The moderation yeah. in here sucks my dick. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to get that link in a second. Harp, so the moderation in here it's sucks my fucking dick. Harp is if you're engaging with somebody, you also can't say you don't want to engage with them. Okay. Here's the thing. I was engaging with him, and here comes Pope Gregory, who I want nothing to do with. I don't what want any kind Pope of back to him. Please try to calm down and listen. All right? I was engaging with GF6 Jekyll. I was not <laughs> needing Gregory, the Pope, to come in and back me up at all. Can right? you explain what the fuck you're talking about? What the fuck is Pope Gregory? You shut the I, fuck I, up. All right? I was having a conversation with you. Who the fuck man. do you think you are? I don't are. need you. Look, just because your life is miserable, me, nigga, doesn't mean saying, you get to disrespect everybody else in the phone call. I don't need you to come in. And I don't need you to disrespect me. So you're going to keep talking to me like that? I'm going to keep talking to you the way I want to talk to you. So what's up? Going, yes, 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 Gregory. Yes. 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 There you go. Good <laughs> the job. Flattery Civil War we've guys, been waiting for. Good job, Good job, guys. Good job. Let's try and get it back on track. Okay, uh, I'm yeah. going to post the link, but just to be clear, Gregory, yes, it is behind a paywall, but no, you don't so have to pay for it. Over because, to because if you make an account with Sage Journals, Pussy you get, I think, so many... All right, okay, you get so many articles, um, that, like, I think, 100 articles wow. uh, every month, so you wow. can just read that one. You can take that one off. If it doesn't work on Sage Journals, I'll send you the same article on... Um, you guys seriously took this fucking conversation? There's another, there's another publication where I know you can definitely do it. Are you fucking serious? I think you right can now? do it on Sage Journals as well. Are you no. fucking serious right now? No, you're still having the conversation, dude. Really? Oh, don't I don't think jealous, I am. Man. I don't think jealous, he's talking right? to Gregory now. Don't no, get jealous. Not. Motherfucker. You know what I mean? He's what do you think definitely. in the center of the attention right now? Like this is not what happens. Hey asshole, I was having a talk with you and you backed the fuck off and you pussied out and went to Gregory because you're a faggot. Yeah, he so wants a clarification of the argument. Wanna man the fuck up? He wants a clarification of the argument, that's all. Harp the yeah, F right. word's a slur, dude. The yeah, just a warning, the F word, like Crit said, is another one of those things that you're just not allowed to say, dude. Gonna give you the warning because you probably didn't know. That's fine. Everyone's got a, a first time, but ultimately, F slurs really got to be careful, dude. I want you to have the conversation. Just chill, please. Great, it's up to you what you do, dude. Yeah, I think Harp, you got. I need you to look over some of these language. I, okay, other internet spaces, no, it's completely fine. Here. There's a lot of language you can't use if it's disparaging to a protected social class. All right, we just, I feel like we just went over this a couple hours ago. I think you need to be on mute for a while, okay? Just listen to people talk, okay? Oh, Gregory T. <laughs> He's the only good. human on the face of the earth that's ever called me that. <laughs> good, I, I right. feel uh, so, so it's funny. Greg, I'm really sorry, Dave, but that. Is actually sticking now. I can't get. I mean, I, I suppose. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I mean, you know, it's anachronistic, but you know, by at least five hundred <laughs> years. But it's okay. It's just funny, dude. It's just funny. Hi, shines. Yo, yeah, this is. Um, it's been 
good. It's been real. It's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. How y'all doing? <laughs> Not too bad. How you doing, Chimes? Yeah, hanging in there. It's good seeing you all in a different server and seeing what's going on. Um, we very interesting, Sean. to say the least. Have we met before, Sean? Uh, who is that speaking? I'm Jedi at the moment. Yeah, Jedi. Yes, I actually only know you in passing from different, um, you know, things that have happened along the way. We spoke one time. It was you and who was my homie from England that I stuck a pencil on the wall. Fuck, what was his name? Um, crypto. The dude who was, yeah, so Crypto. And then there was another dude. Um, fuck, I can't remember his name, but it was from 24-7. Like, I, you know, I was... I was on ladies night all the time on 24 seven. So we met a little bit over there. Uh, um, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. Just in, in passing though. Yeah. Like yeah seven or, S Swevin or something like that. No, it, um, the one that was, it was some dude. I can't, God, what was his name? He was the one, um, he got into it with rigs about something that was mailed or whatever, but he was super, it, who was it? Crack villain. Was it crack? Crack villain. Yeah. Oh. That was my homie. Like me and crack villain were super tight. He was my friend. Um, and yeah, so me and crack villain had a lot of good times and all of that. It, it was like, there was a bunch of people, but yeah, I knew a, a lot of people in those kind of realms. So yeah. Yeah. I heard about you in passing. I think we met one time Jedi. Um, but other than that. Yeah. No worries. No worries. So, what was the subject that I came in on? Well, um, we're on the subject the of whether of the or not the globe came about before or after 1490. I was saying, yes, it did before. And he was saying, no, it's, a, it's an after thing. Okay. This history, it's not even like a content... Because, like, I mean, whether or not it came before or after has no impact on whether it's true, right? But what it does have an impact in on... Is whether or not my um, uh, ADHD brain is going to correct someone about history. That's fine. I think we can all reference um, 2,500 uh, years ago, Platonomy, for example, and other people okay. who say... Ptolemy, uh, Jedi. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jedi. Um, Ptolemy, even, I think even, Harp has right. got the message that he can't use F slurs. Even our doctors. Yeah. So. Right, well, what, what year was our doctor? All right. Yeah. So as long as as long as Harp understands that those two words that he said That's... that he's been muted for, just don't do it again, dude. Then we don't have to moderate you for that. Then all is fine. So Harp, you're good to go, dude. Just don't use that F slur yes. again, buddy. See Harp, I'm your I'm your real best fan, dude. Best fan of you. I only use those problem. words when people piss me off. The funny thing oh, no, about the Jedi, the, the funny yeah. thing about this is, is that the paper goes on to say at the end, because um, obviously it's meant to be a, a myth peddled by globe birthers to say how like oh stupid people were before, but it actually was co-opted by flatter society, right? That's like so. This is when Jerry keeps going on about when uh, this isn't flatter, this is flatter society. That actually this is flatter society. Wait, what? The what you're talking about? You think we're flatter society? Not we, as in like people in this room. I'm talking about you peddling flatter society you bullshit. Do what flatter society is, or, or you know how it came about? Uh, it came about like, in seriously, the. Seriously, do you guys look into anything at all? Twentieth century. Yeah, I know. We're a disc floating through space. That's how yeah. fucking retarded. I'm sorry, Jesus, I can't do it. Oh shit! He didn't say. He didn't say it completely. In Barton, well, actually started got, uh, <laughs> started in the late twentieth century with Mister Mister Englishman, whose name is starting to escape me with the Bedford a, Canal shit. Oh, sh yeah, no, me too. Robotham, yeah, yeah that's all. Thank yeah, you. Samuel Robotham, yeah, sure. He had a good intention. See, this is the thing, right? So people infiltrate shit and they take over everything. See, what you what, like nine one one, for instance? I know nobody believes it was a conspiracy of any kind. It was just a bunch of, you know, and, but they conspired. See, if you go and you say to your friend, 
let's go rob something, you conspired. That's conspiracy. That's not a conspiracy theory. That's a conspiracy. That's a fact. So when we understand that people are conspiring against us, it gets really weird. And, you, and you're afraid almost to say anything. And especially when we come out here and we're talking to you guys and it's just, it's all good. You know, it's like everything they say is good. and That's it. The distances they give us, that's it. And that's how we calculate shit and boom. And that's it. That's real. See, you don't, you, you won't, you won't think past. You won't. I don't so know. So given why. these screenshots that he um, posted, Hart, what's your rebuttal to the argument? I'm sorry, what? What argument? These screenshots that Jekyll posted concerning the previous subject that I came into you, um, yeah, into you two it. talking on and on. All kinds of stuff. Real, like, I don't know where it's at. Where is it? Way up? What are we looking at? It's, uh, it's two screenshots. Two screenshots from Jekyll. Um, from... It's right where Shine says it will never happen. It's not relevant to his policies. I'm just giving you a reference. I don't see what you're talking about. Okay, hold on. What am I looking for? The first screenshot above. As you scroll up, it's the the one above. I reposted the, it. There you go. It's at the bottom now. Please screenshot. repost it because I'm really scrolling way yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I reposted it. That'll be better. Oh, this yeah. thing that I told him earlier that I can't read no matter how big I make it. Oh. Yeah, I, I already told him I can't read this. I can read it for you if no you can. Matter, no matter how big I make it, it gets blurry. Uh, so to the breakthroughs of Go ahead and read it, Gregory. Yeah, yeah. yeah would you like me to read it for right you? <laughs> yeah, because I it'll take me a million years. Okay, so his it. his um, screenshot where it begins with Roman number two. Um, did people in the Middle Ages think the world was flat? So the argument says, uh, I think it's an argument, but the paragraph says, from the 5th century BC, the Pythagoreans, the disciples of Pythagoras, had developed a spherical model of the earth and the heavens. Every major Greek ge uh, geographical thinker, including Aristotle, 1384 through 1322 BC, or Eratosthenes, 276 through 194 BC, and Ptolemy, AD 127 through 160, based their geographical and astronomical work on the theory that the Earth was a sphere. Likewise, mm -hmm. all of the major Roman commentators, including Pliny the Elder, AD 23 through 79, or Pomponius Mela, AD 40, and Macrobius, 4th century AD, agreed that the Earth must be round. Round in the sense of spherical, of course. Right. Their conclusions were in part philosophical, but also based on mathematical and astronomical reasoning. Did this knowledge disappear in the Middle Ages? Certainly reputable historians have claimed that it did, at least for a time during the Dark Ages, quote-unquote, from the fall of Rome until Greek knowledge was reintroduced through the Arabs. For example, Boyce Penrose reported, With the decline of Rome and the advent of the Dark Ages, geography as a science went into hibernation from which the early church did little to rouse it. Ellipsis, strict biblical interpretations plus unbending patri patristic bigotry resulted in the theory of a flat earth from Jerusalem in its center, with, with Jerusalem in its center, in the Garden of Eden somewhere up, up country. From real which quick, flowed the four rivers real quick, Greg, hold on real quick. Could, could mm -hmm. somebody, uh, oblate, bro, yeah, thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> I kept hearing, okay. like, breaking nuts and shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, leaving aside this interesting construction of, of a world centered on J Jerusalem, to which I will return, this paints a rather grim picture of the state of geographical knowledge and seems to lend credence to a flat earth theory, at least during the Middle Ages. But if we examine the work of even early medieval writers, we find that with a few exceptions, they espoused a spherical earth theory, even if this theory was based more on the authority of the ancients than on personal geographical understanding. Among the early church fathers, Augustine, A.D. 430, Jerome, A.D. 346 through 420, and Ambrose, A.D. 397, they all agreed that the earth was a sphere only, uh, and then it cuts off there. Yeah, it, I mean, we can all guess that the next one is that Lactanius, uh, or Lactanius uh, thought the earth was flat. But, uh... 
Now, funny yeah. enough, they're wrong about Augustine here. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Well, I'm just going to get the next page or so. No, I don't... I don't um, make people think that okay. all of them... What does this have to do with me, uh, real quick? So there's that argument concerning the dispute, either the globe theory began in the early modern era, or it began oh, okay. centuries before that. So there's that's, that argument. That's kind of what I thought. Yeah, okay. So where are the statues and where are the engravings and the drawings and everything about the globe? They're absent. That's a problem. Yeah, just so you know. And please don't show me as above, so below with the Christian cross on it again. Well, what did you say, sorry? Where, where are the what, sorry? Yeah. yeah. Please don't show me as above, so below as a proof of your globe. Ever. Again. You have to show me proof. Like, what he just said about that, and there are drawings and printings and all this other kind of shit that I could show you, and it's very easily done and put in place the way they can do things. You ever see the movie Wag the Dog? Anyway, we can move on, and you can't prove that your globe was 2,500 years ago at all. All right, okay, one second. paper with a bunch of writing on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll get you something now, which I think will be something... <laughs> From what you I, I really doubt it. Okay, what's this? Going to be. I need to get the reference <laughs> list for it first. Give me a second. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry's You're gonna like this one because we're gonna go straight to the source, not the source, source that I just posted, but uh, a source. Which source is that? God. The Venerable Bede. Do you know who Bede was? Familiar? No. How could I forget? No, Bede. Not monk, no, Bede. I know, yeah. I know they Very say famous. Very famous. Very famous writer writing around the 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 middle page, uh, the middle stages of the words? Dark Ages, and let's try and get this. You're going to show me more words, aren't you? Well, and this is from to... someone writing at the time, right? Okay. So here's that's, the thing. That makes it more powerful than just someone else saying this is what someone else said. All right. Well, here's the thing. I can show you a physical proof right there. Boom! See that? That be all... is your first quote. 1492... And other than that, fuck you. One second. Remember, your claim is more hard to defend than, than what you're presenting because you have to. You're goddamn right. You're saying there's no. Yeah, that's when it came around, right? right there. It's harder for you to look defend it, it. Go ahead and look it up. It's it's fact. It's a fact. I'm showing you right there is a fact according right. to your belief. Right there. 1492, bro. Don't, you know, don't. Don't play with me. I don't like it. You show me a globe before 1492. Any time before that is good. Okay. So okay. Bede, said, Bede said. Bede said. In okay. the okay. Bede, Bede, Bede who was writing between 673 AD and 735, said the cause of the unequal length of the days is the globular shape of the uh, of the yeah. earth. Did For it is not without Wag reason that sacred scriptures and secular letters speak of the earth as yeah. an orb. For it is the Wag fact the that the earth is placed in the center of the universe, not only in latitude, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And All that's right. from... Did you ever watch from Wag the Dog or no? D. Temporum Rashon... Rashon... Yeah, yeah, uh, words. Rashon yeah, chapter yeah, 32. Yeah, yeah. That's great. That's great. Did you ever watch the movie Wag the Dog? Oh my god. Yes or no? Very intellectual, yeah, yeah. That means no. Good job. So, when you understand how they can alter history very simply by just doing it, like they print the money and they do whatever they want to do and they show you whatever they want to fucking show you. Why can you not understand these things? So, you're saying now, beads writing to a corrupt. Before 1492. Thank You're saying you. Bede, Bede's writings were corrupted, Before Pythagoras's can writings were globe, corrupted, Ptolemy's writings were corrupted, and Aristotle's writings were corrupted. Is that what you show saying? me a globe. Show me a globe. 
41492. I don't want to see writings. I just uh, referred you to Wag the Dog, where they show you how they can alter. Oh, how do you history. know what you're posting? Uh, uh, isn't uh, isn't a flat Earth uh, sort of myth going on? Right, that we were talking about earlier. The lie. Uh, are you switching up now? Are you switching up? You can't sw You can't stick to what you I'm pinning you to, can you? No, because you're an asshole. Well, you're trying to say the globe came about until not until 1490, and I've just quoted something from Bede, uh, who was writing in the 6th so century. Here, let, me, let me see if I can get through to you one more time. I'm going to try, right? Now listen very carefully. They can rewrite history. Did you ever watch the movie Wag the Dog, where they show you <laughs> how they rewrite history? History. Hey, so or can who... you show me a globe before yeah. 1492? Who rewrote what Bede said? Who did that? Very simple. Who rewrote what Bede said? Run away from the fucking. Who rewrote oh what Bede God. said? You're making me curse. Stop. Who show did it? Show me proof. Show me proof. Stop talking. Show who rewrote it? The only thing that seems to be in contention now is Harp wants you to show him a globe before 1492. And he can't he do it. And he will never do well, it. Well, I'm oh, pretty sure... Will. This, is, on, this, is so, this would be hold so on. silly. Let me just okay. say this really quick. I've been here for a long time. And I'm going to say right now, this is what Harp has been asking for since the beginning of me joining. He's been asking this since the very beginning. So it's not something new that he's asking for. Yeah, cheers, he's, big brain. Right, But the, the point of it is to say that the globe didn't come about before brain. 1490, right? And if uh, I you, show you someone who was yo, writing before 1490 you know you know and you Please want a picture not, of a globe... You know what? I'm not listening to you. I'm just going to keep over talking to you. And you're just, just oh, being emotional. Like treating us, bro. You know what I mean? You want a picture you of a globe. That's what you want. You came in and said something. You just disrespected the lady. And now I'm just going to treat you like that. Exactly it's, like that. Can I ask you that? So you he, try to talk and I'm just going to keep over talking to you. You know, it's what he is. What he is asking is what is he uh, is what he uh, uh, right? Okay, yeah, is job. what he is asking for rational? Given what his claim is, I'm I talking about you, someone who's right. Does that before. matter? Does it matter I if it's rational you, or not? It, it, I'm it, sorry, it, I don't need any help. And you can I wait. Really hold on. Don't need hold any on. Help. Here's the thing. Matters. I showed you thing. a globe from 1492 <laughs> that is consensus. You can go look it up. Is now, it rational? Show it's me consensus before that. Either. The Earth was a globe as well. Wait, hold on. That's oh, your God. argument? Is, your, is it your rational? Brain, is your argument? That's your argument. Is, your is it brain. rational? No. The, arg the, the argument is that Bede was writing about the globe no, no, no. in That's the 6th century. Said. Give a shit what kind first of you, yeah. first you were that? like, dismiss me because I'm a Jedi. girl. No, first did you I? just miss Yeah, you oh, did. God, and sad. he actually said something about it. And then <laughs> we were asking, like, is oh, it yeah, rational? Bro, so you're gonna get so I am you're actually gonna very out. logical. Seriously. And I'm asking you right now, what do you think? Do you think that it is logical? Is it logical well, what he is asking God you? Thinks, if, if he's trying to make none the case, this, the claim is... Matters. Listen, listen. None of that matters. Like this, Nothing? Yeah, none of that matters? Who is this now? It's a crappy... It's a crappy argument because the why real is it? Is, what kind of a fucking concern troll is coming? Wait, hold on. Is this Gregory? It's really? Is Gregory. this what's no, going to no. happen now? No. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Is so this the, Gregory? So Gregory. <laughs> is this Gregory? So real, no, no, it's yeah, not. Like Who is it? Oh, he so, sounds a lot like Gregory. Who the fuck are you? So the, so the real argument. You guys having is, a good okay, fucking time I, I, right now? Like, what is happening so right now? If you're not Gregory, I don't want to talk to you. Like, who? Not if it's not Gregory, you. Not, I don't she care. She does this all the time. She oh, I do this all the time. I. This is the first time I've been here, homie. You don't even know me. You don't even know me. I'm Where are all my homies that do know me? What's happening right now? They're just allowing this Jedi. Crash. Jedi. Can y'all fucking like it. make this new show? This Please son of a bitch. I'm talking. Everyone else needs to shut up. <laughs> what's gonna happen? What is happening right oh, now? Because everyone's talking through each other. You got four people talking through exactly. each other. Exactly. No, we got not a troll a who just came into the room and started over That's talking. Not everybody. a troll. That's not a troll. That's Elijah. Very well respected. Oh, was that Elijah? Yeah. See? Good. See, I haven't talked to Elijah in forever. That would have been I great. I don't want to talk to Say Elijah. Say hi to him. Now. I couldn't give uh, okay. a crap. It would have been a great okay. conversation. Okay. That's Let's cool. all calm down. Elijah, can calm you take down. the floor? Let's get on with the conversation. Yeah, I'm trying to help everybody do that by stopping five people talking for each other. Okay. And shut okay. Elijah up and let's get on with it.
<laughs> okay, well, let's not be rude. That's the whole point, is to I not really don't be rude. I don't care right now. You know? Well, I do. I actually I really do care. care. I do care, because oh. I haven't... I'm not saying the F word. No, I I'm haven't talked to a lot of these people. Dude, I haven't it's talked to a happen, lot of these people in a long to the the time. To the Look, I haven't talked to a lot of these people in a long fucking time. It's really good that. to hear their voices. DM it's them. It's really then. good. You know what? Okay. <laughs> the love okay. Anyway. You know what? Who fucking cares then? Thanks a lot. If nobody gives a shit, then cool. Thanks a lot. Anyway, anyway, the point is that. What a help you are. People um, don't realize how five seconds up. is worth more up. than I wasn't even talking and he was just on a rant and page for like six <laughs> seconds. Wait, I'm not being rude to you. Only... Back on track. Oh my god, the only so people deep. being actually rude, Harp, you are being rude, and this other Glober is actually being fucking rude. Like, those yeah, we get it. Mental. And you're being fucking rude. <laughs> I'm trying to get to an argument, and we're and talking I, about. Oh, I haven't seen you. I'm trying test. to get Look to an this. argument. I want to fucking argue with people. Yes. I want to fucking rip their fucking heads off. Like, yes, shut the I fuck do. up, dude. Like, give it a second, dude. Heads like, off, chill out. Chill out. Chill. Take a breather. Take a moment. Can I say what a, can I say it's not that serious. Like, literally, gonna have to start muting people if Elijah can't get in what he was gonna say. That's all he wants. Just 30 seconds of your time. Eli, 30 seconds, dude. Yeah, so granted, okay. Um, I think what the other guy who doesn't want me to talk anymore is saying is you don't have any primary uh, source information on any of these people that you're naming um, to be calling it. Okay, let's go in the, the you know, the category of history. Well, the 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 best way to validate historical claims is to see if the the source or the writer is known by, you know, many other people who are also historically valid. So it's like, you just need a primary source. Um, number two, I just think the better argument is obviously they didn't have a cosmology that it's the same as the one today. So that being the case, you know, mm, it, it, it's it's what they really thought about what the world was versus you know this idea of you know shape. Voila. Yeah, because they didn't uh, think it was an voila, literally anything. voila. Voila. Uh, listen, I, I'm going I'm to tell so you that when I when I reference Bead, now. I'm so Bede my whole life is was writing him directly, right? So when so that's a primary source. The secondary source is someone telling me what Bead said, right? So yes, primary source was there. Bead, who was in uh, in cahoots with the other early church fathers. Cahoots. Yeah. <laughs> Do you yeah, post the the, uh, the quote? <laughs> oh, I wish that was in the source, but um. Yeah, I mean, like, look, whether or not it's a picture of, like, some sort of model globe that is recovered in the 14, 1490, or some drawings or writings before, the point is, he's saying, the globe came about in 1490, and I'm referencing primary sources before that. Right? <laughs> Straightforward. Hey, look, and you can't even show pictures like I can. Are oh, you yeah, kidding great. Me? These are mm. pictures. I could give you his book. He's, 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 book. he's kind Look, of. I'm showing you a, proof of an yourself, an and you can't even do it yourself. He's beating me in an argument about what? Not you, about loser. Proving that the globe existed <laughs> 2,500 years ago, bro. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. See this picture I posted with Eratosthenes and the globe? Really? Is that really? See that little doggy doggy on the fucking globe? Are you kidding me? So you think that's real? <coughs> no! That was that's, done way later. You couldn't even produce that. That's how that's stupid you is are. Not an argument. So what am I arguing for, though? It is not an argument. I asked you to produce a globe before 1492, and I just did. That's a globe before 1492, is it not? Yes, um, it is. That's Eratosthenes. No, that was an art, oh, artistic okay. work that was done no, much later. No. Now you're just going to say no. Good, good job. Oh, that work was done way later. I love you guys with your no. 
You know, because you I'm know guessing that nothing meeting was done with later. Ultimately, equivocation. I mean, I mean, I literally I gave think, you uh, proof logical that you couldn't is the goal of this yourself. dispute at all. I just want would accurate be history because for for it, it, that Elijah, that who word gives comes a shit with what you're specific. Saying, man. You just that weep. word comes with specific. I don't like um, you at all. You're an asshole. Geometric connotations that you can't tie to. Nobody really needs resources. to hear you, bro. We don't really need your input. Why don't you go to another server? Okay. I guess Harvey is a troll. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like. To, I don't. There's certain people I don't like, he is. and I will speak up. Okay. He is. And I, if okay. you have a problem with that, that's fine. I'm a realist. I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. I don't interrupt Rob people. Notches. You know what I mean? When I'm These trying to get a like point across, I don't interrupt people. Mm. Right? Like this motherfucker, he does it all the time. Now ban me because I said ever. Right? Jesus. But I didn't really. I mean, I came yeah, into the conversation. Yeah, you're an asshole, dude. I didn't you can say fucker. Him. You can say fucker. <laughs> I didn't interrupt him at all. Why don't you just fuck off? I didn't even interrupt him cursing me out. Cool. Why don't you just fuck off then? So, um, I mean, I'm just uh, curious other, what, what's, what's going to happen with this voice show tonight. Yeah. I mean, is this <laughs> this is cool? This is how things should be? Like, is when I'm Yeah, this is it, cool. It was cool. It's just as cool as you interrupted right. me with my conversation. That's how cool it is, bro. It's just as cool as when you came in here and interrupted my conversation. All right? That's how cool it is, bro. Why don't you fuck but, off? I mean, yeah, dude, I, you're not you have a really strange definition of conversation, any, I'll tell you that. Yeah, whatever, dude. I mean, you, you're not, I mean. Hey, Greg, why don't you and Most uh, of your argument Eli is just incredulity. It's not really an argument. Yeah, whatever. Like, I'm listening to you. You made a point. He countered it. You're not really going beyond that. Yeah, so I'm, like, I don't even know what you're saying. So why don't you stop wasting my time? <laughs> I'm not listening to you, bro. You're wasting my time. You understand? You and, uh, you and uh, you and not, Gregory, oh, you you can go away and just talk amongst yourselves, bro. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You hear me? Or no? You think I'm kidding? Jekyll, do you have that quote? Can you post that? Uh, yeah, we're, yep. we're moving on from you. Um, yeah, let's you, move on. Your name is. I'm actually going to get his. We're moving on without you, I guess. Good get job. his reference as well. One second. Why don't we get this? G4 Did you see where I tagged you also with the quote from Augustine? Yeah, I mean, I didn't want to let me read it because I, on, I was see. too busy speaking to Mr. Luna take over here. Not the one that we like. I want to say. When are you going to prove the globe, bro? When are you going to, uh, you know, G Force? When are you going to prove your globe? That's the look of. You about to throw that down real quick for us? Or what? Or are you just wasting my time and everybody else's time like I've been in here for hours? Like, I've been in here insanely long. Insanely. I've not been in a, a server for this long, and I don't even know how long. I came in here, I was just, I don't know, like a magnet, because you guys are retarded. And I just thought, wow. <laughs> so, once again, let's see some proof. Uh, anytime. Anything. Um, you claim. I'm going to... Uh... Gregory, I'm going to look at the reference list and see if I can find <laughs> when they referenced uh, Augustine. But um, that is awesome. I'll find Just the B thing me, first. Bro. That's cool. Yeah, yeah because you're schizoing. That's why. Yeah, I'm schizo. Yeah, yeah. I'm just wanting proof. I'm a schizo. I'm a nutcase. Make that into a verb. How dare so, I not believe in a spinning water ball flying through an infinite vacuum of space? It's a friend. How dare I not be insane? Would you keep over talking to me? Good job, bro. Is that Gregory or is that Eli? That's Gregory. Yeah. Good job, Greg. Eli, I swear for Lord, bro, we do not sound that similar. Oh, I know. I I, I said is that <laughs> Eli. I said no. That's Gregory. Yeah. I I figured it out right away. Like two now, people tonight. Eli, here, here's the thing. Me for Eli him. and chocolate. Not him for me. Once in a while. Once a, dude, I got you. Eli and chocolate once in a while. Pretty close. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know you guys at all, right? God. No, it's you don't. You don't know me. That's the thing. You don't know me. I know every one of you sons of bitches. You know, I've, been, you. I've been watching for Forget eight years. Eight years. I, uh, nine years. Nine years. 
You might want to think about getting a life. I've been watching every don't, one of you. Don't, 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 don't. Okay, right, hop back. Gregory, you know me. I know you don't never forget up, me, bro. Me. Yeah, me and you had it out lots of times, Greg. Yeah? How about the difference between belief and knowing? Oh, Lord, wanna I go, don't do, do you want to go a don't, few don't rounds do with that? that? Don't do that tonight. <laughs> don't, don't, Freaking don't retard. Do I just heard you... Don't do the that. same argument. I'm telling you, don't knowing do that. is still believing, and believing is still, still knowing. Doing it. You're retarded. I don't know why I'm trying. Of course, it's I can. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> you don't understand how to read do a it. definition you, you that do says it. they're totally different. I get it. I understand. <laughs> so knowing and believing are the same thing. I got it. I I'm gonna try this one. I'll, I'll just, I'll just try this one. Harv, did you come in here to um, have a discourse? Uh, let's see. Can you show me how? Knowledge and belief are the same thing. Okay, that's my answer. Yep, nope. Is that your answer, really? Because I'm calling you out on the understanding of two words, which mean completely different things. You're what? You're assuming that I came in here to cause discourse? Is that right? Not discord. Whatever. So now, you want to tell me the difference between, exactly. or are they the same? You want to tell everybody here how belief and knowledge are the same thing? Go ahead. Go ahead. Like, I really hate Gregory, and he would never say that. Yeah, he has said that they no, are the I same think... goddamn thing. No, and you haven't. can believe when you know. Yes. I, I, no, I, For four I, I, years I, now, he has defended it. Please shut up. Now, not Gregory, close, man. You're not listening. Gregory, you're not listening. Has the mods uh, designated this time period for him to, to ramble? Is that what happened? I'm speaking to you, Gregory. You want to tell us about knowledge and belief? No. <laughs> from Gregory, <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to. Go, yeah. Of course you're not. Okay, for the most part, as long as Harp's not dropping slurs, it's kind of giving a lot of leeway right now. Yeah, baby. I know. No, leeway. Yeah, leeway. Yeah, yeah, like a wide berth. And you can't do the simple thing that I'm asking you to do. Isn't that... Mm, that's kind of weird there, Greg. Pope, Pope Gregory. <laughs> All knowing... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You're just going to ignore me, right? Because I'm below you. Hard. I'm your biggest fan, man. Dude, I'm asking this mother a question, and he's refusing to answer. He just censor himself. Yes, he did. He's getting yes, better. He did. <laughs> yes, he did. Brilliant stuff. So now, would no, you I'm not like mother, to so. please explain yourself how knowledge and belief is the same thing? Please, go ahead. We're waiting. Okay. I guess he's conceding that they are not the same thing. Because well, once you know something, once you know something, it is no longer a belief. Period. He, he said he oh, didn't want to talk stupid. about it. Okay. Are we going to call me stupid now for bringing up a four-year-old argument, Gregory? No, really? the, the, the proposition that once you oh, know Scott, something, you Scott, no longer Scott, believe it is nobody stupid. Asked you. Nobody asked you. That's you, just have stupid. No, you have no idea. You just shut up. That's you have stupid. no idea. You're stupid. That's right. You're right. No, that, that proposition was so stupid. Gregory. I'm talking to Gregory and not Scott the asshole Maggie. Well, he's, not right? talking to, he's not talking to you. Because why? Oh, Because he I doesn't want to talk to you. Can I say the word pussy or no? Is that okay to say pussy? If Greg, it gets you hard, pussy. go ahead. Pussy. <laughs> I like how he asks for permission. Now, Greg, little guy, Mr. Big, who talks a whole lot all hey, the Harp. time. Harp. You need to confront Harp, me listen. right now after four years and tell me how belief and knowledge is the same thing. You need to do that right now. Yeah, Harp, you can say pussy, but don't say the C okay. word. What? You know the C uh -oh. word? Oh, yeah, cunt. Oh, oh come on, Harp. Damn it. <laughs> Unless you're from Australia, then you can say it all the time. Hey. Oh, God. Australians Gregory. use the word on a regular. 
So that, but it's a term of endearment from them, so they're like, exactly. Yamahashu! Exactly. 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 Knows the names of God. Yamahashu! These are good friends. Hey, Gregory, are you a real Israeli? Hey, Gregory, can you not uh, tell me how belief and knowledge is the same thing? All knowing Pope Gregory? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. It's been four years and you have not been able to do it. And now you have gone silent like a little pussy. <laughs> and here he comes with the radical laughter. Good job. Good I agree. Job. If you take him serious, that's going to be funny. I just dude. see him strapped to Good a chair job, with bro. a priest around him trying to exercise <laughs> him right now. Wow. Like, that's what I'm picturing. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's fucking <clears throat> awesome. Yeah. Now, what I'm imagining is you're trying to say how belief and knowledge are the same thing. Cut, and yeah. I mean, that's not insane like you are. I'm just trying to figure out how the Knowledge and belief is the same in fact. Bro, is he recording himself? Is he getting paid? Is there something wrong? I think with he's been brain? listening to QE is for a bit too long. Brain, bro? I'm trying, to, you I'm trying to make sense out of it. Why like, can't you what, answer what me? Is the rationale? Why can't you answer me? <laughs> you're forcing, you're trying to piss me off to where I say something I'm going to get banned for. He's missing something in his like, life right now. Your own vocal I'm not going to do it. For, for no good. Because you're a little pussy and you can't explain what the fuck you're talking about. Don't mean I'm going to get banned. Because I called you a name four years ago and got banned. First time I ever got banned. Oh, uh, this is long beef. I see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, long beef. <laughs> did you yeah. just catch on to that? I don't even that? know if his chronology is correct. When I said four I years ago, did you know. not catch on? Seriously? I've only been here for about eight months, anyway. Yeah, but I just got done saying this is a four-year-old beef. Okay. And that's when they, Several times. They, Several that's times. When they, yeah, Hold on, Hart. Then... Maybe I can help things out. So if it's I a four-year-old, it. if it's a four-year-old beef, yeah, are you talking about in, old, uh, old like F E D shit, right? Yes, back in that day. Okay. Started so what there, are you? Bro. Who are you talking about that was banned on F E D? I mean, I was banned. No, you no, were banned. All, we were all banned. Gregory, no, 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 Gregory, no, no, were you banned? About Gregory, beef, not a ban. Beef. F E D is on twenty-four-seven. No, no, FED is in an FED as in um, show. Uh, yeah, like, right. exactly. I, I wasn't banished from there. I left. Okay, right. Well, then, yeah, so is all of us. Yeah, that's no. I didn't. Here. I was. Calm I was down, banned. Everybody, calm down. I was. That's banned. where we first had a beef, Greg. Me and you. And you had. What did beef. you? What did you call him? Greg. Four years ago. I called him Greg. So, called him Greg, and he beefed you yeah, over there. Yeah, we had a beef over there. Because I was talking to him about belief and knowledge. And I see. He has not changed his position to this day. And it's alarming to me. Does that make you the anti pope? They are two different words that have two different meanings. Great, you hella funny. And he thinks they're the same. That you can believe knowing. Knowing you can still believe. He's uh, retarded. Sorry. Is that, can I get banned for that? No, you can say no. that. Yeah, he's say retarded. Yeah, he's retarded. Right? He's 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 been holding. Is anyone in here entertained by by Harp any longer? Oh, <laughs> uh, this is what he does. Several this people are actually. Can yeah. you answer the question, or are you just really that little tiny pussy? That right, you let, let's know? let's straighten out the beef then, Gregory. What was your position on belief and knowledge? Uh, what you heard last time, um, a couple days ago. Yeah, go ahead. Reiterate. Let us all know. I don't remember. No, 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 no. We all need to hear. There's a whole bunch of fucking people in here that are different. So let us know, bro. Come on. He's a JTB adherent, like most We're of gonna us. Need, oh, he's a JTB. Yeah. We have oh, a white that. knight. We have a white knight who's going to defer from the conversation. I, didn't, I don't avoid, remember that, but your JTB is pretty bitch. based, yeah. Avoid this son of a bitch from answering, right? Are we going <laughs> to allow this now? Right? This is what we're going to allow. I Wait, guess. so what, what do you think it is then? What's the difference between belief and knowledge, and what does it mean, uh, Hop? I already know. I've posted definitions over and over and over. Can you post so, one now? What, no. I'm trying to get out of Gregory. <laughs> no, you're not turning this on me. This is for Gregory. I know what the difference is. See, Globcard, 
Just go away, Globetard. This question is for Gregory, not you, not me. As the pussy turns. <laughs> you see what's happening right there? As the pussy turns. You might as well just click out, bro, because you're a pussy. And no one really wants to see your... Does anyone else face. recognize that phrase? Yeah, but you're a the, faggot. The pussy you're a faggot? What, you're a faggot ass pussy? I get the worm tag. That <laughs> That's one, the first right? time I've ever heard that. Yeah. Ever. It's like on a turntable or something. Oh, dear. I wanted to hear what his uh, views on belief and knowledge are. Well, somebody's stuck him on mute, so I guess one of the moderators has assigned that that's time for him. Um, for hard. That's what happened. Did you say the F word? Yeah, you got to read my phone. What the hell happened? just take him off mute. Like, if you guys want to battle it out, battle it out. I thought I heard him say pussy ass. No, I did hear him say pussy ass. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hard. You can't. This is it, dude. You're done for the. I don't. Oh, because he think cussed. You're done. Oh, because he was cut. Yeah. Well, no, because he used a disparaging word towards a protected minority class. Which I'm not a member of. Just to be clear. Just to be clear. But if you were, yeah, it'd be okay with but us. But someone could be in the call like or you. on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, no, I would still been. like you. If I had lied, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear any slurs there, dude. I've got to be honest. He, he did, he did say, but I, I do think, I do think maybe like twice. give him a, a form, a formality, you know, like a, a don't do it again, you know, like one of those. No, it's yeah, gonna be I enough because I'm sure you guys are clipping each time he says it and put it to mind. No, now. I don't care. I want to hear what he I, thinks. Belief and knowledge is. Yeah, we don't want to bring down the room, man. It's the last thing we want. We love this place. <laughs> To be fair, they are here more than we are sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Jeez. We self-harm at that point. <laughs> I just have to say that Crit saying that shit is the best thing ever. Like, he might be hurting some of these feelings. Someone, like, oh, I don't know, a minority class. We need to be protective of those people. Like, Crit saying that shit? That has to be the funniest shit I ever fucking heard. All I love I you, Chris. Know. That was All great. I that was know. fucking great. Want me to bring my guitar out and start <laughs> singing a song? Really? Oh All I want to know the turn is of the how, how believing and knowing are the same. This is uh, four years I've been searching, and I can't find that they're the same thing. They are always telling me that it's different, and this guy here. He has stuck to his guns for four years, so I need to know. You guys so what, keep so muting me. Why don't you tell us all what it is? You guys What's keep the muting me because I say a little word here and there or something or whatever, but this little coward gets away with saying whatever he wants to say. Yeah. Yeah, it's neat. It's but neat. It's neat to say anything. I've known Greg for some years. Now let's have known. some white knights. Now let's introduce the white knights. Uh, are you well, proud of yourself, you know, Greg? You are you sitting there in your little basement, little pussy? Can't get <laughs> How about you just like make it simple so so Gregory has something to bounce off, right? So tell us what belief in knowledge is so Gregory can bounce off you. How about that? Oh. Yeah. We've had this yep. before. Please shut up. We have it. This we is between heard your me position. and Gregory. Okay. I don't know, yeah, I don't know your you. position. This is not between so, you and let the room anybody in. else at all. Please shut up. Let us have so a window maybe, into your beef. Maybe, yeah, maybe you should do a 1v1 it's with them down below. It? This is incredible. It's it really incredible that the way they're protecting you, Gregory. The Globers. It really is. Cool. Even I'm the Globers you are I'm the first you. person. I'm now the first person who likes to watch that, Gregory fail right? sometimes, what right? But, uh, to protect the Globers, Gregory? <laughs> today, that? I think I'm more interested in watching you fail off. Listen to this idiot over talking. I don't know if anyone else has been the recipient of such a lengthy vitriolic uh, uh, spasm. <laughs> um, Dude, uh, if I could I reach know. through and punch Has you in the face, heard him I would do it. I love you. Else? Else? Anyone else? Oh, right. Sorry. You're an idiot. Now, now he's threatening violence. You're an idiot. Oh, guy, it accused me of violence now. Go ahead. Do that. Prove it. You just said it. If I could invoke physical violence on you, I would. Dude, no, we're not trying what to I help said. you out. I hope this is recorded. Yeah, it's on YouTube. That's not what I said. You're an asshole liar. 
I Dave. said I would reach through and kiss you on the face. You fucking asshole liar. Right, let's take it from a 10 to a 5 harp, right? We're on a 5. Okay, right? well, let's back let's... off with the liars. How about let's... that? It... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave, yeah you're going to have to make no it more simple than that. I'm, I'm, I'm really sick no of problem. lying. Yeah, I get kiss. away with just lying and I get muted. That kiss sounds all like cool. punch to me. Like, like, I don't even want to be here. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, I apologize if I misheard what you said. No problem. We're adults. We can move on. Can Literally we go on? Jedi, can we? <laughs> yeah, hey, oh, Greg, it's can, fun. You, can you explain to me, Gregory, how believing and knowing are the same thing? Please. He's back in you, Gregory. Come on. And here's where he goes silent, and then when I say too much, he calls me whatever. Because you know uh, why? Because he's actually. a little pussy boy. With a beard. Gonna go check he on thinks, YouTube. He thinks he's special. He thinks he's some kind of Israeli chosen little bitch, you know, and that's all it is. So now <laughs> you're not above me, dude. Thank you're you. not my I pope. I cannot believe this shit. I, this no, is amazing. How about that? How about that? Somebody got the balls to talk to you like you should be talked to. How about that? Now, have you told me how belief and knowing are the same thing yet? No, you haven't. Wait, Gregory, do you know what, what his view on belief and knowledge is? you get a chance, Greg, you will poke at me, won't you? But you won't uh, tell me my I, fucking I, answer, I, will you, Gregory? Nothing. No, because you, you're a little pussy boy. Could you tell us what uh, what he thinks is? Because he won't tell us. He thinks that uh, when you know something, you no longer believe it. Okay. Is that true, uh, Hop? Oh. When you know something, it, when you, know something you no longer believe it. Oh. Okay, so I want you to kind of look over here and read. Ready? No. Knowing and believing are different in the following ways. Knowing means that you are certain about a truth. Well, believing means that you. All right, really sorry, guys, but I went back onto YouTube and listened to exactly what he said. No, I was not lying. He said he was going to punch him in the face. Now, I've been accused of lying. Harper, I've given you every piece of fucking rope that I can. You owe me an apology, sunshine, or I'm just going to ban you from the server for violating TOS. You've got a choice. You apologize to me, or you get banned. I can post the link in the chat as well. You said punch, not kiss. You owe me an apology sometime. <laughs> what? what are you, you owe me an apology me? Are you talking to me? Yes. Where are you You owe what? me an apology. You accused me of lying. You said, Greg, if I could reach through the internet, I would punch you right now. I've got it on YouTube. I went I back and looked. Yes, you did. Would you like me to post <laughs> no, I did not. Like I said it? I would kiss you on the face. Would you like me to post it? Play it. Play it. Play yeah, it. I will do. What I'll do is I'll play it as loud as I, I can. I heard you just say sorry, Harp. Please. Play it. Or please just say sorry. Play it. I don't want you're, you to go, you're man. You're making a claim that I said sorry. punch? Play it. Dude, if I can reach through and punch you in the face, I'm going to lose. Now, what did I say at the end? Now, what did I say at the end? This is a repeat of the other day. Wow. So you said what did I say at the end? end? Very Which conveniently uh, cut out, huh? At the end? No. What did I say at the end? I'm going to post it. Everyone else can go and see it. That's the thing about YouTube. <laughs> so you got a choice. What? You can apologize. Sorry, Jedi, to call you a liar. You obviously Just say wasn't. sorry, Harp. Please, bro. Please Just do say it. sorry. Have some yeah, humility, no. dude. Okay, so I have humility. And at the end of that oh, statement, I said I will kiss oh, you on the Just say me. sorry. Please. Just say sorry. Dude, so if, I th if you thought I was going to punch you in the face when I said I'm going to kiss you... At the end, Dude. really? This is Dude, like some it. kind of uh, McToon no shit. Worries, I'll post it. You can listen to it and everybody else can. It's I not a heard problem. heard what it said. I did. Punch. At the yeah. very end, after I said, if I could punch you, I would kiss you. Is exactly mm. what I said. Can I just say Please something really quick? Can I now, just say that I've known... Hold I've... on. Okay. you got to play this whole thing and listen to the whole thing because... 
I love this guy. Can we not ban him? I was he legitimately about to fuck. Okay, well, he's on mute right now, so let me just help Harp right now. So I've known Harp for fucking ever, okay? I'm one of the old school girls. I've been no, around no, no. for, yeah, you know me, Gregory. Like, I've been around for a long fucking time. Like, old school 24-7, old school ladies night, old school FED days. Uh, mornings with Nathan, all of that shit. And I'm gonna let you know right now, Harp really is a fucking good guy, and he has a good fucking heart, and he has good people. Mm. So let's not demolish mm. him. Let's not treat him like the sh like shit because you guys are brand new and don't know who the fuck he is. He is actually he's an no, he's got credentials. <laughs> yeah, he actually no. is. I agree. He actually is an OG fucking that, legend, and nice. we should be treating old. him yeah, with, with listen, he might be that. a fucking asshole, and trust me, mm -hmm. you have no idea the shit that he's put me through, the shit that we've gone through, you know, we've lost people, Don is no longer with us, we had to deal with his passing, <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember Don, but like, that shit hit yes. us fucking hard, um, there's been a lot of shit that's gone down, so like, just know, like, he is fucking chill as fuck, and he he will be a fucking dickhead. You can not be serious right now. I am serious, but he's still that's cool. That's not possible. How is what? What am I saying? That's not logically <laughs> possible. Go ahead, Gregory. Let's talk about it. Let's, 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 let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What you am I saying? Tremendously perverted definition of good, <laughs> and then he called him I'm an asshole, fun. and so you know. Yeah, he is an asshole. Right yeah, he is an asshole, and I still love him. How much a the good people love assholes. somebody who's not it, i'm sorry my fucking grandmother's an asshole she's a total fucking bitch she can be such a cunt and i love her still is that like i'm sorry is that that's, wrong that's, a red herring. Well, that's, 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 that's not a red herring that is reality like there can be to... people hold on no, there can be no, people not hold on sweetheart okay i'm trying ahead. to moderate this conversation and keep the channel going that's a blatant violation of tos now, we've given him at least five passes with regards to TOS. Oh, okay. As I didn't know learned... there was TOS. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, obviously, okay. that's why I'm jumping in. Okay. Right? Hey, what did I do? What did I do? Hold on. Can you... Hold on, hold on. Can we have... Hold on. I, I want to know what the fuck did. I did. What did I do? What did I, do? What did I do? We didn't tell nothing. No. didn't do anything. We're not talking about Wait, you. Wait, why did I get muted? I was just trying to... Look at... Are, are oh you kidding God, me that you're not going to let me get this out of Gregory where he says belief is... You've been on this for an hour now. Okay, so you're really not going to let me do let this, right? this out. <laughs> so, okay. so you're not going to let... That's cool, Greg. You make fun of me. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> he he uh, posted um, He posted you it. you seriously can't see what's going on here, I really don't give a shit. So you have fun. Harp? I understand where Go you're ahead. coming from, dude. Yeah, yeah, Jedi, I'm he was on... You're going to actually punch him. Jedi, he was on this point here. Harp was trying to read that out there. Cool. Yeah, I'm trying to get an answer, and you're all turning against me with the Gregory, with the Pope Gregory. He For years, Gregory. I've been trying to get the answer of I how. Know a title now. See, keep keep going, bro. Yeah, I know you're more important than I am here, so that's all good. So I'll just shut up now, and I'll let Your Majesty speak. I saw. Her. First, I'm Pope Gregory. Now he turned my name into a, a title, like I saw. Her. Your Majesty, yeah, Your Majesty, the Pope. I got another royal title all of a sudden. I don't know where all this authority is coming from. It's all that... fake, dude. It's just to get you to shut up. So, Harp, that's all um, it is. You were saying knowing means that you are certain about the truth, while believing means that you have chosen a truth. Believing always leaves room for doubt, while knowing leads to confidence. Believing is blind trust, while knowing is trusting with awareness. Knowing refers to knowledge about something, while believing refers to a firm conviction and trust in an idea, value, or belief. There you go. There you go. Very simple. Two and separate for things, four everyone. years, for four years, this guy down here, Gregory, Gregory, has denied that de definition. Period. Denied it. Do you understand what that definition says, or no? Or, or do you make up your own definitions? Because a lot of people do out here, and when you show them definitions, they just deny it. And say no, <laughs> and that's what Gregory does. See, and he makes up his own shit because you're still believing it, even though you know it. No, you know it now. You don't have to believe it anymore, dude. That's as simple as that. Now you believed it a little bit, and then you wanted to confirm it, and then you did confirm it, and now it's knowledge. Now you know. 
You no longer have to say, I believe. You say, I know. See? It's very simple. And for four years, really? Four years, you are such an arrogant, egotistical little bitch. You can't even answer me. You'll come back at me with some kind of ad hom. Right, little bitch? Were you using an ad hom when you were suggesting that he was going to use one? That he's a little bitch honest, after four years? Yes, I was. Yes, I absolutely was. Gregory after four years, yes. Before. Yes. Are you letting me answer? Yes. After four years, yes. I was ad hominating as much as I can. Trying but this to get is like a answer. personal thing. He won't answer. This is like answer. an emotional, personal you stuff. You can't get this through your heads, right? He can't answer. This is like a grudge. Because he's going against a the grudge. definition. My God, you guys are so, my God. Like, I don't even want to get up in the morning because of people like you. You can't think. This, this right? is like so an emotional So you see approach. a definition and you just deny it, right? Is that right? Are you going to stand up for this motherfucker who's denying the definition for four years? He's so arrogant and egotistical that he can't concede? Are you kidding me? I conceded earlier, right? You remember? You remember? I conceded. Remember? crazy man who just does nothing but yell conceded remember you should because i do because see i am I rational just, and i have a good working Arf, can brain. i say something uh, as soon as i'm it's done but go ahead yeah go ahead i'm done go ahead as soon as i'm done uh, so gregory has threatened to punch me hey greg you want to throw a little more ad hom at me bro hey christian mr christian <laughs> huh? Hey, turn the other cheek, bitch. What do you mean? Shut turn the, the other up. cheek, bitch. There you go. <laughs> He's, a He's the real faggot. guy. He's the Ozer. real guy. Oh, shit. Oh, did I say a word again? <laughs> oh, God damn it. Is so anybody going to reply without anybody in No, I did not hear it. Is oh, yeah. going to reply without I am 64 years old next month. Or th no, Jimsy, what do you think? I don't know, I wanted to hear something, but it looks he like... He was banned, wasn't he? Sorry, guys, I can't let it go anymore. That's like 10 times now oh. that we've let him go for this, that, and the other. It's oh, just a disconnect. On, He's free to join us in the next half an hour. He needs a shot across the bow. He's been disconnected for half an hour. He hasn't been banned. Okay, that's okay. okay. Good, good, can't, good. Can't let, I can't let... Honestly, can't let that go. Also, I was getting a bit tired of it, to He's be fair. At some, at some point... I was getting a bit tired of it, I'm not going to lie. Now, I am curious. Who in here believes that I deserved all that that Harp said to me? The insults? No, I don't think you deserve it, Gregory. Anyone else? I'm curious. You sounded emotional, like a grudge or something. I don't think it's deserved for what I think. <laughs> but to be fair, Gregory, he's been doing that Gregory. to just about everyone he's got his hands on today. Well, you notice that he, he he abandoned you. He just just he just myopically and you know sycophantically you know just focused his uh, his uh, kill instinct on me. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For your beef, yeah. I, I just, in his mind, as far as that goes, right. Harp is my favorite flat earther now. I must say. Does Flat Earth really make any sense, though, these days? If only he knew. Shut the fuck up, E.T. In I'm sorry, I don't know if we're allowed to cuss in here, but E.T., don't. Do not oh, come cuss. in after fucking Harp and you be like, oh my god. Just stop. Just much. <laughs> if only he knew how, like, if only he knew who I really am, because he thinks... At least it seems this way. I feel like he conceives of me as a person that's far higher than I am. Nah, he knows who you are. He just doesn't he does, give a he fuck. He has no idea. Wait, hold on, on Gregory. Let me speak to you person to person real quick. Let me speak to you person to person real quick. Here she goes again. 
oh here i go again oh, god forbid a woman speaks inside of a male fucking server oh my god yeah i know gregory we have history i know harp we have history so let me speak to him really quick is is that so much for me to ask is that so disrespectful is that so disgusting that a female would say something oh like, it's talking about you being a woman shut the fuck up dude just sit back for a minute Thanks. Let me say something to Gregory. Like, I know him. We've known each other for a long time. Yeah, yeah like, Jekyll, your name out. is not Gregory, so stop His it. name is Gregory. No, Jekyll, the one that is talking to you? I know who the fuck I'm talking to, and it's not him. I told him Yo. to shut the fuck up. I'm trying to talk to Gregory. Just yeah, that's what I'm telling you, Jekyll. That's what do, I'm telling you. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, so Gregory. Harp is an asshole. He's a fucking dick. He's a like a drunken, like piece of fucking work. That's mm -hmm. just who he is. We've known him for years, right? Like we were, you were. I don't know if you were mod over on FED two. You were. You were on the fucking show. Like he is just a fucking maniac. He has a good heart, but he is like a monster at the same time. You know, mm -hmm. like he's just a fuck up, and he he just he does what he does, and he says what he says. Like I know he, I know he respects you. He just doesn't respect any of the Globers. You, he fucking respects. I know that for a fact. <laughs> He's just a fucking asshole. Like he will fucking say whatever he wants to say whenever he wants to say it. And he, he's old. It's like Steve. You know Steve, right, Gregory? Yeah, I remember him. Yeah. So Steve is like the man. He's like the OG of the OGs of the OGs of the OGs. And Harp is like leading his like he wants to be you know on that tip. It is what it is, <laughs> it, and it is what it is. Oh, like oh Harp, God. go ahead, go ahead. Hey, you said no, no. Continue. You just uh, he wants to be on that tip. Like oh, oh yeah. I don't even know that. I don't need to know that. Yeah, like it, it's just that's the way that it fucking is, and. You know, they're doing their thing. They're getting fucking old. Like, Steve, uh, you know, you know, Don just passed away, right? Did you know that? No, I did not. Yeah. So, Don passed away, and we're still trying to figure out whether it was suicide or it was drugs or it was this or him burning his bike or whatever the fuck happened, but it fucking broke all of our hearts. Like, it really fucking wrecked us as a crew. Like, you know, Sin Cleanser, Steve, Don, Don Harp, me um that entire fucking group of people like he was close to us like he was really fucking close to me and the last conversation i had with him wasn't fucking good and he was dating like my best friend from it's this whole fucking deal so yeah he passed and it fucking hurt us and it hurt all of us so we're all kind of on this tip for the past like kind of six months since we found out and so people are lashing out people are acting in certain ways so just take that for what it's worth. Like, you know who Don was. You know that it meant something to everyone. Um, mm. Just take that with a grain of salt. You know what I mean? When Harp is, like, acting up or Steve is going to do some shit or Sin comes in drunk as fuck or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, um, it, it, it's been a problem for all of us. Um, I know you know. I know you fucking know. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to get my two bits in there. Thank you, Gregory. Thank you. My ADHD brain needs worse. Same dude. So that quote from B, Jekyll. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so what, to be honest with you, I, I have a an inkling that everyone in this room doesn't disagree with the idea that the globe idea came about before 1492. So I suppose it's interesting in the sense that B thought it, but it's not interesting in the sense that like someone before 1492 thought it. Again, I disconnected. Um, Say it again. I was just saying like um, <clears throat> that uh, most people in the room probably don't think that the globe came about in 1492, I imagine. It was just like a uh, probably just interesting that Bede thought it, but not so much uh, interesting that Storm before 492 thought it. Yeah, I got the point. The point that you were trying to argue is that there's historical data, excuse me, that indicates that the globe paradigm was believed before the 15th century. Yeah, exactly. 
I think is an uncontroversial claim because most people say talk about Aristophanes or whatever, right? or Ptolemy or whatever. Um, uh. Now, concerning the quote from Augustine, because your citation asserted that Augustine affirmed the Earth to be a sphere. However, when you read his most famous magnum opus, City of God, Book 16, Chapter 9, uh, he doesn't. He uh, yep. he contradicts that. Give me like... Go before, or do you want me to read it? I've, I've read it. Um, I'll give, give me like 10 minutes, and I'll check the citation on, on uh, Augustine. You won't be able to read it. In uh, boring. Can we do something else? Do you want to talk about something else that we can do right now? You want to talk about your pedigree? <laughs> you want to talk about your pedigree and flat earth? No, no, no. I'm saying, no, no, no. Wait, hold on. ET, stop. Twister. Stop, ET. <laughs> what I am saying is, like, go and do your research. And while you're doing your research, who else has something else that we can actually talk about? Like, we're not going to sit here and wait 10 minutes for you to look up what you want to look up, but go and look it up, because that well, will be super fascinating. Like, oh my god, E.T. 10-minute video. They're like, here, here's this 10- oh, or 20-minute long video. Watch it, and then get back to me right now. It's like, <laughs> I am simply saying fucking video and that it is amazing that he actually really wants to look into something, and he should look into it, and it is going to oh take him 10 God. minutes, so in that time, I was like, boring, like, who has something <laughs> during that time to, like, do something else while he's looking that okay, up? Okay, I got That's something. I do you guys hear about how oh there was a God. second uh, bridge uh, crash into a second uh, bridge? Uh, that boat that crashed only bridge the crashed into the bridge. Yep. One week later, after that, ET, of the ET. Mm -hmm. so this is going to be a flat earth conversation. If this is related to the shape of the Earth, then I will let you continue. If it is not related to the shape of the Earth, please discontinue. You've got a oh, choice. It's like that. Oh, you're right. I forgot where I was. My That's bad. Not a surprise. My bad. No problem, dude. No problem at all. So if we can get back to subjects relating to the shape of the Earth, that would be awesome. Jedi, you are hella funny, bro. I try my best. Dude. Jedi is funny. fucking on point, but he's also on point. So, I mean, no, hey, chill with the no, glazing, man. Jedi said, Jedi said at twelve sixteen, bro. Oh. <laughs> no. He's still Jedi. on point, though. That's Jedi. why. That's amazing, Jedi. I swear for Lord, dude. If you make another, uh, if you make, uh, listen to me. If you make another hilarious moniker for me, <laughs> I'm gonna die of laughter. Please, dude, don't me. make me do it. It's already sticking, man, please. I swear for all. <laughs> dude, you said Pope Gregory the Beard. It's just brilliant, isn't it? Just it's all, listen to me. Let me explain something to you. It's already enough. I'm, get, I'm getting compared to James Harden, who is known as the Beard. <laughs> and it's already enough that I have the same name as it. You've already, you already done James Harden. Okay. You have outdone that. And man. now you're gonna put them together? Yes. Shit. Yes. <laughs> I don't know who it hurts more. You or me, mate, because my sides are splitting. And it comes from a very big place of love, you know that. Can I can I can I bring up this one point which I actually was having this conversation with someone about one day ago about uh the rocket ship things going out into space. Um, like, <laughs> well, why do they always go out into and by the way this is very on, on point this is like why do they go up and then they come back down and then I was like well I'll tell you exactly why it's because this thing called gravity turn does anyone have a a, um, a strong opinion about that I don't think what you just said was actually coherent does anyone understand it? It's called, sorry, I don't speak very clearly, Not but um, it's called Gravity Turn. Gravity Turn? Did you say? Okay, no, turn like when you turn left or right. Gravity. Oh, Gravity Turn, turn. okay. Gravity Turn.
Was that it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to see if anyone had any opinion about that <laughs> that some, that topic. Well, actually, um, I don't know, man. His Rockets go up, and they keep going. That is longer than his. And uh, the Earth is a ball, a water ball in space. <laughs> yeah, his beard's a bit too thick. That's why he's like shouting his mouth. Blade or myself? What do you mean? Sheroidian. Who, me? Can, can you say know. the name? Oblate what? Spheroidian. <sighs> yeah. Isn't that a beautiful name? Never heard that one before until tonight. It's actually Spheroidian. Spheroidian. That means that, that means I praise the globe. I, pra I praise the Oblate Spheroid. So I'm an Oblate Spheroidian. Did you mean to put the I before the also O? Also an inhabitant. I was just yeah. about to... You shouldn't have beat me. I was just about to highlight that spelling error. I've been I'm dealing sorry. with this. I've been dealing with this for years. People think because my <laughs> name is E.T. that I believe that there's aliens flying all around all, everywhere. <clears throat> it's because I have an alien little face and my name is E.T. Um, that's not at all what my intention was. But to go back to what we were talking about earlier, um, uh, look up look up gravity term. People are like, oh yeah, like a lot of flat earthers, they're like, oh yeah, check out the how the rockets, they go up and then they come back down. They probably land in the fucking Pacific Ocean or whatever the fuck they think. Uh, it's called gravity turn. Look it up. There's a whole Wikipedia page about it. Yeah, it explains yeah, it perfectly yeah. well. Yeah, look, we know. They have, to, they have to get the right trajectory so that they're falling sideways. Yeah. Falling sideways. You know, when you're moving <laughs> well, parallel to the surface? Gravity turn. Yeah. It. Check it out. Look it up. Read and try to understand the math and the, the trajectory and the physics behind the whole thing. It actually makes sense if you actually read the whole thing. Go ahead and read it it's and like come if, back if, and argue about it. If you throw a rock, right, it, it you know, it takes a like a par parabolic arc and then comes back down to the ground but they throw the rocket so hard right, and so fast and at the right trajectory that it's just like it's that that time that it's spent in the air falling back to the ground makes it loop around the earth <laughs> it's just taking a long time to come back down that's all no it doesn't loop around the earth it slingshots around the gravity of the earth and then it flies outwards so, so okay. how come et e how come you're making a nonsense argument and saying it makes sense um what do you mean by that well you're saying the rockets going around the globe gravity all that nonsense and you're saying it makes sense the nonsense makes sense uh, you, you, okay, you for one are not making sense. Do you want to clear that up really quickly? You know the you beginning. You a glober? Go ahead. I mean, I'd like to hear from uh, what this Bev person has to say. I'd like to hear what Bev has to say about it. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's just said Bev? What Bev has to say? Are you guys going to start talking about Bev? Is that actually happening? Because I would love to have that conversation. Yeah, I was talk I was exchanging with ET, and he just okay. discarded what I was saying, and he wait, said, "Wait, hold oh, on. No, I know you're not. I know you're not. Wait, you wait, 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 wait. First of all, first of all, first of all, I you wait. Hold you're on. doing the same thing. You're over talking. ET, uh, stop you're talking silly. for a second. <laughs> ET, stop talking for a second. I recognize your voice. How do I know you? What was your regular oh, yeah. name? Oh yeah, never mind. Never mind. Okay. You yeah. you know I know you. What? No. What oh, is he your ran away? I know I recognize what is his your name, name too. I don't know who the fuck he is either. I recognize that name though. I... That that voice. It's... God damn it. Jim C. Well, you know, Jim C. He snuck away. No, it wasn't Jim C. But it was FED. Like a little rat. Like, what is your name? Kind of, like a little there. rat He's in the tunnels is what he did. So he's, he's stop like, for a second. What was your name? 
What names did you use that I would recognize you from? How many names did you use? Not coming Ooh, back. Me? Or E.T. Oh my god, he came back. Uh, yeah, I got you a source, by the way, Gregory. Show. Never mind. Um, and I think, you're, I think you might be right, Gregory, but I'm not on the point about Augustine. Even his name, yeah. Underdweller. Yeah, yeah that's what they're bad. talking about you, Underdweller. Where the <laughs> fuck? Who the fuck are you? Click the name. Check the username. I don't check know. messages don't... in the past. I don't okay, wait, hold on. We were shit. friends. Oh, I just want to say this. I guess it's hold on, ET, e. stop talking. Oh fucking God. hell. Yeah, it's, it's the second. source I read to to come to the conclusion about it because I was trying because the citation they gave was the city of God and I was like, well, I'm not reading all of that. So what I am gonna do yeah. is find a the next best thing and find someone to talk about what he actually thought. What bad things? What do you guys think about what Bev thinks? What does that actually mean to you guys? Like, what do you guys think is going on there? Would eliminate eliminate all of those. Ideas no, Et, you really don't know bad. anything about Bev, so just you sit out for a I second. Know. How would you think that? I, don't, I you know, know for what a the fact. Fuck I think I know for a fact that you know well, nothing about I Bev. I haven't. I haven't really. Okay, just, go on. Just oh. stop for a second. Just sit it out. Just sit out for a second. It's not that hard. Just sit out. You guys, who wants to talk about Bev and what he's no, actually we're, doing? We're, like, do you guys think it's no, good? Do you think yeah, it's bad? Anyone. Who gives a shit? Yeah, I'd rather not Ask him talk about he's her. In the room with oh, you. My friend. oh, is Bev here? Not, oh, my, yes. So I'd rather not talk oh, about awesome. the person. I'd rather talk about what they say. So if exactly. talk about no, that's what, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like that's exactly what I was like. Stop talking about that's him. I was trying to say too. It doesn't matter what stop. other people say. Can oh we my not talk God. about the actual stuff? Talk about the urge. Talk about the urge. This can't. is what happens when I was addressing ET and everybody interrupted and we moved on. Can't anymore with this. I I concur, Jimzy. I heard that. Thank you. Okay, so Bev is in here. Bev, my friend that i haven't talked to in a long time I, yeah i would love to hear what what is going on because i've always been a fan <laughs> like quite frankly and i can give a fuck what anybody thinks about that like i've always been enthusiastic about what you're trying to achieve what you're doing like is there something yeah, no one cares new? about what bad has to say no one cares about what i do i care I care. So why, can you just I talk actually, to these yeah. people later? Can you message them? Can you add them? Can you stop making the entire VC about you talking to these people again? Oh, really? Because I was just trying to shut somebody up and shut the other person up and not trying to talk to people. And the one person that I wanted to try and talk to is Bev. And you're trying to tell me that I, I shouldn't talk to him? Because DM? Bev if you want to catch up with him, just do it in DMs. Hey. Oh, oh, got it. Oh, so BC oh. isn't meant for people trying to reach out to one another and talk to each other or no, like have any kind of conversations. Too. Got it. Yeah. So having Obviously, you know, a BC is not like oh, not I've happening. Seen you before. Hey, hey, hey. Like, okay, so Bev, you shouldn't be here anymore. at all. You should only get emails, Bev. You're not allowed to have <laughs> conversations with anybody. You're not allowed to talk to anyone. Just so you know, because all these new kids are in here. Meeting people again. All these new kids are in here, and they're like, "You're not allowed to fucking, you know, have any kind of fucking communication whatsoever." Yeah, but I'll Got send it. you a fact. But I'll send you a fact. <laughs> Dev, I want to know all what right. you're doing. Dev, Dev, Dev. <laughs> Only emails. Some emails. people get sugar in that coffee this morning or something. <laughs> Thank God, someone muted her, bro. I don't know how folks do it. I don't know how you can just uh, you can just uh, just ramble. I'm, I, there's no cogency. Like it, it doesn't even follow a logic sequence for more than two point seven seconds. I mean, I, I... <laughs> Gregory's trying to quantify it. I'm trying. I, I, I can't. Do you see? I can't finish a sentence except that uh, one. Gregory, that am one. I wrong? Though? I mean, you tell me. Am I wrong, or is she making the VC about her meeting old flat earthers, like, or whatever it is? A little, little bit, not too much, but a little bit. It's all right. It's just that uh, just if you want to pick a topic and maybe two or three people talk about it, and that's it. Well, she's, she's good. Something. Fuck. You know, 
Like That's a double. dialogue. <laughs> when you exhale. Anyways, um, Jimsy, what did you want to finish saying? I'm all set. I can't be too loud. It's people sleeping. Not too far, so I'll just listen yeah. for now. I don't want to hug the mic from you guys. Go ahead. <clears throat> Oh, well, how about this? Um, the quote about the sphere concerning Augustine. Um, Augustine said this. If Jekyll is still there and still cares. I'm here. Let me scroll up. Let me scroll up. Please do it faster. Hurry up, please. Get to it. Do it now. There we are. So this quote says, As to the fable that there are antipodes. Do you hear that rhetoric? The notion that there are antipodes is a fable. It's false. As to the fable that, that there are you mean, antipodes. You mean antipodes? Uh, no? Huh? Oh, no. antipodes. Antipodes. Antipodes, wow. <laughs> that's the, <laughs> that's not even the, the correct way to say it phonetically like that. It would be antipodes. No, anti, no it's, never mind. <laughs> different, As different. To the that there are antipodes. That is to say, men on the opposite side of the earth, where the sun rises when it sets on us, men who walk with their feet opposite ours, there is no reason for believing it. And to those who affirm it do not claim to possess any actual information. They merely conjecture that, since the earth is suspended within the concavity of the heavens, and there is as much room on one side of it as the, as is the other, as on the other, therefore the part which is beneath, which cannot be void of human inhabitants. They can they fail to notice that even should it be believed or demonstrated that the world is round or spherical in form, right, which is to necessarily imply that it isn't the case, but if it was Right, that presupposes that it's not the case. Um, it does not follow from that part of the earth opposite to us is not completely covered with water, or that any conjectured dry land there should be inhabited men, inhabited by men. For scripture, which confirms the truth of its historical statements by the accomplishments of its prophecies, teaches no fault teaches not falsehood, and it is too absurd to say that some men might have set sail from this from th from this side and traversing the immense expanse of ocean have propagated there a race of human beings descended from that one first man. Yeah, in this passage, so, he denies that the earth is a sphere. Yeah, so like um, in, in the paper no, in the paper I sent in the paper I sent uh, he was when he was talking about antipodes. Uh, I agree. Uh, <laughs> based, on, based on based on what. What I've looked at, it looks like he does reject the idea that there's a positive proof for it. And the quote that he said, the Earth may be round, and there may be room enough on the other side of it, but it does not follow up that uh, that the surface uh, there is free from water. I think he's suggesting that even if there was antipodes and the Earth was a sphere, doesn't mean that like <laughs> doesn't mean there's like non-descendants of Adam somewhere over there. It could just be complete water. It could be a complete water ball. Um, and. The, yeah. Okay. I, I think that's also. Well, he's denying that there's, there's there's humans on that on that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are humans on that. There side. was. Yeah. There wouldn't be humans there. Yeah. Certainly not antipodes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Gregory. Yeah, the pronunciation is antipodes. It's an Australian thing. But well, antipodes. That would make no sense. What well, antipodes? Then maybe it's your way of pronouncing it. Who cares? Yeah, antipodes. That's the way to pronounce. It. <laughs> just, just okay. Well, we're going to call it antipodes, and I'm going to continue to call it antipodes till the day I die. Anyway, um, yeah, right, where were we? Well, I want to know what Bev calls them, though. I want to know what Bev calls them. Oh, the second page of this paper it does say uh, something along the lines of he differs from uh, La Lactantius. Um, because uh, 
He does not deny the sphericity of the Earth, nor the possibility of men living on the other side. He merely insists, and rightly so, that there has not been brought forward any conclusive proof for their actual existence. The fact that if there are antipodes, their feet are turned against ours does not frighten him, nor does he believe that the antipodes walk with their heads down downward, or that the rain and snow fall upward. His counter reasons that he wants to see uh, removed before he... Uh, the re the his counter reasons which we want uh, which he wants to see removed before he admits the existence of men on the opposite side of the globe are such that suggest themselves to a mind accustomed to cool sound reasoning a mind which does not for a moment lose sight of anything which can demand consideration L play the sound of the plural antipodes i'm floored I posted it in the open chat if you didn't understand it. Yeah, it's Antipod. Antipodes, yeah. Okay. That's crazy. Well, I'm still going to call them Antipodes. I'm fine with that. I'm changing that one. On the end of Antipodes. Such an autistic thing to know, geeks, by the way. You still here? Crazy. Did you know we borrowed the word antipode over 600 years ago? It was first appeared in the translation of a Latin text as a word designating, quote, men that have their feet against our feet, end quote, that is, inhabitants of the opposite side of the globe. The word, which originated in Greek, combines anti, meaning opposite, and the root pod, meaning foot, antipode, is no longer used in English as a designation for people, but the notion of the other side of the globe lives on, lives on in its current geographical sense we have come to the use we're going to use the t plural term antipodes to refer to australia and new zealand okay yeah i feel like there should be more discussion you know like there should have been more discussion and more record of the of discussion about that amongst ancient greek philosophers about anti how did they justify that idea well, in principle, you can just – the only option they have is to um, – because, of course, they didn't observe this. So they have to give some sort of weak inductive argument, if not try to presuppose some premise that will allow them to make a deductive argument. Either way, uh, even if the even if the Augustine part's incorrect, I mean the the point of my argument was to say that uh, people before forty nine two thought the Earth was a sphere, mm. and that's shown in Eratosthenes, Strabo, and fucking Bede or whatever. Next next thing you know, it's not Bede, it's Betty. No, it's definitely Bede. We're not doing that bad thing. <laughs> Beta. <laughs> better. Hey, better, better, hey, better, better, hey. You can't have swastikas, you have to delete that. Swastikas. Yeah, you have to delete that, though. You can't have that. No, no, you'll get uh, you get one. you'll get you get in trouble if you uh, post a swastika, even if it's not meant to be. In a so bad I guess way. the Hindus are not a protected group. No, unfortunately not. Okay. I mean, if it's actually the actual star sign, it's not a problem. But when you start putting swastikas beside it, that's where there's there is a problem. There wouldn't be a problem if it's the actual star of the Big Dipper. There's nothing would happen with that. I wonder. Yeah, the big thing. No, I know. Is I know for a fact because I've had servers taken down for different shit, and I'm letting you know right now that isn't a problem. But it, when you have the Big Dipper and like how it traverses in the sky next to a swastika, that's the fucking problem. When you're like, oh look, it's a swastika, which is hilarious because it's you know an old school Indian <laughs> whatever. But yeah, it's. If you show the star signs, it's not a problem. It's when it's next to the other one that it is. Period. I wonder if the 
administrators of the app overall acknowledge the difference between like the stylized orienting the swastika on a diagonal tip as opposed what to it being what about know, the one i just posted the crippled supremacy one no so when it is the stars if it's just the stars like the big dipper and it's like traversing and and that's like in the swastika the symbol that. that's the only like that is fine if you put it with any kind of symbolism which is fucking hilarious like so if it, it exactly like when it's traversed right when it's the nazi when it's like tilted that is when it becomes a problem if it's anything that's buddhist or you know the stars or whatever it's not a problem but when Did it you say is crippled supremacy no i didn't say crippled no, not you supremacy. not you the, the, oh okay no. i was like no, that, I wasn't me. It. <laughs> that wasn't I'm me like, I, like, I, I heard that it. i i no. made that freaking shit out of four wheelchairs yes. it's hilarious dude <laughs> that is pretty funny but no yeah, stars are fine if it is, you know, tilted, if it is a symbol, whatever, but if it is a star, like, if it's nature, you're good. If it's Buddhist, it, you're good, but once it turns, like, tilted or becomes a symbol or whatever, that's when it's a problem. So we're that's allowed crazy. to do all of that shit unless it becomes that problem. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Well, I don't know about the Buddhist one in this server. I just, uh, I just wouldn't post them. Because I know swastikas themselves, you'll get uh, muted or you know. No, because the ori the original one isn't a problem. And I'm the talking about this server though, problem. like the yeah. what this server will take is like whether or not you'll get in trouble. Oh, the server might have a problem with the, it. I the big dipper is fine. I know the yeah, big yeah, dipper is yeah. fine, but uh... even that might be a problem within a server. Like whatever the people that own it want to say, they can make their own rules up. But I just know is Discord, like actual Discord. They don't care as long as it's like you know not some Nazi ass shit, which is still fucking. No, the Big Dipper is not it. okay. That's a that's cultural appropriation of black people. Hey, the there you go, there you go. So you can extenuate the logical relevance of any given thing whatsoever to some sort of supposed protected people group, and and you can have it banished. Flatsy Klein understood that sentence I said. Hello, Flatsy Klein. Flatsy, you have a you have a visitor. You can do a good Flatsy Klein accent. Is Flatsy Klein kind of like a person around here? Yeah, she's like Jedi's mom oh, or something. Oh, I don't it's know. a girl. It's another girl, about, man. She's awesome. Hell there yeah! There we go. Let me. And that was a terrible accent. It sounded nothing. She, like she's her. funny when she's. You guys drunk. already hate she's me. She's funny you when she's drunk. Hate me. You fucking hate me. You've never even known me except for the fucking homies that know me. So <laughs> let me let me meet this girl. What's going on? Is she gonna open up her mic? Or no? I think she's doing the dishes. Look out! She's like <laughs> barefoot. Barefoot. Super in That's all good. Oh, barefoot? Now you now you gotta see my decaf label. Somebody mentioned me. There she is. Ah, Flatsy. He's not mocking you, he's trying to do your accent. Oh. <laughs> it's awful. He said it's awful. Well, I wanted I wanted to meet you. Like, what's up? It's nice to meet, meet another female around here. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. I've met you before, I think, on 24-7. Oh, okay. So, what was your name back then? Because it wasn't Flatsy Klein. Maybe uh, Kim. I, what was it? Kim, my actual name. Oh, my... Yes, I totally remember you. Okay. Yep, got oh, it. It was that long ago. Totally remember. I don't even remember that. I don't even, I don't even know she her years. Of, speak English. I don't even know her name was Kim. <laughs> you said speak English. <laughs> Can someone catch me up with the law then? Who's E.T.? Who's who's E.T.? Because everyone e. was talking is, about E.T. is chill. He's He just, like, I don't know why he's muted. Is he a glober? Um, yeah, he is a glober. For sure. He's, he's totally a glober. 
he so- he gets wasted and he likes to talk shit and get drunk. Um, yeah, he's cool though. When oh, did that a become homie. the thing to do? When did it become the thing to intoxicate and inebriate yourself and then blabber on Discord? When? I want to know the date. I mean, I don't think there was a date. I think it just fucking happened. I think people just do it from time to time. Like, it happened all the time. I've done it before. Like, I've gotten drunk and was like, ah, oh, fuck, I woke up the next day like, ooh, that was embarrassing. Like, it just happens. I don't know. It just is. It doesn't mean people do it all the fucking time. Oh my god. Whoever but ET is definitely going to do it right now. He's going to do it right now. Watch. Go ahead. No, you're not going to watch anything. Whoever just unmuted me right now, right now you'll understand. Thank you for, for doing that. Whoever did, whoever just did that. Um, ET. Uh, what time is it for you right now? Excuse me? What time is it he for you right now? He indignantly crescendoed to thankfulness. That was a plot twist. Is it, is it early so in the who morning? Who did that? Who did that? Who unmuted me right now? JMC. JMC. I don't know. JMC did it. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to listen to the conversation. Uh, go it. on, folks. Okay. And Alcoholism's bad. Say that word again. Alcoholism. Say that word one more time. Alcoholism. That's that's terrible. That's terrible. You know, got an accent. Just like Charles Barkley. That's terrible. Y'all can't say alcoholism? Alcohol? Who the fuck just said alcohol? What the fuck was that? That was amazing. <laughs> I swear to God, whoever just said alcohol, like, what the fuck was that? That was great. That was fucking everything. He spelled it so. I spelled it so quickly. <laughs> Oh my god. It's in the open chat. What a many factotum said. The phonetic spelling of the way Jekyll pronounced that word. No, it's alcohol. <laughs> Alcoholism. <laughs> Depends. It just depends. Right, well, someone asked me to say bottle of water, right? Um, water. I, can, I can say bottle of water, but um, bottle of water will come out if I say it casually. Bottle of water? Yeah, water. bottle of water. 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 Bottle. I mean, what's the point? Water. What I mean is, what? what's the point water? in having a language and you just disregard half the letters in it? Uh, it depends. Like when I'm speaking on Discord, I'll try to say everything in such a way that is like uh, straight English, right? But um, casually, when I go, when I go into casual or anger, if I'm angry, um, my accent will come through. The way I'll actually pronounce things will come through. As it is with most people, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That, that, that Discord that anger, very real. That Discord anger, I hate it. <laughs> Me, me mad. What the hell is that? Sleeping warrior talk about how he was he had bad he was in a bad mood. I thought he was in a bad mood and what he was talking about, he was talking about his garden. He was in a he was in mud in bad mud in bad mood. Is like, everyone drunk tonight? Ah, Am I the one what are you talking about? In He's in bad mood. mood? I, I guess that's the way English people say mud. I say mood. <laughs> Why are you always in such a bad mood? There's a nail in my anus. Oh. Uh, yeah. Why, son? Why are you always in a bad mood? 
My sunny boy. I always in a bad mood. This is weird. Yeah. Weird. I'll show you weird. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Just kidding. Joke. Stupid joke. Do you know, a Jedi, when I spoke to Nathan Oakley, the adrenal, adrenaline uh, the adrenaline rush I had was insane. You know, like, you just know that it, whatever you're going to have to do, it's not going to be pretty. That's why I had when I went into that. That's crazy. You went into a conversation. When, when did you go in? Like a military... Yeah, because, you know, because the thing with Nathan, I think, is, like, he, he's very theatrical, right? He's very... Um, there's lots of things that you have to kind of address. There's implicit things you have to address as you go through, and it's quite aggressive as well. So you have to become aggressive, I think, or you or you become really calm. You're like a Scott Mackey kind of person. You're really calm, or you like you do a me, and then you like match someone's energy. And I had to match him, and that's uh, that's taxing. Trust me. Did it tire you out? <laughs> yeah, like a puppy. When did you go in? I'll have to go back and listen. He was when he came. He came to the server briefly the other day, not two days ago, three days ago. Oh, okay, that time. Okay, mate, no worries. I'll go back and listen. What was you talking about? Did you did you try to go gas pressure without a container with him? No, no, I I went um, because I I didn't like doing that one because it, it take you need someone who's patient, like enough to wait with you till you get to the end. I went with the. Uh, Black Swan did that one. Oh, Black Swan. How did that go? There was lots of insults exchanged. Uh, and Strange. I don't think we actually ever got to a... Because I, I, I did... I did I mentioned the you were going things. over the damn um, Modus yeah. Tolan's horse trap. Uh, yeah, yeah. I went for the Holy P thing. Shit. But, but uh, I was trying... But the, the, the argument went... I mentioned, uh, well, Bev mentioned first the P thing, and then I, uh, Bev got muted or whatever, and then I jumped in, and then um, I was just trying to, like, you know, say, like, QE can't write a syllogism or something like that. And then um, he was saying, well, you know, you're a Glober that, that does it, that denies 3959, like, whatever. And I said, well, the actual issue is the Q statement, uh, for me, at least, not the P statement. And um, And then... There was lots of him trying to make me speak to one of his friends for his mic. I didn't want to. And uh, we exchanged some insults and it was done. Sounds productive. Yeah, it was, well, it was funny to watch. It's funny to watch. It sounds less exciting when I describe it, but I listened back to it. It's quite funny. The question is, what did they produce? Mm -hmm. well, I don't like I don't like how we was like 10 people in this call, like in one mic. Um, oh, that's irritating. I don't know. It's like other people want to jump in, like maybe other Globos or Flat Earthers, but we don't know like which Nathan is talking through the mic right now, you know? <laughs> okay, so you were in 24-7 FE while uh, his account was in there, and he's like connecting his Google chat. He was in here. Yeah. He was in this room. Yeah. Oh, he was in here? Oh, yeah, he was, they were, he, he was in politics the other day. Which one? Who are you? Mind you, Mr. Oakley, he's got, um, because he's, he's in here, he's producing his show on the fly. And uh, he's got a noise gate. So that when you speak and he wants to, he overspeaks you, then on his YouTube output, your voice can't be heard anymore. You can hear it in Discord. The funny thing about that, Odebar, is I think Nathan Oakley was accusing Bev of that. And I was confused. I was like, wait, doesn't Bev say that about Nathan? Like, where is it? <laughs> well, <laughs> I was no, confused. Here, here's the deal, he said, real quick. He says, fun, he says funny mute button. 
I will, I will, I will speak frankly. Watch. Let me speak frankly. Nathan Oakley Love is speaking. a fucking asshole. I'm a flat earther. Flat earther, quote unquote, from the old school days. I don't think it's like, it is what it is. I'm just letting you know, Nathan Oakley is a, f <laughs> he's an asshole. And that's how it goes. And it doesn't matter if you're on his team or you're not on his team. He's going to be a dick to you. So it doesn't matter if you're Austin or you're Bev or you're anybody. He is going to want to say, I'm going to drag my balls across your forehead and like all the things that he does. And that's who Nathan Oakley is. But I've heard he's changed his way recently and that he now wants to come in here and be like kind and nice to people because he's losing members on his show. And so he's like, oh, I want to talk to people. Is that what? Is that true? Oh, he's not nice. I, don't, I wouldn't call he's him nice. He's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, that's, uh, that's, that's, exactly. So when people came into my movie. server and they were like, oh, he's trying to be real nice. I was like, oh, he's trying to be nice? Like, I don't believe it. <laughs> like, shut the fuck well, up. Yeah. He's not no, trying to be nice. Don't be I, don't, I don't believe it. He, I don't believe he, it. He has to talk over people in order to control the output. If you listen to his YouTube at the same time as Discord or listen later, Particularly if you've spoken, you'll find that most of what you said isn't there. And then you might say a couple of words because he leaves these little pregnant pauses to trap you. So you then go to speak and then he talks over you, uses the two words you just said, changes it into a different narrative and then produce and then put, outputs that to his YouTube. So it's pretty dishonest all the way around. And if you're talking to somebody else and he has to interject because he has to control the output of that conversation if you have with somebody else. But, you know, he does claim he is the cutting yeah. edge of, of flat earth knowledge, and yet he can't take a question. He can't have a conversation. No, he can never. And his, his, um, his attitude creates your attitude too. So you find you have to kind of try and talk, and then he turns that into you being an arsehole. Yeah. And, and he I has the final answer. Over, so, or flat earther, I agree. Yeah, 100%. so he has, yeah, and he has the final answer. So, you know, everything he says is true. Everything is the fact. Yeah, There's I, no I the countenance to that. Because I liked him in the beginning. Thing. Yeah, I is when I was a, like a brand new flat earther, I was like, oh my god, this guy is like ripping into people. And then I started watching him, and then like a day into, I was like, this is not right. Like this is if you watched like, if you watched his shows back before like show one hundred. Uh, he was completely. He would let Globers talk and. No, yeah, back in the, way, in the beginning. Way, way, you, way back in the day, way, yeah, I was there. Way in the beginning, I was there for that. <laughs> way, way, way back in the day, but even then, he was still a fucking dick. And yeah, I joined I the server, like, I remember, and I yeah, was a mod. Actually let some Globers actually was, sound like they knew what they were talking about yeah. in the beginning. I was a high mod in his server, like for a long time, like a high fucking mm -hmm. mod. And that's where I met, like, all of my friends. And that was the crew that I fucking met um, while we were all mods in the server. And there were times when he would, like, actually, especially if it was a female, like, I have to do, like, if it was a female, he would, like, change his game all of a sudden and be like, oh, okay, like, I'll talk to you, whatever, and, like, give you leeway. But if it was a guy, like, he didn't fucking care. You know, he just fucking railed into people, and I was like, "Oh my god, Nathan!" Yeah. Like, still, I mean, it, it would still. be it would be naive for me to say that, like, you know, with Nathan, you have to bring your argument. Um, we I, like that is a part of it. You have to make a point, but also to to get a word in Edgeways, you have to uh, hopefully have mods that are slow on mute buttons, and then two, be loud, <laughs> uh, and you have to be, and you know, and in some ways, you kind of compelled to insult him back because, um. Well, you know that when you're arguing with him, um, a lot of people who are watching him are taken in by um, whether or not he seems like he's right, not so much of what, what he's, the content of what he's saying. So when he calls someone stupid and, and d diminishes their credibility, um, if you don't do it back, then it just looks like he's actively making you an incredible person to everyone else who's watching well hold on that was actually really respectful are you a glober or are you a flat earther because i thought you were a glober if you're I'm a, a glober that, yeah that was really respectful of you to say because that that honestly is what he does and he is like if you aren't able to do this then i'm just gonna fuck you up like and you aren't even ready for it 
You know what I mean? Like, you have no idea about debate. You have no idea about anything. And, like, you just get destroyed. Um, but it, it's not even just that. Like, there are times when he is just a, like, when he knows he's up against something. Like, he is a flat earther up against a glober. And he's just like, it doesn't matter what you say. Like, I know I can debate you on this thing and now you're destroyed so you can't come at me with this other thing and once we were like everyone that was smart enough like to know debate to understand that it was like fuck like we want to hear the other side like why are you doing that right now like fuck that that sucks you know what i mean um yeah i don't know i i respect a i respect him i i he really put in a lot of work and he's still putting in a lot of work um but he's a fucking asshole. Like his in, his entire well, crew, and like what what's happened. Like I, I still love him. I, I like I oh, yeah. get it. It is what it is. But yeah, it is. What it is. Well, he did say he did say in Earth Awakenings a few weeks ago that you know initially when he first started out he was aggressive and he was belligerent because he had a lack of confidence in what he was saying. And then recently he said he had nothing for ten years. He's had nothing for 10 years until he came up with that's the Earth awesome. is measured flat. And and that's where he is now. So I don't know what he's been doing for no, 10 no. years. What, what the fuck the are you talking about? He didn't flat. have anything for 10 years. That's what he said. He said that well, he that's said two or three times. That's no, no, bullshit. You can, Even Bev can come it. in here right now and tell you that that is bullshit. He hasn't no, had nothing for 10 years. Well, yeah, find the clip he and he, he can wished. say that. What I'm saying I'm to saying. you right now is he can say that. But that is not the fucking truth. He's had a lot of things in these past 10 years. I've been That's here during those past 10 years. Bev has been here during these past 10 years. Gregory has been here during these past 10 years. Like, he hasn't had nothing during these past 10 years. I don't believe that at all. Well, I don't seemingly, know why he the ten, it's been 10 years and, and there seemingly isn't any proof. It, you know, it doesn't seem to be much about Flat Earth. I mean, I hear lots of talk about Globe. Lots of training about the globe, but nothing much that in advancement in the reality of if the Earth is flat, this is the reality, and this is what we've now discovered. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Reality. Have... So well, I, I don't know. I recently heard Nathan. I recently and in the heard past, Nathan. Wait, ten year, wait, hold on, Gregory. He just said the past ten years. That includes Black Swan. That includes like everything that we've ever fucking <laughs> known. <laughs> like the past ten years. Fuck off. Well, yeah. Like. That's yeah, when we well, learned all this shit. Give me, <laughs> like, well, a what's lot one of proof shit. you have then? What is one shut proof of flat Earth you've got in ten years? Fuck a proof you, of flat whoever Earth. says shut up, woman. Like, just stop. Well, that's what happens. Nathan's that's like so that annoying. as well. He he does abuse women. But you know what proof after ten years is there of flat Earth? Well, I was gonna say this. Nathan recently said a couple of weeks ago that um, flat Earth should be emphasizing. Uh, the arguments uh, demonstrating we, the truth. Instead of talking of about this, can we talk about little minors, bro? How much they're cute. Oh my god. What I'm yeah, saying that's was, Nathan just recently, yeah. right, Nathan recently said in uh, 24 7 FE, um, it's like seven, more than seven days ago, he said explicitly uh, we should be uh, not emphasizing anti globe arguments as worthy as they are. He said we should be emphasizing the uh, pro, flat, pro flat earth arguments. So he did say that. I know, that's why I've asked about say it a couple, most, uh, in this stream. Yeah, well, most of my questions have been about that, but I've been silenced, chucked out, told to shut the fuck up. And that was it. I was kind of put the globe to one side. If the flat earth is reality, how can I uh, substantiate that? How can I go forward with that and stand on a soapbox and say, oh, yes, the earth is measured flat with confidence, you know, with my own knowing, not a belief. With my knowing, and every time I've asked, well, how is the Earth measured flat? I get some pretty weak responses to that, that I couldn't personally stand on that same soapbox and preach to the world that the Earth is measured flat. I just don't know where it's done. And so for me, that, and he said, uh, Oakley said, that was, he wished he'd have had that in the beginning. And for 10 years, he hadn't had anything like that. And now he has the Earth is measured flat, and that's it. But when I ask him how it's done, he can't answer. He shouts at me and tells me, shut the fuck up. And, and seemingly everybody else who repeats that, because that's the source. He is the source of the earth is measured flat, hashtag. 
But everybody else who repeats that, they need they don't have an answer for it either. You know, I don't have an Jedi. adequate answer. Jedi, are you there? Jedi. You know, and, and when I asked Oakley in here, he's supported by the mods in here to throw me out. I, I asked him the other day, is the horizon apparent or geometric? I got a two-day ban. What's that about? Because I said, is it apparent or geometric? He told me it was apparent, and then he tried to tell me I was lying, that he'd never said that. In Q, he said it's redundant. And I've only, never heard a flat earther say anything but the horizon is apparent. That's all I've ever heard. I just saw some clarification, and he lied. Wait, who said that it wasn't that apparent? He never said that. Huh? Hold on, Gregory, have you ever heard that it wasn't apparent? Wait, Gregory's from Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh my god. I have not heard that. Me either. That's what I'm saying. So, like, so I've so never heard it either. So, yeah, so from the flat earth point of view, the horizon is apparent, right? It's not yes, geometric. It should be. It's it not should geometric. Be apparent. But, yes. But then the argument uh, I follows. I think you mean to say. I think you mean to say the concrete leading edge of a sphere. Yeah. Well, okay. Geometric. But I know. But the argument is that in say, like in celestial navigation, that the globers claim that they have this this angle from what they say is a geometric curve, but they have refraction, so they don't they don't have the actual horizon they are also working off an apparent horizon so how does a flat earth get a geometric using geometry a geometric calculation to something that's not geometric and is also apparent how, how can they both be in the same position but the flat earth can be, can be right hang on if hang it's on, apparent hang on. not geometric hang on what do you think you're asking about like what do you think our position is well, what I'm saying is that some geometry is stated in celestial navigation to an apparent horizon. And the refutation towards the globe is that you don't, you know, they say it's not a geometric horizon because it's refracted. So that's also apparent. It's affected, but it's an apparent horizon if, uh, affected by refraction. Well, then if that's apparent so... and that can't work, for, hang on, if that's apparent and that can't work for the globe, how can it be apparent for the flat Earth, but it works for them? The geometry, and also, so you know, they also you do celestial navigation. You are trying to get an angle place. of elevation. Uh, I'll, I'll wait. Yeah, well, I'm just saying that the argument is put that that the uh, the globers can't get this angle of elevation because they don't have a geometric horizon because it's refracted. But the flat Earthers can get one. To an apparent you horizon, said that already. not geometric. Yeah, I'm just repeating that. And the angle to the celestials does not conform to our understanding of geometry. So I'm trying to understand how this geometric function is being used on all these non geometric um, values, you know, the, the, the apparent horizon or the celestials that don't obey it. That's what I'm trying to wrap my head around. But those things get me blocked, banned, and thrown out. And I don't understand. And eight okay, open when well, I ask about I'm the trying apparent. To be patient, I, I think, I mean. I, <laughs> what you have to understand is that, you know, I, I never get a chance to say anything. So I'm sorry if I'm splurged in a minute because it feels like any moment I'll be silenced and thrown out. And that's, you created that, not you personally. But this, this, this forum created that. Like Oakley creates an aggressive response because that, and he well, teaches. Well, very well, the but people like, who speak for why, him why that are aggressive you attitude. To speak in the voice channel like that. I'm just asking questions. Like it's true, you know. That was the. Th I thought that was the point. Was sure, but seek you don't have to speak, knowledge. to speak. You what? You don't okay. have to. What did you say? As I said, is very well, but like right now, that isn't happening. Like, so you don't need to fight to speak right now. Ah, uh, yeah, but that's what I'm just explaining. That you know, it isn't a situation. It hasn't been a situation where I have been able to speak because whenever I do that, three or four people jump on me, tell me I'm lying, kick me out. So okay, when I do get, I get the opportunity, I think I, I've got to squeeze it. it all into a short space. And, and this forum created that, not me. 
Okay. I so that was it. my question. Now, All right. So if the horizon now. is apparent, how do you get is a geometric function? Now. There's another one. Is it that happening I'll stop now? now? Over. Is that happened now? Oh, it's Sasha. Well, I, I, I want to jump in really quick and say that he's been very respectful this entire time, so I don't see why I'll anybody Thank you. would need to be disrespectful to him. He's been very respectful. Can you say that again in English, uh, Sasha? There are several people who poison the well against me, and I've been thrown out of, of OG 24-7 because people have made... Like the 7,000 times you said that. Can you start repeating that, please? Uh, uh, nasty claims about me i won't repeat them again yeah, here because he's not in the room so when i've there, when i've said that that's the ability to speak man i mean for all well and good you've been going on for like 10 minutes no one's muted you no one's kicked you out no one's actually said a bad word against you so maybe just yeah exactly he's been chill but well, i'm just explaining my situation that was all about to repeat it again. The well, hang on and how the well has been fine. poisoned but here's and the thing, has today. anybody answered? Wait, hold on, hold on. Stop. Don't repeat it again. Has anybody okay. answered him? Like, uh, who uh, has anything to say to him? Waiting. Yeah, exactly. So go, please. What's Let somebody answer you. Thing? Let somebody reply to you. That would be great. Like, let, it, let, let somebody reply. What is the question? So concerning celestial navigation. Okay. And I'm glad Jedi finally got here. So, um... Concerning celestial navigation, you're trying to get an elevation angle. You need an angle. So you need two straight lines in order to get an angle. And in this instance, it would be the surface of the Earth and or oceans. That would be one straight line. And then the angle of elevation up from that. Right? So to do celestial navigation upon the surface of the Earth and or oceans necessarily presupposes that one of those two lines to get that angle is the surface of the oceans and or Earth, which necessarily implies that the surface of the oceans and or Earth is topographically planar in general. Is that, do you want me to respond to that? You can do whatever you want. Well, the angle to the celestials, I'm told, that the, the celestials don't conform to the geometry they're non-geometric, but a geometric function is happening there. The other line that you're talking about that is either the surface or the sea, we know is not horizontal. We know that. So that's not the horizontal that is being established. It's a, it's a, it a conceptual is, one. The surface is, isn't horizontal is, because the, the sea is bobbing right. up and down. Well, we get well, you didn't argue. Up and down. Well, Sorry, well, Greg. So, I just and, it's uh, and the horizon is apparent, also non-geometric. You might not have understood. So you, you know what a height of eye correction is, or a dip correction, right? Have you heard of those terms? Yeah. Okay. So when we do that correction, that mathematically puts a sextant upon the floor. In the submarine, for example, you won't have to take a dip correction or a height of eye correction. The reason why you do this is because you want to establish yourself on the surface of the Earth. Um, between you and the GP of the star is asserted to be a horizontal baseline for you to measure your angle up from. So the sun, for example, you can measure an elevation angle to the sun of 45 degrees after you subtracted your height of eye to take it down to the surface level. But you're going to be interested in three points, you, the sun, and the ground position of the sun or the star. Between you and that ground position is asserted to be a horizontal line that you will reference to measure your angle up from. doesn't matter about the waves and stuff, mate. That's kind of beyond the point. Um, well, the surface isn't the reference. No, we are referencing the surface. Would you like, I, I can no, post loads of references you're, too. You're referencing a, a horizontal, conceptual horizontal. No, we reference reference in the horizontal plane that they got to an apparent horizon. Okay. You're so how can that be apparent okay. and be justified well, in the flat the Earth model, but not in the globe model? Right. Obviously, didn't hear what you said, man, because I'm still trying to answer your last question. You, you're incorrect. So, for example, when we're measuring an elevation angle um, to the sun, as I've just posted in the side chat, this is the line between the observer and the sun, and the horizontal plane the observer is standing on. Now, you can't stand on a conceptualization, can you? That's stupid.
but you can stand on the earth and that will be your horizontal baseline, your adjacent for your triangle. Now, there's loads of references and citations to the thing you're standing on. Yeah, that's horizontal. After you establish your altitude above it, subtract for it. So mathematically speaking, your sextant's on the horizontal plane. It has to be horizontal for you to measure an angle from. Furthermore, if you so, appeal to this idea that you're just measuring the angle up from a imagined horizontal plane that's conceptually extending from the surface of this of the ball, then you are necessarily not getting geometric facts about the surface of the Earth. Well, I don't know oceans. whether you maybe sustainable by design, which seems to offer some sponsorship deals or something every time you mention it but you know in there it says imaginary in the first place so i don't know i know you emphasize some words yeah what's the imaginary until the observer is standing on you can do it like that in which it says if you're yeah, standing on a wobbling boat, line. you're bad. obviously not standing on a horizontal however much you emphasize it However much water or how much dip, skinny dipping I do and look over the waves and try and imagine a horizontal, you're not actually, it's not, that's not what you're measuring from. Because, mm -hmm. we're, you know, you're on the water. It's not horizontal. Yeah, because it's, very it's not refuted. what you're standing on. You're standing on the deck of a boat, maybe. Elder, Elder, if you keep repeating the things that we refute, you're going to make this dialogue meaningless. I just refuted your you, appeal. I just gave me. a deductive argument that refutes your idea. The you way you're saying globe, that it does work, the way you're saying that it does work necessarily implies the inefficacy and in inapplicability of your method. It necessarily implies you're not getting geometric facts about the Earth. You're not getting an elevation angle up from the Earth or the oceans. You're getting an elevation angle from an imaginary horizontal plane, which cannot and does not inform you about the elevation angle of the celestial body above the surface of the Earth and our oceans, which was the goal in the first place. Well, the point is, is that the celestials that have been um, cited don't conform to geometry or our understanding of geometry, and neither does the apparent horizon, because that's not geometric. And you're not standing on a horizontal. You're standing on, uh, well, in this case, if it's a sextant, you're standing on a boat on the water, which isn't horizontal. It's not the reference. What you're standing on isn't the reference. What you're so saying that's, is, those are the again, three what I things. just refuted. Do, do, do you know how to have a debate? You know that when you say premise A, and then I say rebuttal A, if you say premise A again, I'm just going to repeat rebuttal A. So if you're not going to follow up with a distinct premise, distinct from the premise A, the initial premise, then why say it again? Yeah, I'm a bit confused what you're saying and what you're, what you're you know, focusing on, really. The point I'm just trying is, to work is that out you how you can have again. geometry to non-geometric let, 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 let me help you. Let me explain to you. The point is, is that you're repeating the very premise we have refuted already. So at this what rate, this refute? is the fallacy of repetition. There's lots of these fallacies. But so, so you're saying that the, the boat you're standing on and the water that it's sitting on is horizontal. Is that what you're saying? Between you and the horizon, which we're using as a reference, because within a you said it's Okay, not going to be able to finish you said, point the, you said the horizontal, the observer. You won't complain right. about people interrupting you, dude. But I hardly speak to you, and now I'm having trouble completing a fucking sentence, mate. Can I, I do that? Now I can do what I want. Is that okay? I can do can what I, I want too. Can I finish my point then? Carry or are we on. just going to act like fucking children? Is that, is that going to be your tactic? You well, see, this is what I've been taught. Well, so you know that's what I is why to. we utilize a horizon mirror? Why do we utilize a horizon mirror? Do you know? To calibrate the, uh, the calibrate largely. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Because we want to either correct for an angle of dip or correct for the height of eye above the surface. Now, between you and the ground position of the star is asserted to be a horizontal line. Now, I'm not really interested in waves and stuff at the moment, wait, because that's beyond the point. 
the reference is the surface of the earth between you and the ground position of the star is a horizontal line so you can measure your angle up from it the point is, is if that line was curved you wouldn't be able to measure an angle up from it because one of your lines is curved therefore bastardizing your triangle and making you unable to measure angles within that triangle the fact that you require the surface of the earth when measuring this to be horizontal is ipso facto demonstrated within the angle measuring device itself you need to reference the surface of the earth to measure up from the apparent one you mean apparent what the apparent visual horizon yeah whatever you want to call it the horizon yes the horizon we will reference the horizon See, we couldn't do yeah. that if it, was a ge if it was a geometric horizon. That would mean that th that would be Earth curvature. And then when you correct for it, you wouldn't have a horizontal line between you and the ground position of the star, which renders that point useless. The fact is, is it is an angle measuring device, and you have to, as you said, co sorry, correlate your sextant upon the surface of the Earth to measure up from. You're interested in the ground position of the star which can be 2,000, 3,000 miles beyond the horizon. It's asserted that between you and the ground position is a horizontal straight line. And then you provide oh, ge ge geometric values for this non-geometric What do you mean by positions? geometric values? What do you mean? Well, you've got a triangle. You're now providing a triangle and supposedly saying that the, the uh, horizontal reference that you're claiming from the, the sextant, when it only measures an angle. Yes. And uh, an angle you're saying that is the surface. You're saying that that is the surface and therefore the Earth is flat and measured flat everywhere when it's not even a surveying tool. And then derive some geometry from points that are either apparent and non-geometric or a celestial body that is also non-geometric. It doesn't have to be celestial. It can be terrestrial. For example, we can well, use a lighthouse. we celestial here. We can use lighthouse. Within celestial navigation, when navigating, we can use terrestrial objects like a lighthouse. We can know the, the um, height of the lighthouse above mean sea level. Because we know the height of it, when we measure our angle to it, we know our distance. That's basic trigonometry. Understanding that an angle is defined as the intersection of two straight lines. Straight lines, not curved. Yeah, well, you have the similar triangle with celestial navigation, not looking at a lighthouse that you say is not a triangle. What, the values what, of it do, do not conform to geometry, but you have it and you state it. What and there do are you pictures mean? there. What do you mean? I've given, I've given you a terrestrial object. Now, what do you mean by celestial, not being well, geometric? They aren't, well, you know, that's what I said, is that the celestials don't obey geometry. No, the horizon don't. is apparent and non-geometric. Mm -hmm. And then you have okay. a triangle. So you have yep. the angle to the celestial. You have your 90 degree that you claim for the uh, geographical position of Polaris. Though it's never been it's a proven. False contrast, you keep saying. And then you have a, a, then you have the length of one side, the distance. So what now you, you can then solve for that triangle, and yet you what say you, you can't do never that. Been proven. When you go outside at night. Who who in history who in history has who in history was it that proved that Polaris has a position on the Earth? Who was that? All right, every star position. Got Every star's got a ground position. You go out at night time and there's one 90 degrees above your head. You are literally the ground position of that star if it's at your zenith. So you know, you can have a star above. So yes. who, who, who did that on for Polaris? It, don't know, mate. But we're talking because about... You're, you know, you're, you're estimating something you can't see because you can only see to the horizon, apparent horizon. doesn't have to be... You, know, the you have to be also. contrast. Like, you, you, have to, you have to... You have to, you have to stop. Doesn't doesn't have to be the globe, Polaris. The globe use, claims a GP the sun. miles and miles away we somewhere can use the too. Sun. We can use the sun. Same thing. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you, you also have a ground position contrast. of... You will have a ground position of a celestial object where it is 90 degrees. 
okay, look, uh, after, after after a few this misconception of his, he has a false contrast. Okay, the horizon is optical, right? It's an uh, it's an optical phenomenon, which of course is geometric, right? Hence the term horizon, which is a geometric category. So, so it's it is not, a geometric, not geometric edge. The geometric horizon. That's what you're now saying. It's geometric, not apparent. No, you you don't understand. Can you please interpret correctly? The horizon is categorically geometrical, hence the name horizon. Right, that's a geometric well, category. It's right? horizontal. And listen, right. So that geometric aspect in your perspective, right. So there's no reason to contrast the two. They're not contrary to one another right they're both properties of this optical phenomenon that is the apparent meeting point between the sky and the surface of the earth and our oceans and like jedi is explaining to you you only have two options you only have two logical options you need an angle which requires two straight lines by definition and practically and either that bottom baseline Right, is either the surface of the Earth and our oceans, or it's not. If it is not, then like I've already said to you, and like he's already explained to you, then you are getting an elevation and angle up from an imaginary horizontal plane rather than the surface of the Earth and our oceans, and therefore have failed to, come to attain the goal, to get an elevation angle up from the surface of the Earth and our oceans. So the only logical path right to actually get the elevation angle up from the surface of the earth and our oceans is to acknowledge the fact that the bottom baseline in this angle is the surface of the earth and our oceans and it's necessarily implying the surface of the earth and our oceans is topographically planar it's a very simple deductive argument how can somebody be topographical and planar What's the contrast? Because there is no contrast. Well, you know, they don't really go together, do they? Well, why not? You, know, you make a reference, you know, you, cre you create a reference, but that isn't the surface. And I know What's you keep the saying contrast the between the topographical and planar? Well, planar is on one plane, you know, not, top not topography. A plane isn't Define topographical. Define topography. You haven't identified a well, contrast. I understand, you know, somewhere there's a flat baseline, but that's what I've been looking for, the flat baseline. Well, hang on. It is hang flat. On. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Hang, on. hang on. Hang on. You haven't identified the contrast, so identify the contrast. Well, topographical is though planar. topography and planar is, is mutually that's... exclusive logically. Why do you say that? Because topography isn't a plane. That doesn't like you mean say, that I mean, you all say that. You all say, hang on. It's non sequitur. If you all say it's topographical, we know it's not flat, but we just say it is because it's convenient. Listen and yet when I to say it, it's not measured if, flat because it's topographical, to you said that's wrong. Listen to the reply. You need to stop that. You're making this dialogue worthless. You just keep persevering to talk instead of actually be sensitive and concentrate your replies to the replies said to you. You haven't set a contrast, topography being something that's not planar, does not therefore follow that they're logically exclusive to one another. You haven't set a valid logic sequence yet. Well, a plane is where all points lie in that, within that plane. All right. So they're all, all equal elevation, all horizontal. No part higher or lower than the other. Whereas the topographical thing defies that. It's no longer all those points that lie within that plane are equal elevation, horizontal. The topographical bit isn't that, as I see it. Okay, it's like so you say, the Earth yeah, isn't flat. We know it's sequence. not flat because we've got topography. Okay, but again, it's not it's a valid logic flat. sequence. Okay, it's not a valid logic sequence. 
Why because right. you're making it impossible to refer to the surface of the Earth being planar, generally so planar. Isn't... It doesn't concave. Where is, it? Where is that? That's what I'm convex. looking for. You're still talking through to... the reply again, and you're complaining yeah. about people talking through you. So again, you said that the making, Earth's surface so again, is planar. You're still being disruptive again. Okay. Why didn't I explain so, that? Oh, uh, dude. Okay. From my point of view. Dude. You're being disruptive and vindictive now. I don't think so. I don't think I'm being vindictive. Sure okay, sure. so can you stop interrupting my reply? It's ridiculous. Like you're changing my so reply. you're making it impossible to actually refer to the Earth being generally planar. Right? You're not even going to make. Stop, you're not going to be charitable there, enough to suggest there. some other word choice to actually intelligibly refer to the idea that the surface of the Earth and our oceans are not concaving nor convexing in their surface. Okay, so you're just making it impossible to just refer to that idea with some word in English. What I said is correct. There's no contradiction between topographically planar. Okay. Now, you sound like a man who likes to use words and language, and but you did say generally in there, didn't you? Generally. It's sort of flat, but not really. It's sort of planar, but not really. Generally. Was so when did, so when did we ever say flat in the sense of, and AI pointed this out in the open chat, when did we ever say flat or planar or level in the sense of ideally and absolutely flat? The answer is never. So no, you, you deliberately chose an uncharitable interpretation of our word choice to refer to the distinct geodesic property of the surface of the Earth being generally planar, topographically planar, not convexing, not concaving. There's no reason to do that. That's just being deliberately uncharitable. Well, for 10 years, I guess you could, be, you could have been obtuse about that. But now the claim is, the stated claim is that the Earth is measured flat. Now that changes that generally, pretty specifically and definitively. It doesn't change anything. Measured. You're not being so that's logically what I was looking consistent. For. Uh, uh, this is just I'm annoying. No, no, you're just this dodging. is just annoying. You're dodging. I'm clarifying Where to you is it measured flat? Elder, Wait, hold on. I'm clarifying to you our position. So I, you I'm don't just... need to flagrantly misinterpret our key terms any longer. It's been clearly explained to you what we mean. So I if don't you continue understand. to I make such flagrant... And... And I don't understand what you mean. Because when I'm talking about flat, or I'm talking about whatever, like, you know, Bev came through and was like, okay, we're not going to say flat anymore. And I get that. Like, there are movements. There are you know, things that happen in the oceans and the rivers and the whatevers and the mountains and all of these different things. But when you see something that is horizontal, it's fucking horizontal as fuck. So yeah. are we disagreeing that it's not horizontal? Be that's well, what I'm confused about right now, uh, Gregory. Like, are yeah. we saying it's not horizontal? Because that's why I just tagged you right now. I, I don't have mo like any other oh. way, but Jedi posted this video, and this dude was like, what the fuck? Like, he strolled up on this avenue, and it's like the ocean and this bus stop, and he like was like, oh my god, this is an amazing photo. And he scrolled down, and it lines up perfectly with the horizon, right? So it is perfectly horizontal. So what are we actually arguing about right now? Because I'm really confused about what you guys are arguing about. Right. I don't yeah, get it. I'm, I'm correcting right. his ridiculous and unnecessary misinterpretation, uncharitable interpretation of our word choice to say planar, topographically planar, horizontal. Okay. I get flat. that. Like, okay. It's very simple okay. to interpret yes. you know, that I get. What, what we that mean. I get. Okay. But he just keeps okay. interpreting flat or level or planar as in ideally Yes. Absolutely flat when that's okay. obviously not what we mean. Okay. Yes. Just like that when they I say it's a sphere, okay. they don't really mean that it's an absolutely it's ideal sphere. Yes. Okay. Yes. I get that too. Okay. Thank you. I was wondering because I was like, what the fuck is even happening? <laughs> okay. Thank you. That helps me a yeah. lot. So, which is also right logically inconsistent on their part, right? They'll, they'll call the Earth a sphere and then they'll make the semantical qualification, which is entirely fine. 
that it's not an absolutely perfect sphere. Of course, it's a spheroid, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. Right? So we're not saying that the surface of the Earth and or oceans is absolutely flat, of course. Right? There's undulations in the surface thereof. Right? We're obviously talking well, it, it in doesn't general. even matter. Even if they were to say, like, something was perfectly flat, once you zoom in on it, like, and then you go deeper, and then you go deeper, and then you go deeper, like, no matter fucking what, it's, like, you're, it's gonna change. So, no matter how far out, how far in, like, everything is gonna fuck you up, All both right. sides, whether it's a, whether you're trying to say it's a sphere or a globe, whatever, right. whatever, like, it doesn't fucking matter. As far in and as far as you go, like, you're going to get fucked up in both ways, period. Yeah, so, so yeah, right. I get that. So the point is, is that his misinterpretation is refuted, and he's refuting yeah, I get a, a position we don't actually hold, so he's, he's attacking a straw man. Yep. Okay, fine. So let's let's go into some, some actual details about practical reality of posted images. Each defining how. Wait, say that again. That. Oh, I'm so sorry. AI, Take your microphone. I can't you sound you. very garbled. I couldn't hear you. I'm so sorry. Everyone, give AI a moment. So I posted some images there about how people actually measure flatness in reality. Because nothing is actually flat. Okay? Just like nothing is actually a sphere. Just as we already said. So when you use these terms, you're using them in a scale function of tolerance. As you can see in the picture there. Now when you buy a flat product, it's within a tolerance scale. It's not perfectly flat. You don't get to get your money back because it's not atomically flat. You don't get to get your money back because it's not interdimensionally flat. No, that's not how we use the word flat. Now, you could go to a dictionary and find a definition that says no elevation, this, that, and the other, yada, yada, yada. But nobody, that's not a practicable definition. Nobody means that when they say flat. Everybody understands that there's a variance, right? So to, to hem and haw about the earth isn't perfectly flat, as if you've, you've come to a profound conclusion, just shows you lack intelligence. It's really that simple. So, for example, if you look at my images there, you'll see that they have two parallel planes of which they have a tolerance scale of which the entire surface must rest between two parallel planes. Now, the overall um, orientation of the parallel planes could be anything, but if they're horizontal and all the points lay within those variances, right, within the tolerance scale, then that surface would be described as flat. Okay. It wouldn't be described as anything else. Now, technically, schmetnically, you could say, well, within that tolerance scale, you could have a curve. That may be true, but the object itself isn't going to come back on itself and begin where it started, like a, like a, a ring or a circle. Right? We all understand this, dude. The fact that people come into this ring, the Earth's not flat because it has one uh, atom higher than another. I mean, get real, dude. Get real. I'm serious. Get real. Yeah. Yep. I'm not even joking. Get real, dude. You think you think you have a point, dude. Think about it. Nowhere in practical reality does anybody employ the term flat when it comes to designing, building, engineering, or anything that's practicable to mean atomically perfect, without variance in any way, shape, or form. So one more time, get real, dude. Look in the mirror and say, why am I such a pedantic asshole? Why, why, why? Why am I so obsessed about flat? Why am I so obsessed that I have to come in and tell everyone else that there's waves in the ocean, therefore the earth's not flat? Everybody knows what flat means. Thank you. Now, I spoke with AI the other day. And he told me he got on a plane in Savannah in America and he flew to Iraq. Right? He hugged the land oh, up by Canada, went over the land masses, down through Ireland, Germany, Kuwait to Iraq. And somehow on that flight, he made an assessment. He was confident to say that his assessment was that the earth was covered in 66. 
0.2% water. Now, that's what he told me. Now, I don't know how I can take it seriously after that. That's what he told me. You're muted. Thanks. So this is how it actually went down, home slice. I told you the available territory, right? Because we have continents, right? Continents are measured. You said you were confident that the Earth was covered in 66.7% oh, water from your flight on an aeroplane. That's what you told me. You better get a clue. I'm I'm the area of the Earth is 197 million square miles. <sighs> Dude. It wasn't that simple. Okay. We parsed it out. Right? I explained why I came to that conclusion. And I said at least that, or generally that. And that's if, if the Earth was arranged planar or within tolerance horizontally, right? Let's say a 15-mile uh, tolerance. So the maximum elevation was between two horizontal planes, of which the entire surface of the known Earth is, right, was 15 miles, right? And I know that there's, you know, seven major continent groups, right? And the general um, alleged territory in each, and I know that I've traveled over a certain amount, I can quadrant that off, times it by four, and come up with an answer that's going to be greater than 150 million, dude. Now, I did all say all that. I didn't just make definitive claims. I used general definitive claims, and then I parsed them out further. Okay? That's what actually happened. Yeah, I did say that I asked you where you got those figures from because seemingly they came from the globe, which you said never been measured and denied. Oh but, goodness. you know, from an aeroplane on a flight carrying oh, no. your personal weapons, you assessed confidently, you said. Yeah, the absolutely. Was covered in 66 point something percent, not quite 70%. No, yeah, because I asked thirds, you about, about 70% two thirds, from, dude. About two thirds. From, from where? About two yeah, thirds of the known territory of water, dude. From an aeroplane. Just imagine Holy if I was a globe. Crap. Just imagine if I was a globe saying that. What would you say? You tear me apart. <clears throat> From an aeroplane, I measured the Earth, saw it was a curved. It was covered in seventy percent. Well, look, I'm glad water. you're talking about that and not about the fact that I absolutely schooled you on what flat means. So, no, you I mean, didn't. Well, I school the room. Talking. You school the room again on how you did that and see how how it holds up then. Uh, and compare it with a globe saying something similar. And tell me if that's something I could believe in and I could tell other people that's no, true. Let's pull, let's AI pull the room. Let's pull the room. Let's pull the room. Let's pull the room. God, dude. Fuck. Let's pull the room right now. Who thinks that the available territory that they, that is, you know, that humans interact with, meaning trade, travel, airplane flight, and land masses over water and air, Right, so land, air, sea. Who thinks that the majority of that is land, and who thinks the majority is water? All right, let's go. Anybody can speak up. All right, majority. hold on. Let's. Water. Majority is water. Majority is water. Okay, next person. Somebody else. I believe the latter. The majority is water. Right. Now, if we go down the list, every single person is going to say water. Now, they may say, "What if there's more territory we don't know of?" That may tip the scales, right? But notice how when I parsed out my claim, I used the majority of the known territory. Okay? It's water, dude. And it's about two-thirds. When you look at the continents versus the amount of water in between the travel distances of the continents, dude. It's really simple. It's not complicated. Now, what was the point of my argument? The point of my argument was, if the majority of, of the territory is water, and the maximum variance of elevation is, is within a 15-mile range, and water seeks level, regardless of waves, and there's no such thing as a 15-mile wave, and if you take those two parallel planes and you put it over that surface territory, which let's be even more terrible and go down from 150 million to 130 million, you still end up with a scalar function factor that would be described as flat. So there's no way out of it. 
That's like you're going to need a globe for that. So, you know, if you've got... Uh, I'm, going to need, I'm going to need a globe to describe yeah. that water's flat. Are you stupid, Well, that's dude. where you got your figures from. You got your 70%. No, no. Oh you got your 197 million square miles from there. No, right. no, dude. That's, that's your... Never that's been measured. Your retarded, listen, never hey, been proven. Hey, that's your retard. Are you stupid, And if you, if you claim... Are you stupid? Okay. Are you stupid? But, uh, it must be. No. So I'm going to explain Logically, it to you again. There we go. Okay. Did he just Next say time you need a globe to say the Earth is flat? No, listen. No, yes, exactly. So it's, think this, this guy thinks you need a globe to know how long it took you to fly from America to Iraq. He thinks you need a globe to know how long it took the boat with the supplies to bring our tanks across the ocean. This Unfortunately, is the we'll never know character. what he actually thought because he cut him off and muted him. No, dude, dude, dude. And now you cut it, okay. care, cut it, AI. Yeah, uh, this is how it works. Yeah. Because yeah, this is how it works, dude. Well. You mischaracterize yeah, what I say, now, now you and can, then I correct you. Let me tell you. Elderberg, you. Elderberg, now you can yeah, go to another go. server and complain about AI, you know? Yeah. Just let AI finish. That's what you can do. Okay, so what I'm wrapping up is that we have ways to generally measure distances, right? You don't need a globe to do that. Okay. You want to characterize as if everything I say comes from a globe because you have a model affliction affliction where you like to accuse other people of being model afflicted when they make their claims. For example, you are model afflicted. Let me tell you why. Idealistically flat is a model. It doesn't exist in reality. In actual reality, there's variance in tolerance scales when people use the term flat. So you're trying to impose a reified ideal onto a term that nobody employs in practicable reality to mean what you are accusing them of using it as. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and unmute you so everyone can see how so much of a spaz you are. I asked you the other day not to use spaz. You seem to like that word quite a lot. Well, I could care yeah. less. You, you spaz, so I call oh, you as a yeah, man. So yeah, it goes. You have the power to care less because you can shut me up with a little red mute button. You know, that's like society does that to people. Which hasn't been okay. applied to you. I question you. How about, how about, how about, Elderberry, Elderberry, how about you I talk about, you. how about you talk about the points? How about that? Yeah. Well, I asked you where you got your 70% from and your 197 <sighs> million square okay, miles. Okay, you're going back on me. There we go. So I muted you so I can ask the room that might be at least impartial between the two of us. Did I not explain where I got the measurement, where I got my, uh, my thing from? Anyone? What did I, where did I get my things from? You uh, did. Let's see, ask Gregory. What did I, where did I get it from? Me. I forgot where you said you got it from. The continents, right? The distances of trade routes between continents. And the known distances that I went personally, and I just extrapolated them by four, assuming that if I traveled over a quarter of the claimed area, then I could at least reasonably assume that the other continents are the other, uh, you know, three quarters. And then from there, assume that the, the amount of water is about two thirds. Now, that's reasonable. That's not unreasonable. This guy won't be charitable and, and grant a reasonable conclusion. He wants perfection, you see, because flat is an ideal. Flat means perfectly flat. Flat means no point higher or lower than another. Right? So everything has to be perfect. All right, no, so I didn't let's see claim what he has that to, to be perfect. I didn't claim that to be perfect. I'm not making any claims about that or trying to, you know, give another model at all. Because the model is being presented that it's measured that way. And so when What's I ask about how way? it's measured, measured, then we get into way? these pro we get in these problems. What's measured what way? I'm not making a I claim couldn't. and then says that we're claiming that. Well, you don't make claims. I notice you don't want to make claims either. But when you're held to account and asked, how did Dude, you, you make that? You just contradicted yourself. You're just being annoying and disruptive with a calm volume. That's all you're doing. You're not actually well, trying to engage in discourse. Yeah. You're here I to am. try and convince yourself and deceive yourself. And to believe in that your position is actually logically hey. valid, let alone sound. But we've listen, defeated listen, you twice over. Yeah, friends, if, if this Wait, guy actually wanted to engage... Wait, hold on, you guys, engage, I have a question, because there's this dude in the before chat. Before you go, 
But before you go, if this dude actually wanted to engage, when I parsed out what flat means in a practicable engineering sense that has anything to do with structural reality, he would have addressed it, but he didn't. He exactly went to start attacking me. So that proves everything we need to know. Okay. There's a guy in the chat right now. His name, his name is Dogs Are Gods. And he is basically saying that he has proof. He said, I have proof that there's basically curve in the earth. So can you give that to us? Since I have proof of earth curve, level is defined as curved when the reference is the earth. Since I have proof, <laughs> go for it, homie. Dude, he's never admit it to us. From what, us hang, on, hang on, hang on. From what I know and what I've heard is that they say the globe is covered with 70% water. Now, that's where I heard that. Hold on, that's hold on, where, hold on. Let him where, say what he needs to say. God his wings Are you a flat earther or a glober? I don't know you. I'm neither. Elder Bear. Me, I'm, I'm neither. I'm You're trying neither. to work that's out. Okay. Cool. He's a flat earther. He does have denial. Either. Okay. No, okay. Flat Earth or denial. That's great. So I would really like Thank to talk you for to that, you know. dogs are gods. Um, and oh, he's not even in the fucking chat. He left. Yeah, I've been to tell he, you actually left. Left. he actually yeah, left. He actually left. Okay, got it. Giant, before before you get too too upset, his proof is like tower bridges and tow tanks. Uh, he he left the fucking VC, so it's all good. No worries. <laughs> it's so silly. You guys are so funny. I love it. So, all. Elder, unless you'd like to actually address the point that AI just articulated twice, at least twice, concerning your uncharitable reiteration of your past dialogue, then you might as well not waste <laughs> our time any longer. The reference is horizontal. Perfectly. Which is not relevant to the point that he just explained. Yeah, perfect. Okay, okay. define horizontal. So, define horizontal. Before we continue, lost. before we continue, before we continue, define horizontal. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go to uh, if you imply. Mm. Seven... Okay, dude. This is why no one takes you seriously, dude. You're parsing out everything that you can't use the, f the earth as the reference. And then you say you have to use a perfectly horizontal reference. But you're then asked, what does horizontal mean? And you don't want to explain it. So why should we even bother engaging with you? So this is what's going to happen. You want to try and disingenuously lead to the point that, that horizontal doesn't actually exist. And that's where you'll go. But when uh, you then hey, speak about no, the meaning, no, 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 you move. You have one option, Elder Bear. You're going to define horizontal or you're not continuing here. Those are your options. It's that simple. It's not that hard. I'm not playing around. <laughs> I'm a girl and I can do it. <laughs> like, I what think the fuck? Seven years, seven now, years old. Don't Eight just years. say, hold on. Yeah, fair enough. But don't just say what you think we want to hear. I want you to define horizontal as what you mean when you say it or the actual definition. Those are the only two things. We can't continue until this is done. There's literally no dialogue that can be had until this is done. Because otherwise we're talking about different lexicons where words mean different things. All right, so here you go. Define horizontal for us, good man. I don't think I'll get much opportunity because, you know, I asked you some questions and you dodged from those. So. You're not answering it. You know. Just answer the question. Okay, uh, friends, friends that are listening... Holy crap. He gets unmuted again. I'm just banning him. It's that simple. I'm not even fucking around. Oh shit. So if I'm ban if I unmute him, you ban him. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny as fuck. I love that. Just okay. unmute, uh, unmute him so we can have his last chance. I, I told everyone. I parsed <laughs> out the answers. They all heard it. They heard me explain. You're being asked what horizontal is. That's your burden to bear right now. Define horizontal, please. The burden is that if I speak, you're going to ban me. 
Okay, so you're banned. So All you're right. an officer. It's you're like an officer of the law. No, you don't want to. You don't want to play in good faith and actually society. define anything. So that's the power you wield. Let's let's come back. Dude, we'll come back. Hold on. Hey, when you thought you can come that's back. That's what you power days. you wield. I have you no respect. You can come back in two days when you've had a chance to to look up what her zone means. Can we start yeah, ladies' night again? Can we do? Can we do ladies' night again? They behave deliberately disruptive. And then when they get censured for doing so, then they play as though we're the ones just suppressing them, being bigoted. It's, it's the same so tactic. It's so true, but I also want to ask, can we, like, start a ladies' night again? Because it would be so fun to have these these guys yeah. show Sorry. up on those days. And it's like, yeah. okay, well, let's see what happens when a girl talks to them. Are they, like, how will they behave? And we can either dunk on them or be like, whatever. Like, I think there needs to yes, be a ladies' night again. There was. Just saying. Like, it would be sometimes, amazing. So sometimes we do have ladies' night in this server. It's gone a little bit quiet recently um, with regards to some of the ladies being away Christmas and, and all of that type of stuff, but it hasn't kicked off since. If you want to partake in that, just stay in contact. Maybe you can get in contact with Flat so you can have a couple okay, of hours well, later. What days does that well, happen on? I don't know. Whichever night is best for you. You don't know. Oh, any day. Yeah, I can have ladies' night any you. day that I want to have it. But, but That's not cool. just you. Not not just you, but a group of ladies, whichever's more convenient for all of you. That's what I'm saying. So when are the ladies usually here? You would have to speak to them. Okay, well I don't know when them are here like, or who here. even any of them are. Yeah, like I'll at all. Flatsy's here. There's a few ladies here. If you want me to give you the names of other ladies that are in the server, I can do that. Just get to here. Yeah, just trying to help out, mate. Fucking hell. Yeah, fucking hell. Like, my God. It's, it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, yeah no, for, example, here. for example, for example, shines, shines. What, is hor what does horizontal mean? What does horizontal mean? Yeah. It means a straight fucking line that goes from left to right. It is straight as fuck. And it means uh, horizontal. <laughs> well, that's a, you're just describing a horizontal line. Exactly. What horizontal I mean, means, how so. horrible is that? I just explained a horizontal, not a line, but not what horizontal means. Yeah. It's a line that goes from left to right that is sea level, that is exactly horizontal with the horizon that is a horizontal line uh, what more do you want yeah but now you're using now you're using it's level definition. like what what other words do you want it's level it is exactly in tow with the fucking horizon like it is horizontal uh, there you go what okay, do you want so, so a line what do you want? a line that is parallel to the plane of the horizon right Oh my god! Yeah, you guys can make it all complicated and do do the parallels and all that shit. Yeah, I can do that too. Oh, no, no, fair, but listen, that. listen. When you define something, like if someone says, "What does horizontal mean?" You can't be horizontal. Yeah, and that. when you're horizontal talking to somebody else, who's a glober or anybody who doesn't fucking get it, uh, what I just god. said was probably like you know the most understood <laughs> thing that could have been said. They wouldn't understand the thing that is this and that and this and that, whatever. I was trying to make it so that it was easily under fucking stood. I thought that was the mission. Like, when, this is the way that I used to speak to speak to people on ladies night. Two people that didn't understand shit. We spoke in, like, very fucking easy terms. Like, this is what is happening in reality. This is what is happening. So yeah, exactly. if you look at the horizon, it goes from left to right. This is the horizon. It's horizontal. Blah blah blah. Like if yeah, yeah then let me know what you want because I can do that too. If you want me to get no, bigger, no, you, you bigger were on words, your, you're on your that. way. You were just you were just using the same, just using words in the definition that is the word. So like it wasn't clarifying anything. That's all. But horizontal. To find, hor to find horizontal. What? Well, it's horizontal. Flat or level? Parallel with the ground. No one's trying to trip you up here, Shines. No, I know. I, I I didn't think anybody was from the beginning until somebody said that I sounded like I was dumb. Like, I thought I was just supposed to say what I was supposed to say. So I said it. Like, I'm not tripping at all. Okay. Shines like a little bit. 
Say it again, Gregory. Look in the open chat. In the open chat. Under fucking stood. <laughs> fucking asshole. That's amazing. I love yeah, it. What's up? I love it. Yeah, no, like, I, I mean, I constantly, like, I always spoke under to everyone. Like, when it was ladies' night, it was super hard to talk to people. You know what I mean? Like, we're dealing with people that are coming in, they're either young or just dumb or whatever. And so it was like, how do you explain this? <laughs> it's like, how can I talk to somebody who doesn't understand things and I want them to understand it? Like, how can I break it down? You know what I mean? Like, that's the way that I'm used to talking to people is like, this is mm -hmm. what this is. You know, it's like, how do you bake a cake? Well, exactly. who's this and that and blah, blah, blah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm used to it. Exactly, yeah. Trans how, woman shines, how, we got the, how we got the word ashtray? Ashtray? Yeah. The fuck? The fuck? It's, yeah. Coming from, it's coming from which words? Wait, okay, ashtray. Let's let's think about this. How did we get the words ashtray? Is that from different languages? You're French, right? Are you no, French? Great. Oh my god, are you German? <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. What <laughs> words did we get it from? No, ash no I want to say to the, Yeah, ash and tray. <laughs> yes. That means it's coming from ash and tray. Now horizon. Ash from which tray. word it's coming from which word it's coming horizon? Horizon? You think that's yeah. coming from like multiple different words? Horizon? No, it's coming from yeah. horizontal. The fuck? Yeah. Exactly. Like, what the fuck are you even yeah. talking about? Ashtray no, yeah. and Horizon. That's You're a fucking ashtray thinking that it came from Horizon. <laughs> no. I will stump my cigarette butt out on your face and be I'm like, what are you even talking about right now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> to fuck? understand the logic, you know, the horizon. No, uh, there is no <laughs> logic there, homie. There is no logic because no. people are asking, uh, uh, define the horizontal, and we are speaking about horizon. And then you ask yourself, well, where from it's com uh, coming that word, horizon, if it has nothing to do with the horizontal, you know? It definitely has everything to do with horizontal. What the fuck? Yeah, of are you course. Talking and about? ashtray have as it, everything to do with ash and tray, for example. I'm because pretty you, sure it probably does. What is your point? You're th making that, no sense right th now. Th 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 the point oh, is this: there is no discussion what? about horizon and horizontal. Happening? No, there is no discussion about horizon and horizontal, and it's stupid to discuss about that. There is so obvious, and that's it. Who is this guy, and why is anybody giving him any time? This is that's retarded. Sasha, we love Sasha. Sasha's old. Oh, that was just... Sasha, my homie. Yeah, he's just Long time to... old friend. Just FED days. Okay, to... yeah. Shut up. You. You were so silly. He's just trying to you point out that what's the point of arguing about horizontal and horizon? We know where the words come from, right? Yeah. Horizontal comes from horizon. The yeah, horizon. and ashtray. That's all he's trying to point out. And ashtray comes from ash and tray. So all he's trying to point out. Oh now, my his God. English isn't fantastic. Well, hold on. Oh, God. I, I can't hold on, it. Jedi. Actually, I think I know Sasha a little bit, maybe a little bit better than you do, and I know his trolling tendencies. Really? And he was it's legitimately... Guys. Stop uh, it. Stop I don't it, Jedi. You, but... Don't, don't <laughs> even... Don't um, even. No, she knows me, but, but Jedi knows me more. I, Shine. Oh, yeah. does he? Sa Sasha, yeah, he I fucking love you. Stop it. Just right, stop listen. it. You were just listen. fucking with me right now, and Jedi was trying to be nice to you because he knows you more. That's what just happened right now. So just let him know. Like, just... Shut up. <laughs> Did you leave? Yeah, she disappeared. Yep. I think one of our moderators had had enough. Get Elder Bear back on, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, morning, Sash. Morning. Well, From great I'm going to DM and ask him if he's willing to define horizontal. That'd be a start. And then so we finish. Then let's go. Let's go to the angle.
Anyway, uh, the moral of the story is that horizontal is parallel to the plane of the horizon. The horizon is two parts, which is the sky and the surface of the earth. Therefore, the surface of the earth is always being referenced when you use the term horizontal. The orientation of the earth itself. Okay? There's no getting around that unless you want to redefine words. Is there anybody in the chat who wants to redefine words? Anyone at all? No? Good stuff. Now, if you divorce the term from the surface, you're only left with uh, essentially forces, right? So your orientation is based on force alignment. So vertical and horizontal are just force um, applied to the object in question. You know, so you, you have a you have a plumb bob, you drop it, you know, it's aligning. You could then do ninety degrees off of that and call that horizontal. And now it's just an orientation to the, the vector of down. Right. However, once you do that, you still end up with horizontal. Right? And so then the vector of down decides the equilibrium at which water rests, right? Because if you tilt it left or right, the water will flow, right? Everybody knows that, right? So then you end up with the same problem where the surface of the earth is mostly water, water levels out. The equilibrium of forces to the vector of down, perpendicular to down, is horizontal. And if you lay out a horizontal plane, right, what do you end up with? You end up with a datum of a variance of less than 15 miles over a territory greater than 100 million square miles, which ends up with 0 0.000001 variance. Now, in any engineering, you would describe that as flat. So flat is a perfectly adequate term to describe the Earth. If you don't is like it, Elder Bear, I mean, is, is, Elder Bear, is that Elder Bear sort of, is he, is he annoyed at using the word flat and he prefers to use the word uh, horizontal? He, no, he's, got, he's, he's a, a religious zealot against the word flat because everybody's too stupid to understand that idealistically flat doesn't exist except for him. And he's come to preach the gospel of things aren't idealistically flat. I mean, is he okay with saying the Earth is measured horizontally, but not no. flat? No. no, he wouldn't say that either. Right. If so horizontal why... comes from horizon, what does vertical come from? Uh, birdies. Intersection. The intersection of two lines is a birdies. And so perpendicular to horizontal is a line that intersects horizontal, which is a vertice, which you get vertical. Was that a Latin word? Or? Um, I'm not 100% sure. I will look it up. It says it comes from vertex, vertical, from Latin. Two. What does the word in Latin mean? Sorry? Like, what does vertex in Latin mean? Directly overhead. Oh, cool. That's very interesting. So, so we've come to use that term to mean an intersection, right? That could be a, any orientation. So if you follow the etymology of that word, it means directly overhead. But then you say, well, I have a vertex at a diagonal. And then someone will say, well, that's not directly overhead. 
Therefore, you're wrong. Yeah. You see, what the problem is when you play when you play the game of literal meanings and pedantic parsings of absolutisms when it comes to language, you just make a fool of yourself. Okay, words are not, you know, they are fixed in a certain sense, but they're not fixed in another sense, right? They have connotations, denotations, contextual definitions, lexical definitions, field definitions, right? You can't just say this particular meaning that I've isolated for this term and, and promoted idealistically must be the only meaning that's used or applied. Like, that, that's just not the way language works. Now, you may not like that. You may find it's imprecise. You may think, oh, well, we should have, we should have definitive terms that have specific phonetics and specific letters for each term so there's no ambiguity, right? That may be what you desire, but that's just not the way language has evolved. You know, so, so if you look up the term flat, there's like eight permutations at least, right? That some of them are contextual, some of them are connotative, some of them are adverbs, some of them are um, adjectives, right? So you may wish that the term flat as an adjective would just be, uh, let's just call it uh, dirt. So let's say flat when you're speaking of this thing is flat, but flat when you're speaking of that thing is dirt. So you'd say, oh, that thing's flat, but that thing's dirt. <laughs> right? I mean, you could just go on and on like that, couldn't you, about anything, you know, you could just get yourself wrapped up with, you know, well, how else would you describe the Earth? Well, we'll describe it yeah. as uh, horizontal, and then you could say, well, you could get into horizontal then, and it, be, you know, an, an apparent location. You, you could go on and on and just talk about this for, but for 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 days and hours. Not really, but we all sort of know what we're talking about, knowing what we mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do, and, and it's so easy. You just, just go, go into somebody's house and knock one of their pictures at an angle, right? That's hanging on the wall, and then just say, oh, that, that, that picture's not straight. And then they'll go up and straighten it out, and they'll orient it vertical on the sides and horizontal on the bottom, right? Uh, I think everybody can understand what horizontal is. I think the problem is when you say the earth is horizontal. It's how you link the two together, isn't it? Same as when you link the two words, the earth is flat. Yeah, That's what I was saying. No, don't even, don't even speak. Bev, define horizontal. Parallel with the plane of the horizon. Have you never seen the argument? Perfect, perfect. Okay, perfect. What's a horizon? What's what's a horizon? Yeah. It's what you see in the distance, isn't it? Well, there's your answer. So, there, what is it, though? It's not just anything you see in the distance. Yeah, it is. The topographical horizon. There's all sorts of oh, different horizons, you. isn't there? Like, for when you... It's just an optical thing. The one it's thing that we can say is that the plane of the horizon is horizontal. Like, everyone yeah. will agree on that. It's how you link that to the Earth being... Okay, that's planet. great. That's great, but let's just... Let's just... Let me just parse out to the room. Uh, hopefully, you guys all notice he didn't actually answer me properly. In Danish. We say like um, you know, like because I think if you put something on the shelf, you level the shelf, and then you put something on the shelf, that doesn't make <laughs> it 
the thing that you put on the shelf horizontal, does it? In a similar way to the topography, we know that the topography is not horizontal. So when you say, you know, you're linking horizontal to uh, flat earth, are you sort of uh, saying the underside of that disc that people imagine? Well, this is why I'm saying you can go on and on because you could say, well, the horizon is where the earth and the sky appear to me. Then you could say, well, is the earth, is the earth water? Is water earth? Is water not earth? You can go on and on and on. Beating yourself up about all this. Is the water earth? Is the sea the earth? Or is earth and the sea two different things? So, you know, how how do you link horizontal to it is the question. Uh, what what are you talking about, dude? Why don't you just answer what a horizon is? Then you'll know the answer. It's the optical thing you see in the distance. Just notice how he can't answer it. It's really pathetic. What optical thing? Be more specific. Oh, he's a cat? The horizon. Do, I see an like, do you not cat? know what a horizon, horizon is? Cat? Okay, no, we you can define the horizon specifically. Yeah. Well, you We're not playing this far. game. Goodbye, dude. Bev. You got one option. You're going to define what a horizon is without appealing to itself in the definition, or you're yeeted. Okay, so I'm going to unmute you for you to be genuine for one second in your life and actually tell us what a horizon Notice how the other friend here is scratching his head because you didn't answer the question. Okay, so this is going to be your chance to be sincere and actually show all of us that you actually give a fuck. Go ahead. Now's your chance. Go ahead, please. Okay, you got on mute. People are waiting for you to define horizon, please. All right, bye. You had your chance. Freaking waste of time you are, dude. Okay, how about this? The plane of which all horizontals are parallel to. How about that? Holy crap, dude. Wait, let me ask you this. Is the horizon the point where the sky appears to meet the land? It's not a point, is it? I mean, come on, dude. Are you being pedantic on purpose? Yes, he is. The horizon isn't a point, is it? You don't think it's okay, a point? Okay, what, what other words should I... Uh, is it the position? Okay, is the horizon the position where the land appears to meet the, la uh, the sky? Um, the only thing that we can say is that the plane of the horizon is horizontal. And that comes from okay. an argument. Perfect. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, so notice, friend, who's asking Bev to, to answer your questions, that he's just going in a circle. He's not actually defining the one term that matters. Well, I asked him directly, and he said it's not a point, but okay. Well, fair enough. It's, it, it technically is not a point. Yeah. But then he didn't go on to define what it is. He just went to this loop where the, the horizon is horizontal to a plane that's parallel to the horizon. It's literally a tautological loop. It's literally ridiculous to even present it as if he's trying to define something. Now, friend, you know, and you can feel it in your gut, that he's being evasive. Oh, yeah. I mean, what if... Oh, yeah. It's quite, quite easily to understand, right? What I mean, I, if I you... didn't... Oh, I'm just saying, if I didn't know actually what the definition of the horizon was, I'd just Google it like now from the Oxford language. It says the line at which the Earth's surface and the sky appear to meet. So we've got Do you the agree with there. Do you agree with that definition there, Bev, that you mentioned? D didn't, didn't I just say that earlier? Optical. No, you didn't, didn't say that. Yes? You didn't say that. You did not say that. It didn't say that it was optical. The thing that you oh see in the distance. No, hey, you agree hold with on, friend. Hold on. No, 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 friend. Don't even ask him if he agrees. He just told you that he already said that, that it's optical, but he didn't say what that guy read, not even close. But does he agree with what no he read? No being evasive. Oh, yeah. Last did did I not just say I agreed with it? So you do agree with it. Okay, so say the words, say the words, Bev, Bev, say the words. 
the horizon. Said, I agree with what that man just read out of no, the no, 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 no. I want you to say it. What? What the horizon is. He just he just read it out. He just went to the All dictionary. Right, so are you going on mute, bro? Bev, until you read out what a horizon is, you're done. It's that simple. I'm not playing around with you anymore. You're going to say what a horizon is. You're not going to say, oh, you read it out. No, you say it. Be be Bev. You've been asked. You haven't been able to give the answer. Your other homeboy that was here didn't give the answer. Why? What is wrong with you people that you can't just say? You people. Yeah, you and that other guy, two people, sent you, in plural, people. You people. Yeah, more than one. Yeah, I know. How hard is it, dude? Rather than distracting and try to give me some kind of accusatory, semi-racist connotation or some nonsense baloney, how about you just define a horizon, please? You all right? Define people. Uh, <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm just booking this dude. He's not to be fair, to answer the question. It's all going to be personal attacks from here on out, so he's gone. If he agrees with the definition, he doesn't have to spell it out necessarily, to be honest. No, he does. He does. He does, friend. If you were paying attention, he's saying, how do you link horizontal to the earth? Okay. I mean, I can understand the globe really getting frustrated about not wanting to say that because it's saying, it's pointing out the horizontal horizon and Earth is all okay. sort yep. of um, connected. Absolutely. Mr. Mr. Dex, I'll speak to you since you actually seem to have a sincere brain cell. Um, when you read that definition, was the Earth referenced? Yes, it was. Okay, so the very definition of horizontal requires parallel to the plane of the horizon, which requires a horizon, which requires the Earth's surface to be referenced, correct? Correct. So, if somebody asks you, how do you link it to the Earth's surface, it's definitionally linked. Good grief. Yeah, it's, it's there. It's in black and white. Yes, Mr. Deck. So, these pedantic um, shenanigans come in here and want to accuse people of using the term flat by some idealistic definition in a dictionary. But then when you go to the same dictionary... And it says that a horizon directly references the Earth and the orientation thereof in reference to a parallel plane being a horizontal line or a plane, a line that exists within a plane, right? Mm. Then all of a sudden they spaz out and their brain can't function. Read my argument, now, AI. I don't care about your argument. You told me your dumb argument before. I care less. Well, everybody else have a go at reading it. Yeah, dude, dude, how about everybody else have it's a go about asking argument. what a horizon is? Usable argument. Oh, it's a sure usable argument. I can't define a horizon publicly because I'm too ashamed of it. What? Yeah, you, dude, everybody heard it, bro. They heard you hem and haw when you Read were saying what a horizon is. Bro, what's a horizon? It's an occulting edge. The uh, thing that you see in the distance when you look the down. The thing that you see in the distance. Is it a cat? That's a no, vague it's definition. an occulting edge. Bev. Could you the be more specific? Is, it's an edge. The... It's not an occulting edge. Is it? It's not an edge? Uh, it doesn't even look like an occulting edge. Rito was just posted in, in uh, the, the chat, dude. This is from James Gibson, the number one, the most cited scientist on visual perception. That's from Ecological, um, I can't remember the title off the top of my head. Ecological Theory of Visual Perception or something. Okay. Did you just post it? It's the one uh, Evan under MZ posted 529 on the left. Is it analogous to the occulting edge, but it's not an occulting edge? Yeah, the occulting edge part, that's just the imaginary part. 
Yeah, because that's not what it is. It's yeah, the, optical. The visual part, there, it's not a cult image. Right. So, right. So, can we all agree that generally, in order to have a horizon, you have to have sky? And what else? There's another part you have to have. What was that other part? Anyone? The land. Or, so, let's let's be more general and say the surface, because you can have horizons without land. Right. So the surface of the Earth is explicitly referenced. Whenever you use the term horizontal, definitionally, as we just parsed out by using the dictionary. So if anybody asks me, again, how does horizontal reference the Earth? That's the frickin' answer. Okay, so just the fact that horizontal is horizontal is what uh, you flat earthers are using uh, to no, are you exchange kidding? the Earth's flat. Are you, are you, dude? So, the, here's the answer. How disingenuous do you want to be? Yes, kumquat, blue, fiery. A, B, or C, which one? You actually, you could have just asked how disingenuous do you want to be, yes or no. Exactly. <laughs> yes or no. So, earlier in India, before you arrived, I posted engineering diagrams of how you attain a flat surface. And in every single one of them, it, it shows a tolerance scale with two parallel planes, right? Because everybody knows, and it's defined in the beginning of the document, idealistically flat surfaces do not exist in practical reality. Holy shit. You can make graphene, which is like one-dimensional carbon uh, lattice. Even that is, you know, actually also. three-dimensional. Also, it, 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 it's not it flat describes because it has molecules, right. so it's kind of bumpy. But in the definition, though, it does describe the plane of the horizon. And then, obviously, we're looking at dictionaries and things. And then, if you look at the definition of plane, that is a flat surface on which a straight line joining any other two points. Okay, so, so let's get let's get to this part because this is skip to the chase. How flat is flat? To call it flat. What's the deviation from the idealized absolute flat of one dimensional line? We could, where we're still going to call it flat. Any deviation from the one dimensional line? If, if your definition of flat is one dimensional line, yeah, I'll concede nothing's flat. It's complete abstraction, doesn't exist, it only exists in the mind. If you have a better word we can use, but we'll use that. Topographical plane, that's what typically people have been saying lately. That's an oxymoron, I think. What's an oxymoron? Topographical plane. Well, do you have better words we can use since you want to be pedantic? I know, I'm just... Do you have better words? With the, I, want, I want people to use better arguments, right? Okay, well, I, no, you're complaining about words, so let, let's have no, some I'm, words. I'm saying the topographical plane is two words. Uh, they're okay. oxymorons. Which, which you they're like? both opposites. They're not. It's no what's good a, saying... What's, okay, define plane. Topographical plane. plane. Is plane one di uh, two-dimensional? Length uh, by breadth. Two dimensions. Okay, so it doesn't exist in, in nature. Absolutely. There's no such thing as a plane. Got a better word for reality? It's not an object. Do you have a better word? For what? Not for, reality. for plane, no. It's a reality. geometric term, isn't it? Yep, friend. Yep. Uh, let, me, let me help out. Word, Maybe though. I can help. It's easy to sit on the bench and complain. I think reality was a good word for talk. reality. You know, it's easy to sit on the bench complaining the g that the guys in the game suck. Now you're with, I'm the coach. I'm calling you in. It's time for you to play ball. You got to put I'm the ball play, in the basket. Not what do we got to call earth this way? Because the earth's not flat. Then what okay, is it? Perfect. Perfect. It's just right, reality. Bev. Yeah, Bev. Bev. That's Bev, just Bev, like nobody. circular logic, bro. <laughs> no, actually, actually, it's a cop out. So I'm going to ask a question, and hopefully somebody will be able to answer this. Is there a better word to describe my flat table? Other than flat. Yes, round. Okay, let's get, let's get okay. back. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Table. 
Um, no, no, no. It could be both. It could be both round and flat. But when we describe a flat table on, an, on a micro scale, depending on the scale that you're viewing it, you could argue that it's not flat because there's variation. So this is what we're pressing to Bev. And when you describe a flat table, which has a, a surface that's arranged between a tolerance scale of two horizontal planes, let's say a maximum variance of a sixteenth of an inch across the entire eight foot of the table, that table will be described as flat. That is what we all use. So, Bev, is that not a good enough word? The table top. You know, you're not talking about the legs, are you? Of the table. Oh, come on, Bev. Okay, so let's let's talk. What's the purpose of words? We're trying to communicate. You can describe ideas. the table in yeah. many ways. Yeah. You so do we have to get color. basic, Billy, on this Jake. shit, dude. We have to get so basic on this. The purpose of words and talking is to communicate ideas. And that purpose is so that you're communicating your idea into the mind of another person. And it doesn't matter what words you use. You can use gobbledygook as long as you communicate the, the idea from you to them, it's a success. doesn't matter if you use the word or some other word. When I tell AI flat earth, AI knows exactly what I mean. He doesn't think of an abstract fucking two-dimensional fucking surface. Not surface, really, because it, it, it got to have fucking depth that puts something on the surface. If I say to Jemzy, flat earth, he knows what I mean. Bev, when I say flat earth, you know what I mean. Well, you know what I'm talking about, that reality as you do. I know it's not. So why should everybody not. just adopt your definition? Well, nobody has to. Yeah, I assure you, we're not gonna. You're good. Well, his definition yeah. or his non non definition? I'm no, just he, saying exactly, that it's Jim, not. He doesn't actually have a definition. What's not flat? The Earth. In in what way? In any way that you want to look at it. Wrong. It's not. You're wrong, sir. You're wrong. Flat. Hold on. Let me explain it to you. You already agreed that idealistically flat doesn't exist in practicable reality, yet we still use the term flat. Now, I can pull up document after document after document of practicable reality where things are engineered to be flat, and in every single engineering, you're going to see a methodology of creating a reference plane and a deviation among the two parallel planes of the maximum variation within a tolerance scale for the application. That's all you will ever see. You're never going to see nothing else. Do you know why? Because everybody knows that they can't achieve perfect flatness. Now, generally, when you're talking about that type of flat, you're talking about a surface. Usually in engineering, it's a resting surface or a mating surface, right? The rest of the object could be any permutation of shape. Remember, flat is not a shape. When someone says the Earth is flat, they're not defining it as a shape in totality. They're describing the surface attributes. Now, if you believe that water level can define a horizontal line, right, and mean sea level, if it's true that everything is measured, height and depth on the surface of the Earth with a maximum variation, of a, at, at extent 15 miles they claim 13 but i'm just going to give it a liberal 15 and i'm going to cut off half of the square miles that they claim because i know it's at least half based on land masses and travel routes to 100 million square miles and if i take the tolerance of that with two parallel planes that flatness scale will actually be flatter than a multitude of products sheet goods and engineered surfaces that are sold as flat. That means, Bev, that in the common English lexicon and in the common language of the people of the world, the Earth could be described as flat if indeed water is referenced to a horizontal, whether it's the Earth or equilibrium of forces. Either way, you end up with the same tolerance scale. That could be described as flat. So for you to say the Earth isn't flat, the only way in which you can say that is if you're referring to the ideal, which we all agree isn't practicable in reality. So you're basically saying nothing.
I'm just saying it's not actually flat. I mean, it's uh, easily okay. provable oh, wow, that level wow. uh, no, is horizontal, no, right? Really? But I'm just saying oh, it's not goodness. actually flat. Hey, right? Bev, Bev, everybody, everybody knows that the Earth isn't idealistically flat. Are, are you that simple-minded, bro? Well, that's why I say that it's a bad term. Like, the same as top of the plane. Not tomorrow. Dude, it's not a bad... Right, Earth Dude, is I just explained to you... I just too. explained... I just explained to you how the term flat is used in practical reality. And in all those cases that I explained to you, the Earth fits under that definition. So yes, Bev, the Earth is flat, and you believe the Earth is flat. Your own argument proves you the Earth is flat. You believe the Earth is flat. I know the Earth is not flat. No, you know it is. Listen, you know it's not no. idealistically flat. No, it's not. We, flat. we listen, Bev. We all know that you know it's not idealistically flat. That's true. We all know that. Mm -hmm. So you've accomplished nothing because everybody already knows nothing's idealistically flat. So your your profound words are a waste of time. The globe is flat. It was measured like that. The globe is flat. The Greeks all knew that. They measured angles using sticks and shadows. The globe must be flat for horizontal shadows. Al Biruni knew the globe was flat. He measured the height of a mountain like that. And when I was a sailor navigating the sea, the surface of the ocean appeared very flat to me. Triangulation on the surface of Earth, all achievable without one single use of a curve. Yeah. All right, so I want to ask India a question. Um, I get the impression that when people say the Earth is flat in the context of rebutting it in like, oh, you don't know the Earth is flat, but they're generally flat earthers, right? But they're in the not flat category. There seems to be a hint that they're accusing the person who, who's employing the term flat as using the term flat as a as a all-inclusive model, kind of like a ball would be being held in your hand. Because a ball is a specific shape, right? And so if you describe an object as a ball, that's the totality of the object. So if you describe the Earth as flat, if you've been living your whole life describing the Earth as a ball or being told the Earth is a ball and that's a totality, saying that something's flat can't have the same meaning of a total uh, object claim. Like, the Earth is flat as if that's what it all is. Right? Because the bottom could be ja you know, jagged or square, whatever. You could, you, know, you could do an infinite amount of permutations. So if somebody thinks you're trying to describe the entire Earth, as a comprehensive model, like a ball would be, right? Then it's it's them not understanding what you mean in a sense because they're just pre-programmed to think that's what you're trying to do to just replace a ball with flat. It's totally so contradictory, it's really though, right? Can you see your contradictory position? It's not contradictory at all. Well, it's it. it the claim is that it's measured. Uh, flat, right? And I know it's measured not flat. Yeah. That's all I'm no, saying, it is right? Measured flat. But then it is measured earlier, flat. earlier, Jedi said that the dip correction was what made it horizontal. So a calculation was what made it horizontal. Right. Now no, you know no. just as well as anybody else that those calculations are what? claimed to be other things. So make your mind up. Dip correction. Why are you? Excellent on the floor. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Yeah, dip correction. So it's not yeah, actually but... horizontal until you make the calculation of your dip until correction. You, you know what? Un until you put the sextant on the floor, mathematically speaking, like within a submarine, you don't have to do dip correction or height of eye. You're just on the horizontal plane that you're going to be measuring your angle from anyway. Yeah, so no, the angle isn't Horizontal. Wait, before we get too far off, before we get too far off, Bev, did you just insinuate that people who appeal to dip correction in any way, shape, or form are having a vestigial um, thing from the globe model? Is that what you're claiming? No, I claimed that if you're going to say that horizontal is the thing that you link to flat Earth, and then you're also going to say that you get that horizontal from a calculation, then 
you you denying your own horizontal uh, really you're getting oh, it from a calculation enough. a correct yeah, I, I got what you're saying yeah but you got a problem so the problem is that your your calculation is is based on a differential triangle from your altitude assuming that you're on the earth right at a specific altitude so that extra angle has to be removed from your from your angle so it's already assuming it's assuming the surface is below you right and that's the only thing that that's really doing in that sense what was I server so in other words they're not getting they're not getting a horizontal from from already understanding that the surface is horizontal and then dropping part of the angle down to match the altitude that's not where it's coming from it already exists in order to be to be gone too. Well, yeah, everybody knows that horizontal exists. They've known that for years, centuries now, right? Yeah, what's hor what's horizontal? Um, anything that's parallel to the plane of the horizon. Perfect. What's a horizon? Um, the thing, the plane of which all things that are horizontal are parallel to. Uh, these are geometric oh, terms. Wow. Mathematical. Any, notice, anybody, anybody else notice what he just did? Anybody else notice what he just did? I know you're mm -hmm. a wordy guy. No, dude, you're a, you're a dodgy guy. You, you've dodged more than the entire aggregate player base of Dark Souls for the past Just make years. arguments, mate. That's it. Listen, dude. Simple listen, dude. arguments. You're, listen, that's simple some friend, people friend. can understand. Your arguments, your arguments are useless if you don't define the terms in them. One more horizon. time. What's a horizon? What's a horizon, Bev? What's a horizon? For the $44,000 question. We'll just go with what you call it, all right? The it's horizon is which, that which AI calls it. Right? This guy, that seems this to be guy, the only thing that you accept. Like, no, dude, Whatever I, you I want the horizon to, to be, anything. that's what it is, all right? Dude, I'd just be happy for you to say anything, dude. Wait, Bev, if somebody had a gun to your head and said, define horizon or I'll kill you, what would you say? I'd say the thing that you see in the distance. You're dead. Well, like and so he would, say, he would say, he would say the thing I see in the distance time people have sort of threatened to put a gun to my head. Like, oh, I'm not threatening to put a gun to your head, got, dude. I've still got the dictionary out, if that helps. So just say... Bev, Bev, this, Bev, Bev, this is why, this is why people, like, generally don't take you that seriously, dude. It really is. You're being asked such a simple question, and you, you literally just can't even simply answer it. People seem to take me seriously enough to threaten me and uh, accuse me of who's threatening things, you? Right? Hey, what I mean, fuck? dude, who's who's doing that, dude? Are you concerned trolling for yourself or something, dude? I can't be bothered with your pity party, okay? What's a horizon, please? No. Okay. Whatever that noise is in the background, it needs to stop. It's hurting my ears. It's a thing it's in the distance. Cat. It's a it's thing awesome. in the distance. That's it's out. a boat, dude. <laughs> The boat is a, the horizon is a boat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, friends, the, the point is is that the best whole shtick is that the earth isn't flat, and if the only term that he can use to employ for that definition is an ideal which doesn't exist, as soon as you apply a tolerance scale at the scale of which the surface of the earth is, right, and the highest and lowest point, and you have a horizontal reference, whether no matter where you put it. If you put two planes to that reference and squeeze it down on the maximum variance of altitude, you end up with two horizontal planes that have a tolerance scale that would be described in many other fields and many other applications and many other objects as being flat. Not only being flat, but being very flat. 
So he's just he's just wrong. It's just that simple. Dude, it's it's provable that level is horizontal, right? But again, <laughs> that does not make the earth flat. We measure we use that to measure distances, vertical distances. Uh, notice notice how right, which notice make how he the didn't earth not anything flat. I said at one all. One. Notice, notice how he didn't say anything I said at all. Didn't address what I said. Not capable of doing it. Not capable of answering what a horizontal is. Dude's literally a bricked religitard. Smoking his own religion. I mean, if you, if you say you've got, like, say you say you are plotting your position, like, uh, with using a sextant, say, and then you're plotting the GP of the, uh, the luminary, and you plot that on your chart or your map, and then you've got your um, observer location on the map, and then there's a distance between them two points on the map. Well, the map's flat, isn't it? And you're measuring that distance uh, across the ocean or the earth. So you are measuring it flat on a map. See, the, point, the point that he hasn't addressed yet, Mr. Windeck, That's is because that they're I horizontal distances. Okay, yeah, that's great. As opposed to the vertical the distances. The the vertical the distances is, are the Mr. bits that make it not flat. Okay, great. Okay. As I explained it, okay, to the room, ad infinitum, Mr. One Deck, that everybody knows that in reality, objects that are described as, or surfaces that are described as flat, are not idealistically flat. That means that if you create them or orient them in horizontal, and then you have a vertical, right, there will be variance on the vertical. Period. We all understand that. Now, that being the case, there's only two options left. You either accept that that's how the term flat is used practically, or you remove the term flat in that sense from the lexicon and from the dictionary. Those are the only options. Now, Mr. Indio asked, asked, asked Mr. Homeboy, it's not flat. Well, then what, what term would you use for everything we already describe as flat that's not idealistically flat? His, his offer was reality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Ikea, and I'm going to tell them I want a very reality table, please. The surface must be reality, please. I'd like my surface of my table to be reality. And they're going to look at me and scratch their heads and think I'm nuts. Just tell them you want a table that is not flat. Oh, perfect. I want a table that is not flat with a ratio of horizontal plane to vertical variance of 0 0.00000013. That's what I'd like. And they'd be like, oh, so you, you mean you want a flat table? And I'd be like, oh, yeah, a flat table. Yeah, that's what I'd like. I mean, it will come in a flat pack, by the way. Now, one more time, so we're all friends, and we can all shake hands and sing Kumbaya. We all agree, every single person in this room right now, every person listening on wherever we're streaming, every person listening to these recordings in the future, we all agree and know that objects are not idealistically flat. So, hooray, we're all friends again. Cool. I used to have a flat so though. measured, not flat. Then no, like measured say. flat. No, measured flat. <laughs> Horizontal datums measure positions, latitude, long and longitude on the surface of the Earth, while vertical datums are used to measure elevation and water depths. Hey, you know, what? So, hey, Mister Jedi, do you have mm. children? Say that again, sorry? You're cutting out. Do you have do you have children? Yes. Now do you remember when your children were young and they found a fact that they thought daddy didn't know? <laughs> Constantly, yeah. Right. Now, doesn't that just feel like exactly what Bev is doing? Yeah, it does a little bit. 
Who's daddy? And what does he do? <laughs> That's a great question, Bev. <laughs> well, at the moment, horizontal datum, datums measure positions, longitude and latitude, on the surface of the Earth, while vertical datums are used to measure land elevations and water depths. So, mm -hmm. on the surface of the Earth and measure. Yeah, and any measurement in the vertical would show that it's not horizontal, right? Well, that's upwards, obviously. I'm talking yeah. about lengthways. Lengthways. Yeah, all measurements are measured on a horizontal, right? Yeah. Those distances are hor horizontal distances mm. measured on a horizontal plane. But again, mm. that does not make the Earth flat. Well, it does when we're talking about horizontal datums that measure positions if on. If you're just talking about horizontals, then you're just talking about horizontals, and that's yeah, obviously also, horizontal. Also talking about vertical datums, which is what you're bringing up. I'm bringing up both. Mm -hmm. mm. Fair enough. So you're saying both of the horizontal and the vertical um, are measurements uh, for the Earth being flat? I'm oh, not. Hold on. The oh, oceanic wow. surface. Mm. Sorry, yes, Bev. but see, the problem is, Bev, the problem is, Bev, you claim, still don't it? understand, Bev, Bev, you still don't understand what flat means. So I'm going to evolve this conversation it's just a with a little... Visual no, no, you just don't get it. Condition. You just don't get it, dude. You just don't get it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to advance this conversation with a little levity, all right? So check this out. So I want to hire you, Bev, as a quality control inspector, okay? And I want hey, sorry, you Sorry, I'm a carer. I'm, I'm not available I, for... Uh, I don't care. Well, I know. I know you're not available, and the reasons will become quite clear. So I'm going to hire you. Or let's, let's change that. I'm going to offer you a job, which you can... Is this because I say that the Earth's uh, not flat? Oh, my God, dude. All right, I'm just going to have to meet you. So he knows you're going to box him out. in. Yes, no so waiting. I'm going to hire you as quality control. And you're going to go to the engineering location, the manufacturing plant, and you're going to measure the products. I want you to reject every product that is not flat. Every product that's supposed to be flat that is not flat, I want you to reject. Okay? Now, every single person who's been listening to this conversation understands what's about to happen. Okay? This is checkmate. And that's why he left. Checkmate. Check and mate. Game, set, and match. I win, you lose. He's a caregiver, right? Do you think he tells the people he gives care to that the floor's not flat, the table's not flat, the frickin' the driveway's not flat? Come on, dude. He doesn't believe his own bullshit. I'm sick of him. You know what, dude? Why didn't I think why didn't I think of hiring him as a quality control inspector earlier? That's such a good move. <laughs> so that so the shareholders come and they'd be like, um, we're going bankrupt. We haven't sold any products. We have to fire everyone. No Christmas bonuses. What the hell happened here? And Bev's like, Well, you told me to reject everything that's not flat. <laughs> Oh my goodness, dude. Bev is about as intelligent. Just think about it this way, friend. Bev is about as intelligent as saying the Earth's not a globe because ideal spheres don't exist. Which is a dumb argument. Otherwise, that no, would he be had, no, he has an argument about why it's not a globe. I actually came in here to bitch the Globers. Globers that are in yeah. here. I just went through all the live, like a week of live streams, a bunch of 12 hour episodes, scrubbed through the audio, looking for a good Glober argument debate with a flat earther. And y'all are just so pathetic, dude. Like you're just pathetic. In a week, y'all can't make an argument for the globe, which is good enough for people to listen to. It's, it's just sad. Sorry, I, I had to get that out, dude. I just wasted like two hours of my life looking for a good clip, and y'all can't make a, co a coherent fucking argument. What about sunsets? 
Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Y'all can't even steal mana, so a uh, flat earth sunset argument. Whoopsies. What about him? Yeah, well, I, was well, up I mean, listen, all I'm, listen, that wasn't the point of what I'm saying. I'm just saying, I scrubbed you like, oh, you know, I, I don't know how many hours. It was freaking like 14 episodes. And looking for just like, okay, here's 30 minutes of a good back and forth between a globe earther and a flat earther. And it's just the globe side is just, they're just pathetic. It always devolves into sophistry and a bunch of bullshit. And they can't, like, they, they don't, like, the flat earth will say XYZ. The globe earth will respond ZYX. And then the flat earth will say, no, XYZ. Oh, uh, y, YZX. All flat, and then all flat earth is this. And all flat, like, they can't, they like, all have ADHD. They can't make coherent fucking arguments, man. It's just sad. Look, put it this way. Put it this way. If I uploaded them, no one in their right mind with above, like, a 10th grade education would believe that the people defending the globe weren't dupes and that we just put them up to make the globe look bad. That's how bad it is. They'd be like, nah, this can't be a real debate. There's no way the globe earthers can look this bad. They've just got to be dupes. Yeah. I'm not saying Globers can't make good arguments. I'm just saying. Not in this chat. Uh, with all due respect, I think everything you said right now was unsubstantiated, um, non logical, and circular in argumentation. That was just not my experience either. So it's crazy that we have so different uh, experience. Yeah, what was the circular part? See, here we go. Like, you already did it. What was the circular part? Right. <clears throat> circular part was, you said, if you put any Glover up, everybody else is going to look at them as not even a serious debate. Because no one, no Glover on mm -hmm. this server here has provided any sufficient evidence or a good representation of the Glover, right? said maybe they have elsewhere no, i didn't say here. anything like what you're saying it doesn't uh, even resemble what i'm saying i mean i don't have the ability to to have a memory up from 30 seconds ago them. i don't know why you're interjecting you want my take or not yeah if your take has something to do with what the reality of what just happened right and i said i it completely does but it's not verbatim i don't think a lot of people can say yeah it's a straw game. man no it's a steel man there is a difference no you're making a straw man argument i never said that the glover's argument the glover's evidence was insufficient well, i said their argumentation their ability yeah. to express exactly. their ideas right is said. shit exactly if he's got any evidence there's a difference between it being able to express your ideas. Like, I can have fucking mountains of evidence and be fucking completely, uh, can be, um, I uh, I know the difference. This... You don't have to say it. Oh, okay. Then you know What's the difference. Oh, no, you did straw man me because you knew the difference. Now you just admitted he straw man me. No. Congratulations. No, because at no point did I attack the evidence or the underlying data. I just brought up what you said about their rhetoric. Have you got any globe evidence? So what makes straw man is when you I know what a straw man propose is. an it, argument that I no. didn't make and try to shoot it down. It's a fallacious strategy, right? Where you attack something that you didn't really put forward, right? Yes, was, that's what you did. Your position. No, that's not what I did. I explained to you that, how it was steel man and how a steel man is perfectly applicable here and how you're wrong. Nothing you just said, that last sentence, makes any fucking sense. I'm devastated by that. Yeah, cool. I asked you, what was circular? And then you proceeded to straw man what I said. Period. The circular argumentation was, in a sort of um, modus ponens. Or actually, I'll put You're the mo using modus ponens. 
I use, using, I use you're it. You're just well. saying word salad gibberish. I'm fucking done with this. You're done. I rest my case. He just proved what I said. <laughs> like, you, you can't, you can't make this shit up. I wonder if he knows what the horizon is. Probably not. Depending on what argument he wants to make. It'll be physical one second. It'll be optical the other second. It'll be refracted another second. I'm still trying to figure out why he brought up he's trying to steal Man U when he was supposed to demonstrate when he was supposed to be demonstrating how your argument was circular. Don't even understand why he said that. Well, he, gets you out of, he gets you oh, out of providing any evidence of a globe, doesn't it? This 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 chitter chat. Distractions. Yeah, I never said anything about the globe evidence. I didn't characterize it. I just said to people in this chat, their arguments, their argumentation for the globe is so just bad. It's just bad. Now, maybe it's their debate skills. Maybe it's they're all, you know, socially retarded. I don't know. But it's just bad. It always devolves into like strong, this crap, like AT just did. It always devolves into that. Is there any good argumentation? What's the steel now? <laughs> Sorry. A good argumentation for the globe would be something like, yes, we've measured the rotation of the Earth because, um, you know, a full cult pendulum persists at, you know, 15 degrees times the sign of the latitude. Now, whether that's true or not is irrelevant, right? Because the evidence hasn't been presented. They can't even get to that. They can't form a coherent statement to even get to the evidence part. Well, you can watch NASA, can't you, doing the uh, the repairs on the ISS? What's all you? Yeah, I guess. I'm like the, or I could watch the live stream in Nessie. I could do that, too. Prove the Loch Ness Monster. So what do you want? Well, I, you, before you present the evidence, you have to form like a logical proposition that that evidence proves your proposition. Whatever evidence is going to come next, we have to form the proposition first. <laughs> be like me just saying, look at my watch. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and I looked at your watch. Like, you get these answers like, okay. <laughs> like, uh, there's no outer space vacuum. Dude, have you ever heard of telescope? How was that an argument? <laughs> and what can I tell by looking through a telescope? You have to, like, elucidate. Yes, you can get a telescope, and if you look through it, you can see outer space or something. Well, obviously, you can't see outer space. And you could say, oh, those things, I'm claiming they're in outer space, and here's the evidence for my claim. You're just saying, you ever seen a telescope? I mean, it's freaking remedial, dude. It's so, it's so bad. Like I said, no one with a, with a 10th grade or above education would not think that these people are dupes. And then we just put them up like, okay, fake like you're a retarded globe earther. And we just did some fake debate. I mean, you can see the stars. If the Earth was flat, you'd be able to see right across it. Yeah, people say that's not true. That's like saying, oh, here's some railroad tracks. I can, I can see to the end of them. It beats me out if some like a normal intelligent human being who was just coming into this subject, um, which we've all done, and uh, you, you start googling, you know, that we've been through this thousands of times, but you know, yeah. it beats me out. These an adult, an intelligent adult who googles proof that the earth is a globe and the seven proofs that we live on a globe, you know, climate tree, climate tree, climate tree. Yeah, that's my favorite, man. My favorite is climate yeah. tree. And but the, the grown adult now will he's, he's not going to dispute this. 
you probably Excellent. won't go and climb a tree, but we've all climbed a fucking tree. And no one ever climbed a tree and was like, uh, yeah. wow, the Earth's yeah. a globe. <laughs> yeah, but this is, this is the, this is the, um, this is what the, the, the information is uh, re in reality. This is what they're telling you to do. And this is one of the seven proofs that you live on a globe. You can go and climb a tree. It's there. People are believing this shit. Yeah, you've got people is. like um, Matt Hancock, the supposed truther, speaking to millions of people and telling them you just need to go up a mountain and you can see Earth Curve. Case closed. And that, that, that's his globe proof. And this guy's a supposed truth for talking about pyramids, UFOs, all that stuff. What happens? Quiet. Oh, the the oh, they're uh they're climbing a tree. Yeah, they're climbing <laughs> trees. <laughs> Maybe play with some the lasers. Too, huh? People climb trees. The ancient Greeks climbed trees, and then had this hypothesis that the Earth was a globe, and then a Greek named Eratosthenes snapped off two branches, climbed down the tree, and then measured the lengths of the shadows cast by the stick. And that's how they figured out Earth was a globe. Wow, sounds very scientific. It, it is. It's very scientific. Because all the scientists, like, we have a scientific consensus that that's, that's the way it is. We just all agree. That was, two, that was two, that's all you need, two branches, two branches and some shadows, eh? That's all you need. Well, you also need some like um, some letters after your name and a piece of paper that says you're smarter than everybody else. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Well, I'm lacking. Piece of paper says, I'm smarter than you. Source, trust me, bro. Do I also need a tag on Discord that says GF6 next to my name? What is all well, that, that, makes, that makes you uber elite. Oh, that puts me in the next. That puts me in the next echelon. Okay, got it. They get way too much attention. I, I think people should just like ignore them at this point. Well, I mean, yeah, their sole purpose coming in here is not even to reason. It's just to. Uh, what is that GF six? What is it? Gatepack six. Sorry? <laughs> it's, uh, it's gay pack six, man. It's, it's the gay network. friends faction. Gay friends. Oh, no, well, <laughs> it's got to be gay pack six, man. I know it is. Hold on. Hold on. Don't be going down that train before you're going to have to. I, I don't judge, man. I don't judge. I, I don't care about that. What I care about is there's a um, uh, verbal limit on this server. A certain verbiage. Oh. So oh, there's like somebody in with, with somebody in with GF6. What, what does it stand for, that uh, man manufacturer, whatever you call it? So, let me get this right. If I say gay bag six, that's bad. But one of them calls them goat fucker six. That's okay. Um, if that is allowed. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Promotion of bestiality, but not promotion. Um, I, don't, I don't get it, man. I, I'm I don't know. Here. I don't Listen, I didn't. I wasn't there when they had a big pot of words and they picked them out. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just throw some letters and numbers on the wall, and that's what they got. You think they've made T-shirts yet and mugs, and they're gonna start selling swag? You have six. I think I'm gonna get ahead of that and start making it myself. You know, cash selling in to them. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Peter, Peter, 
Peter wants to be in the arena to debate, so I'm going to tell him that he has to get a t-shirt printed with a logo for, for the uh, amp it up. <laughs> you know, that would be cool. We could, we could run an, an arena event in here, man. Yep. With arena rules. Yeah. That might be interesting. Damn, there's a lot of people in here. No one wants to prove the globe? What the fuck? Can't. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm now going to do a standing... I'm now going to do a standing offer to any of the not-flatters to debate me in the arena. And my opener... My opener argument is going to be... So, I'm going to hire you <laughs> the quality control engineer. Oh, dude. dude, how I've just really been stuck on this thing for a long time, man. Like, you'd think that after tempting this angle, let's call it, failing for so long, he would give up. But it's not failing. I think he's stuck in this sunk cost fallacy. Yeah, but, so, um, too much like flatness, it's an economy of scale, so he, he's actually successful in his niche. So if you ever hang out at his server, right, the guys that are there, you see them in the chat, you see them speaking, they'll give off this air of, uh, <laughs> Um, a full, there's a false dichotomy, right, between globe and flat. They won't even entertain concave, of course. Concave is probably just a known globe category. So there's this false dichotomy, but I've risen above it to the real truth, right? And so they, they have that little sense of superiority in their little click. Now, not all of them are like that, but uh, a significant number of them are. And that has a feedback loop, right? You know, when, you're, when you are the, the, whether you want to admit it or not, the quote-unquote leader or the quote-unquote focal point, so that, that niche group, you know, that serves the ego. I think I'm in Bev server. Maybe I should start reading. Like, how do they communicate with each other? I'm like curious. Are they all just like yelling at each other the entire time? They're using words wrong. What do you mean by word? That's not what word means. <laughs> yeah, it's a classic. It's a classic. It's a classic. Others, you know, they're the end group, and those guys are the others. We're just going back they, on that. They like to go ahead. I was saying, just, just on the Bev situation and what we spoke about earlier, you, you really only have to, which you did anyway, and we all, you did it great. And, um, you know, all you need to be doing is defining the horizon, which is the line at which the Earth's surface in the sky appeared to meet. Yeah. And then you talk about, even, even when you look at horizontal, you've got the horizon in the horizontal definition which is parallel to the plane of the horizon so we know what the horizon is we just said that and now we've got parallel to the plane of the horizon so you're thinking well what what about plane definition and that's a flat surface on which a straight line joining any of the two points on it would wholly lie so it's all in there it mentions flat level horizontal uh, plane it gives you it gives it your all them three definitions tied up in that so Bye bye. Yeah. So here, this is this thing. is wait. Oh, Th this is where they come unstuck, right? The Bebs. Just ask them to name a flat surface or flat object, and they can't do it because if they do, their whole argument falls apart. Because if there's any elevation change, by their terms, it's not flat anymore. If it's if it's three so, D, it's not flat. Period. 
Yep, so they, they can't say a table's flat, a book's flat. They can't use the word flat to describe any object. Yeah, but horizontal, horizontal is parallel okay. to the plane of the horizon. So what's oh, yeah, they can, they can they can say level and they can say mountains level and horizontal all day, but they can't say use the word flat. But a well, plane, you plane got definition. another problem. Like one deck, you said it, and you didn't even realize you said it like three times. The word parallel. What's that mean? This is a known problem in geometry, going back to Euclid, because the parallel posture has never been proven. What mean okay. elevation change? Can you explain that, Indio? Can you explain okay, that a little the bit? The parallel more? process. If you have a line, and you have a point that's not on that line, right? It's off the line. There's one line that you could draw through that point, but that will not intersect that other the first line, and that's what we call parallel. So in this case, it would be a plane, right? So you have a plane, and if you take a point that's not on the plane, there's one plane that will intersect that point, right? And not intersect the plane. And those two planes we'll call parallel. That's how it is. So that hypothetical, that um, theorem, conjecture, I guess you'd call it, has never been a actually proven. And it's been thought about for fucking, you know, centuries. I'm not being rude. Can you just say that again, India? So, please. Okay. Say you draw a line on a piece of paper. And above that line, you draw a point. There's a line that will go through that point that does not intersect the first line you drew. And whatever line that is, wherever that is, those two lines will be parallel. Got it? Okay, I'll go through it again. <laughs> line, put a little dot above it with a pencil, right? Draw a line with a ruler, straight edge, whatever. Draw that line. Or the bab, there's no such thing as a straight edge, but I digress. Put a point above that line. Now you can draw a line through that point, right? And there'll only be one single line that doesn't intersect that first line that you drew. Whatever that line is, those two lines will be called parallel. Because you can draw a shitloads of lines through that point, right? An infinite amount of lines through that point. And every line will some, at some point intersect with the first line you drew, except for one of them. I'll, I'll, I'll make a, I'll make a fucking paint diagram. Pretty um. I, I get it. I get it. I think. I think yeah. It's two parallel lines, right? They can't. Yeah. Part, they can't, the line, yeah the if, they, if they do it, if extending the lines if, to infinity. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah. 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 But they're going to try and fool people and say, look, a mountain's not flat. And people are falling for it. They're going, oh, yeah, it's so profound. A mountain isn't flat. It can't be flat. But then they're forgetting it's just a general description. Nothing in, in reality is perfectly flat. And if we try and steal Manny's position and we took Mount Everest, which is 8,000 meters high, and we extended it and made it even higher, we made it 10,000 meters high. And we put that on a surface that was 10,000 kilometers long. So we shrunk the earth down. And say we scaled that down, it'd be the equivalent of a one millimeter elevation change on a 10 meter surface, which you'd definitely describe as flat. Well, I asked that how flat is flat? Like, how do we know when something is flat? It, well, it all gets down to a simple thing, and I, I, I tried to explain it to him, and hopefully it sunk in his head, that we use words to describe things, right? And the, it's to communicate ideas. The ideas that are in my head, I, I'm trying to put that idea into your head by using words. Now, obviously, when I use words to convey my idea that's in my head, it's not going to be 100% matched to the idea that's in my head, and that's why you ask questions. And you drill dr down, and you use more words to make it more and more specific so that your ideas match, right? The idea in my head matches the idea in your head, right? So we could call it Steve Earth, right? What's Steve? I don't know what Steve is. And I could use other words to further define and refine what Steve means. 
so that you know that when I say Steam Earth, you know exactly what I mean because I've used a bunch of descriptors to de define and describe Steve what it is. When Bev comes along and says, well, Steve's not flat. Because flat is means, you know, this, that, like, is one dimensional or whatever he says, right? Well, yeah, but that's not what I mean by flat. I mean something else. I don't mean the idealized geometrically form of flat. I also don't mean the idealized geometric plane that's merely two-dimensional. I exist in the physical world. I don't exist in the abstractions of my mind. But well, even if you, you know, I mean, I'm not going, I'm not going to get, even, even when you describe in sea level and how, you know, that's your baseline for all elevation profiles. Okay, it's not called sea flat. It's called sea level. But then if you go and look at level as a, in the Oxford Dictionary, it's the um, it's a horizontal plane or line with respect to the distance above or below a given point. So we've got horizontal there and plane again. Now we looked at plane earlier, um, and that is a flat surface on which a straight line joining any two points on it would wholly lie. So it's all all these level definition plane horizontal horizon have all got flat and level and straight all within to tangled with each definition flats in there in most of them so i don't know what his problem is well he's got a video where he approaches a surveyor right and he and he sees he just happens to see a surveyor doing surveying work or whatever and he goes is it level and horizontal and the surveyor turns around and goes it's flat <laughs> and anyone who tries to share or this video, he just copyright strikes them straight away. Even if you've got like 10 followers on YouTube, even if you edit it, cut it down, gets in touch with YouTube, copyright strikes you. Because he doesn't I mean, want people to know he's, he's talked to the surveyor and the surveyor said it's flat. He says it's, he says it's flat twice, actually. I mean, if that was me doing that for publicity on YouTube, I mean, I would have went and spoke to the surveyor first and maybe dropped him a few quid and said, listen, when I ask you a question, don't say say you know say it's not flat. <laughs> I, I would I wouldn't have dropped myself in it. Well, it's funny as well because he talks to the surveyor and he goes, "Oh, it's level and horizontal." And the surveyor goes, "Yeah, it's flat." And he went, "Do you mean level and horizontal?" And he went, "Yeah, it's totally flat or whatever." So, but yeah, you share that video. He's got a copyright strike your YouTube channel. And the guy's supposed to be about truth. Like I've been in his group for nearly two years. Well, not in his group, but in his server. And at first I was like, this is really profound. I don't have to call myself a flat earther. I don't need this burden of this label anymore. But then after after just hearing him, catching him out, gaslighting and lying several times, like, and the moment I called him out, everyone in that group just turned on me. And they all repeat the same mantra of the Bevi every day, like level and horizontal, level and horizontal. And uh, yeah, they'll never call him out, those guys. God damn Sounds like a cult, man. It well, honestly, I've addressed it as a cult and a cult leader, right? And those Dude, guys, they come that's in. The they, saddest they... cult ever, man. Like seriously, <laughs> that's your leader. That well, you serious. Well, if, well the, they're all the, saying the, the, oh, Super Monkey Ball. Isn't like the charismatic, smart guy supposed to be the leader? That ain't well. Bad. Like, how did he get followers? Like, I don't get they, it. They all, well, he's coming into Flat Earth servers and he's recruiting him. All his, all his followers are from Flat Earth. Probably all and he's followers. coming in servers like this and he's, take, he's, even, he's even taken one of your mods across. Fusely Jerry, where is he? He had a link to Bev's server in his profile pic and he's repeating the same thing every day, level and horizontal. And he's calling out anyone who calls out Bev. So he's, in, he's probably in his group right now. And all they do is they come across to these different servers, they spout this nonsense, and they go back to their server, have a little gossip and a little bitch about whatever we've said or what it's Nathan Oakley said, and then they come back across the there every is, day. Wait, what's the motive? The motive is purely Bev. Without Bev, the whole thing falls apart. Yeah, what's it's his server. He, he, I don't th he doesn't believe what he's saying. I know he doesn't. He just gaslights people. He's a gaslighter. And he said the same thing over and over and over for years now. Yeah, but he, he I, I asked. Well, I asked him. I asked him specifically 
and how would you describe Earth or what words should we use? And he just completely topped out. He won't take a position of his own, but he's going to sit there and tell us ours is wrong. When I tell him our our position is we use the word plat because it's a practical description. We we don't mean it how you mean it. Exactly, it's a description, and it, and it's not a definition of something that's perfectly flat because there is nothing perfectly flat. It's yeah, a description. we don't mean it that way. Of course, yeah, but we we specifically say we don't mean it that way, and he's just like, well, I'm going to just force my meaning onto you. And then say you're wrong. Yeah, but no. even if you even if just just making this up, even if you say, well, okay, then I'll choose the word level. Okay, then let's have a look at what level means. It's a horizontal plane or line with respect to the distance above or below a given point. So there's a description of level what Bev's just chosen. Let's pretend, and then you'll say, well, that was a horizontal plane. So what's what's a plane then? Well, that's a flat surface. On which a straight line joining any other two points on it would wholly lie. So we've got flat there now, anyway. Oh, I think well, I, can that was... I think about it. I'll just ask him what eye level is. Define eye level. Well, the sad thing is, in my understanding, is we essentially believe the same thing, but they have this semantical argument where you can't use the word flat, and it's like, and they just they built he's built like a cult around this somehow. It's semantical. It's just like. I'm taking my idea of the definition and I'm going to force it on you. Like, I straight up told them, I'm like, we don't have to use your definition, dude. We can call it whatever we want. We just use whatever words we want. We'll invent their own fucking language and you can piss but, off. But he's well, like, exactly. He's like, like there right. isn't groups of flat earthers going to his server every day to say he can't use level and horizontal. But they're coming across like a raiding party. Every morning, like four or five, and eventually they start taking people with him. And he knows what he's doing. He's coming here to build his followers. God, I mean, if, if that if that guy tricks you into following him, peace be upon you. Bye. Yeah, but even oh, yeah, back, done, I, I know but... I know I'm boring you a little bit with this, but no, even if you, no, even if you go, their problem is that well, you, you, the Earth's not measured flat. That's their issue, right? But it is because we use sea level as the baseline for the measurements above and below it. Yeah, so that that is exactly how it's measured. Yeah, sea level. Yeah. So then, oh, we go. Then is back to well, what does level mean? Well, it's a horizontal plane or line with respect to the distance above or below a given point. Oh, you've got plane in there. What does plane mean? Well, it's a flat surface. <laughs> you can't get away from it. Yeah. Listen, I, I understand exactly what you're saying, but that's almost like it's going down into the slop with them, in my opinion. You, you're ended up in, in their, like, basically, the way I see it is, like, there's two people, and they're, like, you both have their hands, like, they're both, like, playing tug-of-war with a dictionary. And that, to me, is just dumb. I, I, I try to, not, I'm not saying you're dumb. You, you know what I mean? It's like, you're just in the yeah, slop yeah. with them. I think we should just say, like, at least me, I try to like re reference it back to the real world. And AI was trying to do that reference. You know, horizontal is in reference to a visual horizon. That's where we get the word. That's how it's defined. It's the earth is the reference for it. Not his abstract idea of what a horizontal plane is. The reference is the earth. And when Elder Bear, I had to deal with that numbskull. About the measured flat thing, right? So, oh, Earth isn't measured flat. Well, okay. If I make a measurement, at what point will the measurement, if I measure like, you know, a surface and it has texture, right? And what, at what point is the, is the vertical to the horizontal as such a ratio, such a great ratio, right? Let's say the difference is one inch deviation in one million square miles is that flat how about one nanometer deviation in a million square miles is that flat like when do we get to say it's flat and they won't well, say it won't they he, won't commit to anything is what i'm that's saying why he lost, that's why he lost his job as a quality control um measurer <laughs> whoever, whoever ai employed him as because yeah yeah like, so I'm like, okay, well, for us, 
for me, I'll say the ratio is one to one million, right? Then I'm going to call it flat. And if you don't agree with that, right, give me the ratio that you would call flat. And I'll try to measure it to that tolerance. Like, what's the target, dude? They won't commit because they're, dude, I can't just, I can't come to any other conclusion that they're just well, trolls. Should it do you know? No. Do you know why they won't commit? Because the moment they don't commit, any one of them, they're going against Bev, the leader. And if they go against Bev, they go against the group. That's why none of them will commit to this, even though they they know what you're saying is true. Like they know it's flat. They know a table can be flat or a floor can be flat, but they can't say it. And at this point, it makes them dishonest, or foot knows what it makes them. But it's it's definitely not right, you know. Dude, someone should go to his house and just rip it down. And just like, okay, rebuild that using your fucking abstractions. You're just going to sit in the driveway staring at the ground because you won't be able to actually do anything if you take your idealized viewpoint of the world. You can't make your floors flat and you can't make your walls vertical. So you see sitting there staring, going, no, the dictionary says uh, nothing's flat and nothing's vertical and there's no such things as planes and there's no such things as lines. And I'll just lay here, curled in a ball in, in, in the freezing rain, wondering where my house went. I mean, you know he recruited Erdebear, Elderbear from this, from this group. He was a flat earther in this group. And then somehow Bev convinced him and now he's really done this number on him where he's got to go out and argue for the leader every day. You know, yeah, to get like points. Terror. Yeah, it, it was up to me. I would ban, I him. I I would him ban them him, all man. from this room. But that's just me. I would ban all of them because they're coming across as a raiding party. Nothing good comes from it. And they'll never learn because he's been saying the same thing for years. I agree with you. I agree with just you. Ban them all, get rid of them. Time like, wasters. Yeah. Complete time wasters. And they mess up the whole server like for a couple of hours in the morning. And you can see when the... Bev's about to arrive because the cult members start arriving first, which is Buster. Oh, are you serious? That you can see when he's, I can see it building up, and I'm like, oh, Bev's going to come. Buster's here, Blood Slicker's here, uh, Fusely Jerry's here, and he's a mod in this server, by the way. Um, and then there's a couple Jerry's of other like Elder Jerry's part of that? He's part of it. Yeah, he's deleted, and after I've called it out, he's deleted the link to Bev's server from his profile pic. <laughs> He's been calling me out for three days for saying Erdebear's in a cult, and he's been publicly calling me out because he's in the same cult. He's probably in the room right now. I seem to remember Elderbear though, when like before he got dragged into it properly, because I, I he did seem quite yeah. interested, and he used to go out and say, "Yeah, he does, does, he just looks flat to me. I'm not, I can't see any evidence of curve." I remember him speaking like that. Then all of a sudden, he's chirping on exactly, like Bev. Yeah, Bev came in and got him. That's what he does. He comes in and gets uh, him. Been kidnapped, honey. and that's it. And uh, they'll never admit they're in a cult, they'll never admit they've got a leader. But they all repeat word for word exactly what Bev says and thinks. It's sad. <coughs> oh man, they're not worth it, they're not worth the aggravation. Just fucking ban them all, in my opinion. I'm not a mod, just fucking ban them all. They do my editing. I don't know if we can get <coughs> permanent bans out of this channel. I'm not aware. I can only two day ban people. <coughs> How much do you want to go? How much does he want to go on about this disturbing the conversation? No, so the rules, the the rules in this server is you got to do the routine bans, and then after, if someone is a pervasive re repeat offender, then the liaison can permanently ban them. So you can't just you can't just ask out of the blue. You know, hold on, hold on. I, I just thought of like a weasel lawyerly way to get rid of him. If if the Earth can't possibly be flat, and he keeps coming in here and saying, "Well, there's no flat Earth," then isn't that, from his point of view, off topic, and we can just kick him out? Well, you say you could have picked a word. I mean, what what word would you pick if you were going to use? <laughs> they just booed him. They're like, Wait, "Oh shit, the Earth's not flat." But that's off topic. Get out of here. Well, I'd have to say that I actually enjoyed. Um pummeling him into the incoherent oblivion for his position the past three times I engaged with him, but I actually am now at the point where I think I've reached the coup de grace and the penultimate uh, there, I don't think there's any further you can go 
than no, you basically proving... No, I just one more step. You actually have to hire them as quality control. To, to next oh, day. yeah, yeah. So uh, you gotta you gotta DM them and be like, listen, I got a job opening. I'm gonna pay you fifty thousand dollars an hour to uh, quality control um, the flatness of cables that come out of the bandsaw. <laughs> yeah. Do you know uh, you know zero tolerance uh, machining? Dude, dude, like the pile of rejected, right? Everyone that comes out, Wick, rejected, not flat, rejected, not flat. Yeah. You ever seen that movie Fracture? With uh, Anthony Hopkins? He kills his wife and he's sick because she's cheating on him, but he like he's a like master engineer. There's a scene in the movie. Where he said they hired him to like uh, look at eggs to examine them for cracks, and he saw the flaw in like every single egg, and like the the bucket full of like flawed eggs was like completely full, and then he got fired or something for it. So you could just see a flaw in everything. That's like that's like uh, that's what Bev would be doing at your um, flat table factory. Every table would be rejected because it doesn't it, it has a flaw. It's not exactly flat. It's psychopathic. Sorry, I just have to say it. it's it's really is. It, that's why it's hard for me to believe. So my choice is believe this dude's a psychopath or believe that he's just trolling and doesn't actually believe what he's saying. Since we're on the internet and there's more trolls than psychopaths, I hope um, he's probably a troll. I'm leaning towards psychopath. I th I was in that group for since 2021, and I've seen what they're like. And in my opinion, it's like it's something fucked up like that. You know, where uh, I'd only ever seen that kind of person before in documentaries. You know, about cult leaders and stuff. And it's exactly like that. He just gaslights the fuck out of them all. But then he's really nice to him afterwards. Like uh, he's oh, got a little twisted yeah. around his finger. So India, uh, when I was there. So I was just in the chat, I wasn't actually speaking in one of his live episodes, where they were basically doing a critique of a, I think it was a critique of an engagement that me and Bev had, and so, you know, I was just making comments here and there, and they were talking amongst themselves and to me, and man, they started going down the track of accusations, man, and it's like, it's basically, they said, I can't remember if it was you, but it was definitely Quantum Racer and me actually in league with the globe trolls to keep the not flat truth I don't know why he absolutely hates Nathan Oakley goes on about him every single day to the point it's comical and there's a video on uh, Bev's channel and this kind of sums up how he influences people and He's speaking to um, Peter the Globe Troll or whatever the fuck he's called, and he's trying to—he's convincing him to go to go to uh, Nathan Oakley's server and cause havoc and stuff. And Bev's like, "Yeah, yeah, do this," you know, just like proper egg egging him on to go and do all this stuff, like manipulating him basically. And um, and I thought that was a pretty good summary of how he's manipulating the other people in his group to all come here and attack us the same way he does. I don't know if attack's the right word or whatever, whatever, whatever it is they do. They do it as a group.
Oh, I was in here. I didn't hear. Well, I was actually. Well, I was in the chat, but I couldn't talk. And now I caught the very end of. Peter gave some presentation. Or something. I didn't catch what it was about. He said it through the globe or something. Did anybody catch it? All I caught him saying is that they, like there was two conditionals and if they were both true, then... Oh, he was talking about some mountain somewhere that they measured. I don't know how they measured it. I, like, I didn't get the details. Don't tell me it's going to be one of those um, tubes, water level tubes, where the mountain is below the tube. I don't know. I remember them saying Puget Sound. Like I said I caught the very end of it, and he was kind of like recapping it for who the hell was talking about. I think it was MLK or Seven Con, one of those two. 77 Con. How insane do you have to be to be like, Perma banned me. What's up, folks? What's up, my man? What's up, my southern homeboy? Yo, any globetards in here? Or flat gang only? I hear a couple. Okay. Honestly, well, I think it was like just a guy just talking, asking if there was any globetards in here. I like my women like I like my earth. I've that been having trouble with my dad. bowel movements. And uh, <laughs> that was really fucking <laughs> keeping me from shitting Well, you wouldn't toilet. have so much trouble uh, with your bowel movements if you stopped asking people to push in your stool. Oh, man. <laughs> Fuck. And that's how you get muted. That was... That was far-fetched. So, so what's the topic of conversation? Uh, did I interrupt some? No, no, no. We're just like killing, man. We had some crazy person come in here that thinks flat doesn't exist at all, much less the flat Earth. It just doesn't exist anywhere. There's no such thing as flat tables, flat floors. So, you know. Well, it's his argument. Yeah, I'm kind of curious of that as well. Oh, his argument was um. Uh, nah. -uh. <laughs> hey, so his argument is the Earth's not measured flat. Okay, that's um, why I don't exist. I've, I've I've had a conversation with it. I'm not a flat earther in general. I'll throw that out before I start the conversation. Um, well, I've, because I've, like <laughs> his idea of flat is like two dimensional, right? So nothing well, in I want reality. I'll bring up his argument. Yeah, I'll just won't bring up yeah. his argument. Yeah, okay. yeah, I was going to bring up. Sorry, um, I'm a I'm a photographer and a video photographer as well, and I do a lot of sunset videos. And I've personally uh, looked through these videos and hundreds, even thousands of them, and the sun's size never changes. And I've had yeah, a it? hard time how'd finding a good answer it? for that. Well, let me ask you: How'd, you measure, how'd you measure the sun size? Uh, pixels through pixels. Okay. So there is no variation in the pixel count ever. Uh, the, the the pixel count uh, slightly changes and grows as it gets toward sunset. So it's really hard to determine that it gets smaller at any point beyond the horizon, or at least whenever it touches the horizon. But once it touches the horizon, it never changes size ever as yeah. it goes down. It's, that's not true, and you're making up everything you say. I don't know why you came in here to lie. Like, seriously, dude. I can share the videos. I'm really a videographer. I'm, I'm asking a question. What, what yeah. are you talking well, about, because, man? You got really defensive there. No, I'm not defensive. You're lying. Lying about what? Lying about you measuring. I've measured you said pixel you measured. Pi pixel. I'm not yeah. lying a bit. Yeah, okay, so post, post it in the chat then. Uh, which 
proportion. Uh, any, like anything that you've ever done, done any, no, any measurements you've done, any method you've done, the things that you just said that you did, post that shit. Are that. you going to post a video of people observing the sun during the like, like, Listen, you, post yeah. a video, give us the data from the video that you took, right? How many pixels it was. Don't do it now. We want what you already did. I didn't record it, but that's a nice. Well, you didn't write it down. You didn't yeah. take any. Like, how did you measure the pixel? Like, what program did you use? Um, Adobe After Effects. So, what tool in Adobe After Effects did you measure it with? A uh, uh, scale. <laughs> it's literally you a see, yeah. You're busting. You're making shit up because I already know for a fact that the sun does shrink in size, and it's in the scientific literature that it does. And you're making shit up because you heard some other idiot you... anti flat earther say some shit, and you ran in here with it, and then tried to say that you did that when you didn't. See, I'm trying to have a good faith conversation. It don't yeah, sound like then you, you shouldn't are. have lied. Uh, there's no lie involved. Look, 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 I did not record it. If you would like for me to record it and do it here live in front of you, I'd be happy to do so. This, uh, the India, that's because he's talking about a video that people have been posting for the week. So he's saying, I did it. But he observed other people doing it and making yeah, claims so, about it. And he's saying, I did it. So I've, ha I've had Goldberthers send, like, look, here's a, here's a sunset with a solar filter. It doesn't change in angle size. Then when you go and you actually measure the pixels, it does. India, it does. Says, scientific it literature. Does. It does. Yeah, it does. Does it change? And people uh, doing the observation. Listen, dude, okay, dude, okay. Hello, hello. So, so, listen, so does listen, it? Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Morpheus, people doing this observation, the people that you're talking about, they tell you themselves that the sun uh, circumference changes in size. Themselves, they tell you. And you're saying, no, it doesn't. No, I'm saying this from my observation, not anybody else's. Like, what part okay, of you, you see, you at this yourself. point, you, no way, at this point, you all are not acting in good faith. And you're absolutely assuming way too much. I'm not assuming anything, dude. You know it. Oh, you absolutely are, and I do know no, it. No, I'm not, and you know it. What are you saying? I've been you doing this a long time, dude. Clearly, I've been doing this a long clearly time. Clearly, you have. I've been, clearly listen, you have I've been your talking. Foot. Listen, I've been talking. I've talked to a lot of people, and I know when they didn't do something that they said they did, and you're one of those people. You You're never saying did this. that I wouldn't take I'm not saying, I'm not saying you, time. I'm, I'm not saying you couldn't do it. I'm saying you never have done it up until this point. I've done it numerous times. No, you haven't. Numerous no, times. You, you, listen, you just watch a video and you're saying that you... I never watched a fucking video. I can pull up fucking hundreds of my own sunset videos, bud. Yeah, that you never measured. So do you think you live on a globe? Why would I lie and about something that takes three seconds to do? So why would I lie? <laughs> that's, yeah, it happens. At, Listen, why would I lie about something that When someone's defense of their actions is, well, why would I lie? They're lying. Dude, why you're doing would you everything you that a liar does. me at that, bro? You're acting in such un bad faith. Dude. Yeah. Listen, because you lied. I already told you why. You can't <laughs> say that I lied if you don't know I'm saying that I lied. It. <laughs> I do know that you lied. No, you don't know shit, clearly. Yes. Yes, Bro, you, you I, I do. Prove that you've done it, then. Prove to us that you've done it. I can do it here in front of you. Yeah, we don't want you Literally. to do it here in front of us. We, we're, no, we're you, don't want to, you don't want the proof that I can no, show you right No, no, no. I want okay. you to show us okay. that you already did it. What's the difference? Like you said. The difference that you is, in one like case, you you'll be lying. In the other case, it's just I retroactive. It doesn't mean anything. In another case, I'd be proving it right. That's what you're saying. No. In We're talking about me. you. We're talking about you. I can pull up videos right now, dude. Of sunsets with solar filters where the sun changes it changes in angle size. I can pull them up right now me. because retard fucking Glover send them to please me all the time. Me. Oh, me, it to it. No, well, you show us it. your shit first, dude. Show us the measurements you already did. I will. Uh, give me one so second. I'll pull up my uh, After Effects. I'll pull up a sunset video. And I'll no, you already did. Right you no, know, it don't matter what you already did. I'm willing to do it for you. No, I want to think. I, no, I, this is a test to your honesty. What you already did. It don't, no, keep, keep this what you're in the flat earth and not my fucking why you come persona? in here, Lon? This sounds like you're trying to cut This is me. really simple. I don't continue conversations with dishonest people because there's no point. If you lie about no, this, you lie about because if you lie about this, you lie about anything. 
So why so can't you also have no evidence of your claim? No, so it's about you right now. You're on the fucking hot seat. I'm not in a hot seat at all. I'm willing to prove it to you right here, right now. Prove it. Okay, prove it to me. You already did it. Prove it. I don't have to. I, I, you're I can it. prove it to you yeah, Because you're a fucking liar and you know it. I can do I'm it sick now. of your bullshit. You're a fucking liar and you know it. And you know it. And you know it. And you know it. See, notice how you want to veer away from the actual no. conversation and, you and know just it. take it to a personal attack. Yo, can you guys no. try to keep it down? Narrative. I'm trying to oh, you're not acting I, in good faith. No, because you, listen, clown, you tried to set and up this narrative. Now, now you're throwing out ad homes. No, you're a clown. You're not right. acting in good faith at all. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm throwing out ad homes, but like 92 times you said, I'm not acting in good faith. Shut the fuck up. Yo, you're throwing out ad homes. Yo, this shit don't work, bro. Uh, no. Indio, is this, don't work your, is this your room? Clearly, or he wouldn't be yes. acting the way that he is. So, so Indio, <laughs> so Indio. Look, um, I don't need just a base, the peanut gallery, bro. Can I just make, can I just no, make it on? No, you can shut on? the fuck up. Okay, you can shut the fuck up. On to this, back up to you, okay? Dude, you came in here and just tried to act like, so I'm just some innocent, curious guy, and I've, I've taken all these sunsets, and it doesn't change in angle size. And how how do you guys explain it? I'm just curious. Okay. I'm well, did you measure it? Yeah, I here. measured it. Yeah, I measured it. Well, can you show us that you measured it? Well, no, but I can do it now. But I'm not lying. What's the difference? What's the difference? I don't record everything I fucking do on the internet, Bob. Do you? In one situation, you're a fucking no. dishonest snake. In the other situation, uh, it doesn't matter because it's about you being a dishonest snake. There's no point in continuing. See, and I still, I've done it plenty I of times. You know what the result will be. I'm didn't. worried about the result. <laughs> I can't prove you're a dishonest snake. You can't prove you're not. Actually, I can. I can pull up the fucking footage right now and show you. Uh, of you doing it already? No, of me doing it. You can't even tell me how to do it. I can't I tell you, you how to do it. I already did tell you how to do it. I told you how you to fucking scale do it. scale to After Effects. It's pretty fucking simple. Or any other program that's able to measure a fucking pixel. That's not hard right. at all. And there's a couple programs <laughs> like I use. I know it's not hard. Yeah, right? So you can use a tool right. in Urban View. You can use a, a program designed for it. Like, <clears throat> what's it Why don't you just want them to show you the evidence that it's able to be done? There is no difference between whether he did it in the past or he's doing it now. There's yeah, no exactly. Yeah, exactly. Look, they, there's no they difference in the result. Listen, 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 there's no difference in the result of the observation, but there is a difference in the integrity of the person in this room. Wait. Your claims right. of integrity yeah, are based that. on a falsehood from the beginning. So they what know. integrity They're do you not. have? You're yes, not. They are. You're just white you're just knighting making for a bullshit fuck claims. You're white knighting for your boyfriend. Yeah, dude. You're just white knighting for your boyfriend. Okay, no, you're just fucking burgling out right now. It's not my... No, I don't like liars. And I'm sick of you fucking globe tarts coming in here thinking you're going to be you say that in a mirror? Pardon me? I never said that I was a globe tart. <laughs> That's the funny part. I characterize you as that. <laughs> you just assume that. <laughs> you, you, you live are. on a globe, or no? You live on a globe, mate. It's more dishonesty. You, you you act like a globe tour. You talk like a globe tour. I mean, you came in here with your <laughs> your pig. I'm just curious, shit. Look, we've been doing this a long time. We know the I act. We've been we doing been this. each other yeah, off for I a long time. That's crazy. That's crazy. You kiss your dad with that I come, I come, I come in here to have a good faith yeah. conversation. You've been playing in nothing but bad faith, but I haven't gave uh, one yeah, at home yeah. yet. No, so what did Not I do that? One. Not even okay. one. Okay, so first of all, I didn't say it, at Tom. It was an well, insult. You You're a fucking clown. So an ad ad hom, is, an listen, ad yeah, I do know, insult. and I'm going to tell you what it is because I do know what it is. It's when <laughs> you attack a person to prove a proposition, calling you, you a clown. Exactly has what you're nothing, doing. No, because it has nothing to do with the proposition. You're just a fucking clown. Because you just you, you, you ain't show no proof, you. and I'm willing to cam up and show you. So, so who's yeah. acting in bad faith here, and who's the clown? Well, you are. Sounds to me like you're the clown, bud. You, you no. are acting in bad faith. I said so. Yeah. Whoever thinks, whoever thinks the sun is the shape of the earth is a clown. I said so. Okay. You're you acting in bad faith. So it sounds to me like y'all just like flat stuff. Okay. I'm guessing so you're probably. I'm going you know, to post a video that's on my channel that was taken by astronomers. Was taken I'm going to guess that okay. y'all like a lot of flat things. I'm, I'm guessing you are probably, you know, big See, believers. Here we in go. The See, the mask just fell off. Here, the so mask. Are y'all believers the in the mask? Quran? And the mask falls off. Are y'all believers in the Quran? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. True colors. Ma- and the mask just fell off, dude. I'm asking a legit question. Are you into believers the in the Quran? That's off topic. <laughs> it's the question. The topic the is whatever Quran, the fucking question is. Put. The Quran is not the topic. Religion oh is not God the is topic. Good. Can I answer the question? It's the shape of the earth. God, just please, can I answer the question if I believe in the Quran? I, I haven't heard okay, a good fake answer from any of you. Alright, let's read so it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm gonna answer you. I'm gonna answer. I was right about you the whole time. Sorry, the Quran. I was right about you the whole time, and you know it. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, old man. Calm yourself. But anyway, you, did you want my answer or not? I've been waiting for it. Okay, so the Quran is a book. It definitely is a book, and I definitely believe that. There you go. I could imagine seeing that style you don't like flat stuff like Muhammad. <laughs> tried, to, tried to come in here and got busted. I didn't get busted, busted for nothing. Lying. You got fucking you got just smacked down, lying. bud. You couldn't. Nah, you got I busted was trying lying. to show you proof. Even all you with your alarm that. and your line. Hey, I posted, I posted my fucking I, I posted my proof right in the chat. Right, listen, never I posted it the right in the chat. It's right in the chat, dude. This is taking my professional astronomers with professional equipment. Did you, did you measure it? Did yeah, you measure it, cha- it? Yeah, it changed in anger size by 13%. Go look at it. Go watch it. <laughs> I, I, it let me, let me just it's watch your video edit the footage. Not my, it's not my video. It's not my video. <laughs> but it's on YouTube. Give me the NASA oh, link. Oh, it's on YouTube because, yeah. Give me, give me the NASA the medium, link. The, give me the fucking NASA link and I will take the, you seriously. The link is in the description of the original video. Give me the NASA. Give me the link so I don't have to watch your video and give you a view. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! Nah. <laughs> How about you just look at dick? Well, now, now you just want views. No, no, you just, you, you know, just flash your flat earth propaganda bullshit. Oh goddamn! Hey. You were lying the whole time because now your real intentions came out. The intentions I detected when you came in here. Propaganda, you, bud. At this point. You, Propaganda? You haven't it's acted what? in good faith, so therefore propaganda, bud. Oh, no. You didn't act in good faith. You came in here lying and you're exposed, bro. You're exposed what? for fucking sitting here you got exposed, literally boosting bro. propaganda. You, got you couldn't exposed. have a good faith conversation Listen, at how, all. How come I'm talking about real shit and you're sitting here coming here lying? I'm still waiting. And who's doing the propaganda? The link. Where's the link, bro? It's in the description. I'm not helping you. Then you're not answering the fucking question. I'm not clicking on your video and giving your flat earth shit a view, bro. Hey, Dude, my, channel's not, listen, my channel's not monetized. Yeah, if, I keep cli- if, if you keep getting people to click on it, you'll be able to monetize it. And I'm going to make sure that, that I ain't going to be I can monetize it. I can monetize it. I don't. <laughs> listen, mate, stop talking shit. Where's your globe proof? There's all kinds. Where's your globe it's proof? It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah. Where? I'll Where? tell you what. I'll tell you what. Where? Let's let's take the first gentleman's conversation that you all said where nothing's flat. Okay. So show me something flat. Tell me tell me something that you're looking at that is flat right now. Oh, you show us the fucking globe. My table. I'm asking you a question. Your table is not flat. It is made of atoms and it has a 3D width. Okay, it's got width, length, and height. Please Where's tell me how that's there? flat. But it's it, okay. not flat. Okay. Flat is two dimensional, son. Okay. Yeah. Fucking. Okay, is anything flat in nature? Anything? Nothing. Okay. It can't be. Please is explain to me how it is could. Anything, as is everything anything is created is, from atoms, which are not flat. Yeah, great. Thanks, Captain Obvious. So, is anything approximately flat? When can, it just for normal Oh, now it's got to be approximately. No, so no, so I'm, no, I'm trying to nail you down. To, no, flat. no, I'm trying to nail you down to a... I'm Good trying to know you down a position flat. because, because, <laughs> human beings, because human beings communicate with words and we try to communicate yeah, like the thoughts. The earth is yeah, yeah. If, if you keep talking over me, maybe you'll be right, but you won't be. Okay? Dude, like, you literally just said it yourself. You said that it's approximately no, flat, no, not flat. I asked, no, I didn't. I asked a question. Unplug your fucking ears. Okay, so if I'm, I'm, I'm trying to differentiate if, if between on, flat and approximately flat, flat and whether it's good enough for flat for practical purposes. So let, let me ask a question. When, 
hey, hey crackhead, if, if um if your um if your <laughs> mom animal. asked you if, if your mom no, just a description of reality. Um, if your mom asked you, is the floor flat? Would you be like, no, nah, mom, nothing's perfectly flat. This is the floor flat. Of course I would. Yeah, so, so here, let me ask, okay, let me ask no, a better no, question. No, you know, you're toast. Let me you're ask done. a better question. No, if you're on you're top of here. Mount Everest and you have binoculars that are infrared, okay, infrared binoculars that can see through the fucking clouds and all the shit, if you're standing That'd on Mount possible. Everest, infrared would you be able to see a nuclear bomb in South America? What's the no. radius of the Earth, mate? What's no, you could not because Earth? it's not flat. Thank you. Hello. What's the no, radius of the Earth? No, because the angular size of the Earth is what I thought. Two, no, retard. Uh -huh. uh, the What's the radius? Size, I thought, hold on, hold on. One deck. I thought you worked with cameras. Oh, he ran away. Uh, what, what a girl. Well spotted, though, mate. Nice one. Dude, I, I've been doing this too long. I know when they're lying, man. Right off the rip. I know when they're full of shit. All right, let's get him all in yesterday. Let's measure, gravity. let's measure gravity based on the mass of the Earth. If the Earth were uh, only a thousand meters in diameter, what would the 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 new force of gravity be for? Uh, how does that work? What's the acceleration from? Uh... You don't live on a globe, mate. What are you talking Is this about? recording? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, Polly Nimbus. Hold on, can you just hold hold that thought? You're really low. Listen, your volume is low. Your volume is low. Your volume is low. What is a fucking peak velocity thing called? Okay, I'm just I'm just muting him. He's playing a recording. Anyway, um, so want to know what gave it away one deck? When he said I'm a photographer and video photographer. Yeah. The proper term is videographer. Ah, right. Okay. <laughs> I knew right away he was full of shit. <laughs> what the fuck is a video photographer? <laughs> Are you I'm photograph video? video? Like, what the hell is that? Like, you just, like, put tape in the VCR and take snapshots of your yeah. TV? Oh, no, no, he, he watched videos and take, he takes pictures of the videos. Don't measure the earth, though, dear. I think Polly Nemesis is still playing his recording. Still playing your recording, David? Polly Pocket. You know how I came in here and I was complaining about like there's no I can't like clip audio here because the peep the Culbers they're just sad sacks of shit and no one would believe these are actually people. To hear again, dude. It's like over and over again. So I mean he's obviously pretending to be well, he came in lying, obviously, but that was his that to him was his proof that uh, the earth is spherical, that the apparent size of the sun doesn't appear to change. That was his proof, was it? Yeah, that was, but that's what he thought would be like proof the earth is not flat. I mean, they, they, they always go up to the sky, don't they, with things, but they have been using that one uh, the last few days. I've heard them coming in. They, they're on this one now, you know, not eclipses or. Um, yeah, it goes through cycles, man. Like, they, yeah. like there's some global echo chamber somewhere. So, like, at least as long as I've been doing this, the way it usually works is. They'll start, they'll be like one thing, they'd be over and over again for like a week or two, maybe 10 days. And yeah. we'll smash on it. And then they come back with some other new thing that we've already debunked, right? This is this topic's been going on a while. Like all these things have been like debunked a million times. So, you know, here we go again. You know, oh shit, here we go again. But the angular size of the sun, I, I, I just like... I, I just can't believe like we're still doing that shit. Like, how many times have you heard it this week? One day. Well, yesterday was definitely someone chirping on about it. I, I, two or three times this week, when I've just been jumping in and out a little bit. Hey, Indio, I remember you doing this man for like a couple of years now. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Rinse and repeat. I mean, every boy needs a hobby, right? Yep. Yeah, but it's really crazy how how people come here and like always claim like this like fake new ignorant someone who doesn't know anything, and suddenly you start seeing those like all those arguments from the anti flat earth right as if they really researched it and they they think they can debunk it and they come with the soft way saying yeah i don't know anything can you teach me and then they sneak in and start attacking you know oh we had a guy in the other discord he was from he said he was from siberia and he could barely he claimed he could barely speak english I'm no. not, sorry, and, and like within five hold on with it like within five minutes of, of like him trying to talk to us he was like trying to show us some computer model he made the more we push back, the better his English got. And then the more yeah. that like mask of, I don't know anything about this topic at all, starts falling off. And then now within, at, at the 30 minute point, he's speaking like fluent, like not fluent English. He's still got the Russian accent, but like he spoke English fine the entire time. And he knew all the arguments completely the entire time. He just tried to come in. It's called sandbagging. So you could do it in cards and stuff like you play spades. Like you, you pretend that your hand is like you have a really crappy hand, but you got a, but you know, you got like, you know, a good hand. So that's what he's doing. He tries to come in saying, oh, I don't know anything. Oh, I barely speak English. Take it easy on me. And then like within 30 minutes, like the mask is falling off and like their true self has come out. And it's, Yo, it's pretty crazy. I, I, I noticed this. I noticed that ages ago. Uh, and they, they put, they lot, I, I listened to them. They've all got the same. There's a lot that put the same accent on. Like, oh, you know, and we had, they, they put this accent. And I think that's not your accent you're putting. I can tell it straight away, like you can. And I don't, yeah, I've noticed that a lot. They all sound the bloody same. Put this stupid accent on to make them sound, I don't know what they're trying to do. Make themselves sound a bit stupid, maybe. I don't know, not that. Not that it's stupid having an accent, but I don't know why they do it. Yeah, I mean, don't ask me. I, I don't. I can speculate well, listen, on, like, some Asian ask, shit, but I don't know. Well, I mean, as you spoke a bit before, you was looking through uh, the archives. Now, between mis myself being on some platforms the last few years and being on FED and in here, uh, and listening to, you know, not Professor Dave and... Simon Dan. I mean, who would have you ever been in or listened to or been involved with a conversation with somebody on this topic who you'd regard as a, a true professional who should know? You know, I mean, who would we? I mean, you can say Neil deGrasse Tyson. Why don't we, we have a chat with him? Somebody not in this, you know, who would we want to be talking to on this matter, really, if we could? Not that it would make any difference. I don't know, but... man. I mean, I don't no. know if you remember the guy, Southern Israelite, from back in the day. But he, he's not around anymore. He quit the thing. I mean, he smashed a whole bunch of Glovers in his brief reign. But he had, like, a degree in philosophy, so he could argue really well. And a lot of stuff he talked about, like, the he used to say, like, if there's anybody that's going to reveal the globe to everyone... It isn't going to be these people, right? Meaning the Simon Dance, the, you know, Sly Spark Haynes, all of these clown clovers on YouTube and Fight the Flat Earth. It isn't going to be these guys because these guys are dumbasses. So who, who, in, who in the world, in, 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 in some sort of authority or profession, would be the person who should be able to lay it down on the table that the Earth is definitely spherical? Who would it be? Very good question, man. I'm actually going to think about that now that you brought it up. I'm going to think about that long and hard. Who would be the guy? Witsit has been trying to, like, talk to, like, he doesn't even want to talk to, like, the people he debates. He wants to talk to, like, people with, you know, degrees in stuff and, like, you know, degrees in astronomy, astrophysics, whatever, and, um, even when he debates them, that the result is no different. Yeah. So it's like who 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 is who's the guy, right? We'd probably have to find somebody that's in like um geo geomatics, right? That does like some sort of like um 
which well, are like geographic somebody... information services or it, something like that. It ain't yeah, going to be an it, astronomer or anything. It's somebody who's into measuring the land, isn't it, on a big scale? Yeah, probably. yeah. So it would be someone that does has probably like a um, cross degree in like um, some sort of astronomy and and uh, you know cartography earth-based sciences you know what i mean but not earth-based as in like you know geology like what kind of rocks there are earth-based as in like measuring the dimensions of stuff they call it geomatics that you can take it in university saying that i mean we, we all understand about the you know the elevation angle and celestial navigation and how that's working but then you know, you can, we've all done it. You can go on YouTube and I can't remember the guy's name now. He's there with a whiteboard. He, he does this. He's a navigator and he's drawing the globe and he's bringing that light in down to the center of the earth, the globe, and saying, this is what you do when you're on the boat. And <laughs> I'm thinking, if you really do this, but then you're drawing that as, and you think that's what you're actually doing when you're doing it, then there's no hope. If you're taking a fucking angle and measuring two points on the ocean as the radius, uh, you know, across the sea level, but then you're describing it to somebody that you're doing it on a ball, and this is your Look, what, what, the people of, that do that, like on YouTube, they're doing it conceptually. So you got to watch guys that actually show you how to do it in practice, <clears> right? <throat> how to plot, how to chart a line, right? So th it's not. Yes, they conceptually it's based upon like uh well really celestial sphere, not really a globe. But like you draw like rum lines and you have like headings versus like you have your heading but then you also have your course, so the direction you're pointed isn't even the direction you're moving, so like because of ocean currents, right? So like as a practical matter <laughs> these conceptualizations they don't exist like in the physical world. They just exist like in your head on a bo on a whiteboard. Well, this is what probably most people we were asking for who's the person, and you can, you know, not that anyone in government or anything like that, but you know, you, you'd think like, you know, that everybody just presumes that you live on a globe, don't they? I mean, this we all know this. I'm not saying anything we don't already know, but. I suppose there's going to be nobody, really, who's that matters that can. Why doesn't somebody who could do something about this just realise it and um, let's fucking sort this shit out? You don't I look at it like this, right? So you got the astronomers and all the celestial navigation and that component. But then, on the other side, you have, like, the geodetic surveying, oh, boy, the ellipsoid, all that stuff. And there's a separation between those two because if you're good at astronomy, right, they use, like, their terminology is even different. Like, they use, like, terms like right ascension and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, like, in, 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 in uh, so, we, like, if you want to like solar time, right? You use azimuth and elevation angle. But then you look in astronomy, they use like right ascension and declination. And then you look at like surveying and they use like zenith angles. So like their terminology is even different. They don't even like cross terminology across the fields. But they're also supposed to be measuring supposedly the same thing. Right? So when you go from the sky, like the astro navig the, the astronomy, astro geodetic, whatever you call it. And then you go from there to the ground, and then you start like trying to match the ground measurements to the sky measurements. They don't match up, and then they geodetic surveying. They end up curbing the plumb line and doing deflection of the vertical and all these weird things, right? Because the celestial sphere doesn't match the ground. You need somebody that is the person, like you said. Who's the person we can talk to? That knows. It'll be the person that. They know a lot about both, right? That they they're actually straddling the fields of like astronomy and geodetics at the same time. Like they know a lot of both, and they know how they one is transferred into the other, right? So 
how are the ground measurements transformed into the sky measurements and vice versa and how are they connected to each other right it'll be someone that's an expert in that if that person exists which we don't really uh, know that and you have have you seen those like uh i don't remember if they were like uh surveying engineers or so, some kind of engineers from brazil i think they have done like uh, also laser experiments and stuff and they also oh, yeah. agreed with the flat earth that was amazing as well yeah the lake titicaca and they yeah. did a bunch of they measured some buildings and did some laser tests yeah they, yep. they yeah also they tried to make it official of officially like uh i don't i don't remember which like department in the brazilian government they went to or maybe argentinian i'm, I'm not uh, i'm not sure but they tried to go the official way and to bring the government on it do you think though i mean i'm not just saying this i'm not saying i'm not trying to tar us all with a brush or anything like that so i mean i just call myself a working class person um and these different levels of people, and they like you know working class, middle class, upper class. You tend to think that this that argument is more associated with a typical class of people. I mean, because I mean, do you think anybody in the I don't know anybody sort of in the upper class sort of what you wherever you, that is, of course, it would be. I've not spoke to anybody on that level or any idea if they it even bother them or they'd want to talk about it. And realize that the the lie that they've been told, or do you think it's just are we all in this sort of thing on the on the same sort of level? If you understand, I don't know. What I'm trying to say really. I mean, but... if that's your field, I mean, you'd be taking like you're risking your career by be like, yeah, I do geodetic surveying, and now I'm gonna like test to see if the Earth is flat. You're, you know, you might like lose your job. Yeah, but I mean, so. We say this, don't we? So somebody who's got that knowledge, who's come to the conclusion and realised, who's in a profession like you've just said, said, you know what? The globe, the Earth cannot be a globe. It cannot be. Yeah? I'm going to... Now, you just said he would lose... So so then, he, he will lose his job, he'll be... Pound. Who's doing that then? Who was? Who's going to punish him? What person... That he wouldn't be able to explain this to has got the authority to say, well, no, you can't say that. Or even though you've got the evidence to show us, uh, you can no longer do this job. Well, I mean, you I don't, don't know who's the top of the field in geomatics. I'm not just not, I just don't know. I haven't ever tried to find out, like, who's the, like, you know, so we have like physicists, right? Particle physicists. So you got people that are considered the top of their field. And like chemists, they're considered top of their field. But then, like, there's got to be someone in the field of geomatics, which is, like I said, it's a university degree that you can go get. Um, so there's got to be people in the top of that field, right? Now, usually those people, they teach courses, right? They're PhDs. They teach courses. That guy suddenly started going, the earth's not a globe, the earth is flat, and they start teaching that at university. They're going to get booted. They'd be like, you're not teaching our kids. They, they might just, like, if they can't, if you got tenure, they might just be like, well just pay you to leave so, you know what i mean just get the hell out of here i know and i do sound i'm sorry if i sound a little bit stupid here but um who i mean so who who do you go to then to explain that the earth's not a globe to get it changed who do you go to to say this isn't correct now it needs to be altered and <laughs> we need to let everybody know no, it, it, they can't is actually. It the, is it the president? Can't. You know, who is it? How how can you do such thing when you when the, you when the government allegedly landed on the moon and other governments in the world land on the moon and they have so many satellites in the in around the so called globe Earth, right? And Voyager one, and suddenly all of that is not true. What can you come with an explanation for the people? Like, uh, what yeah, type? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not sounding like a globe like a, a globe Earth saying, "Well, I." Why would they all lie? I'm not sick. You know what I mean? I'm a fucking flat earther. I know all that shit. But I, I, there must be some of these people who, like you say, you know, they're involved with the moon landing. Do they actually, actually, really? Do, do, some of them must really think that they've been to the moon. They must do. They, they must actually believe it. So. 
Yeah, basically everyone everyone in NASA knows they went to the moon except those astronauts, you know, they know they did not. Sometimes I think this is a fucking game, this uh, this life on Earth and you know, this is part of the uh, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to crack it and um to pass it. We've sort of cracked it, haven't we? Move on to the next level. Next level. Lol. One of the uh, topics, actually, that serves the Flat Earth very well in opening people's eye, uh, eyes and uh, like, like, like giving them a, a moment or like uh, uh, which like forces them to stop for a moment to think about everything again is the uh, uh, no trees on Flat Earth. So when you bring those like huge tree trumps, you know, like from like very old days, which like insanely look like old trees, you know, and then you start talking to people about like, hey, you see this? Yeah, the earth is much, much bigger than what, what they told us it is. And when you bring those pictures about those trees, like the Devil's Tower and that documentary about uh, that is called No Trees on Flat Earth and all those like pictures and analysis and like evidence about like, yeah, look at those. Uh, yeah, it can't happen on a globe Earth, and what they are told, to like what what they are telling us about the globe Earth is isn't true at all. Uh, this is like just linking something from reality to the idea of flat Earth about the immense size of it. So I I did use it multiple of times with new people to flat Earth, and it, it shocked them, you know, like because. Not a lot of people know about that. Not a lot of people like actually uh, ever dared to think about what if you know like there is an alternative reality, and even if if you like guide him guide them this way, what kind of truth do you like like show them right? But when you bring this like huge tree trumps, like from like very we don't know how many thousands of years ago, and how it's perfectly cut and all this like amazing stuff. Uh, and the uh, Grand Canyon, you know, Grand Canyon, and something about like not not really old days, but like not millions of years, but like a couple of thousands of, of years. We don't know how how long that is. And you bring those like huge uh, old trees that looks like mountains, like the Devil's Tower. It will stop them for sure and start like like uh, forcing them to think about. Uh, yeah, but it just, it just, it just takes that something, doesn't it? That um, that you think, well, good, I've not thought. Mine was, um, mine started with pyramids. Just looking at pyramids, thinking about pyramids and started researching a little bit about that and thinking, and then, because um, I, I just believed what I was taught at school about the pyramids, that, you know, it was the, the slaves were just hoisting them big, Blabs of stone up with bloody ropes and metal bars and chiseling things out. But when you get to, you know, when you understand the the engineering of them pyramids and everything else about them, and you know, they'll tell you that we're not, we can't even do that today. I, I, I question, well, why was I told something different at school? I mean, yeah, I agree with you. It, I've, always it doesn't... I've always questioned things, but that was the that was the point where on the inroad to like, and then getting into questioning other things and uh, and finding out there's quite a lot of lies knocking about, but, you know, that we've not been told the right story. And then boom, there come Flat Earth. Yeah, but it doesn't sorry, serve sorry, the ben, Flat Earth. Sorry, they're not flat. No worries, but it doesn't really directly serve, I agree with you, on the pyramids. It, it just proves that the history they taught us in school yeah. isn't correct. But like, does does it really uh, directly connect to the flat Earth? It doesn't necessarily. But when you bring the flat, like the no trees on flat Earth, those like mountains that look 
perfectly like trees like we have examples of in a much much smaller size nowadays it just like it chokes everyone like it it may like forces them to uh, to pause for a moment and like uh, like uh, admire the the similarities and you know uh, or the or the possibilities of that actually being true you know and they are actually looking on a real image of it in front of their eyes and not only that they can go to the us to to visit the devil's tower they they can go to venezuela to to visit those like uh I don't know that the like those like uh, hills or mountains like also look insanely like trees so they can actually go to those places and like uh analyze them for themselves yeah but india yeah let's say we agree that yeah earth is flat w what's next like if people knew Earth is flat, what what would it change, or or what change would you seek out of it? Because I I, I know you for like uh, at least like five or more years now, and you are very passionate, very highly educated about it. Uh, one of the best debaters about flat Earth I, I I I ever heard about like flat Earth and other like topics. So what's like Maybe it's a personal question. What's your purpose of it? Just like uh, mere education, educating people or something else? It's, it's hiding something, isn't it? It's, it's, it's a distraction, isn't it? They're hiding it. For, this is what I say to the Globers. They'll say, well, why would they lie about it? What, what's the point? Well, once you realise that we, we don't live on a globe because there's no evidence whatsoever, and the Earth is measured flat, um, then it's not a question of, well, why would they lie? They are lying. There's a big lie. So what? what is the lie for? That's what I tell the Globus. Ask, there's the evidence. You don't live on a globe. Yes, why are they lying then? That's the big question. There must be something magnificent that they're hiding. And it's to do with the earth and where we live, the creation. Yeah, I agree with you. They are like basically hiding the creator, the creation, uh, uh, for the benefit of like all this like nonsensical theories, you know, like baseless theories uh, about like uh, evolution, you know, uh, globe earth, uh, big bang, you know, all this nonsense. I mean, you. I mean, I'm just going to spe speculation, but you know, the human being in its truest, hundred um, percent magnificence. No, no, you know, might be a true like, like how you imagine maybe a, an angel, say, or somebody with who can, you know, but how we are at the moment, so dumbed down and brainwashed and. We don't even realize the full human potential. But if our bodies and minds and spirituality was a hundred percent, what is the human being capable of? And that's what might be taken away from us. Yeah, uh, you, you remind me of like uh, some like uh, documentaries uh, I watched like long years ago about. Uh, telepathy and how they they said like humans have ability to actually mentally con like uh, uh telepathically connect in between in between each other and something maybe humans have lost but we still have like some evidence of it you think about a friend uh and like moments later you you find your phone ringing and that friend is actually calling you just like a moment after you thought of him or her, you know, it's a, it's crazy. Or so maybe you high level. Imagine that on a high level. level if you could sort of zip around and, you know, in a spiritual way, get to another place or dimension, or walk on water, or hover. You know, maybe the human being at one point was that way. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know one of the like best proofs about it, like 
go study whatever you want in 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 the best universities out there right if you don't practice it if you don't use it if you don't keep on like educating yourself about it you will lose it in a couple of years as if you have never studied it at all now how about like other things which like that are insanely crazy which is maybe part of our like uh, part of our abilities as humans like for example telepathy right uh, if you have never used it, never trained to 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 like uh, have a hold on it and know how to actually use it, you it would it would be like as you you can't do it at all. And now think about like other abilities. Uh, yeah, same things. But back to the point is, um, you know, once you've got people convinced that there's just a speck of dust uh, floating around a vacuum of space on a ball which was created by mistake and you know once you you know that's it once you're gone you're gone there's nothing else well you know yeah that's that's the way you once you've got that um everybody convinced of that then you, you, you're you not going to grow um, your consciousness isn't going to grow and your spirituality isn't going to grow um so you're never going to get to the uh, the level which maybe the creator created is as, and that's part of the uh, the globe perception, the globe lie. I've just got to uh, just got to go on mute for a minute. Yeah. Where the Globers at? Oh, Globies. Globies, yeah. Globies, Globies. I have questions to Globers. Why would you, why would you always like be ignorant and like, and defend the Globe Earth as if someone is telling you your father is not your father? It's not like that. Like, just like think about it and study it and observe it. And you will see why we are like that, why we are talking about Flat Earth. Some people here come, uh, Globe Earthers come in here saying, like, how dare you, like, call my, my mother a prostitute? We are not doing, like, it's not like that, man. It's about education, yeah. about research. It's funny because that's how I've been describing it. That's how they behave. Like, they've ju you've just found out that your parents, who you thought you were parents, your blood parents, are not really your parents. Yeah. I always that's use this e same example, man, with everyone, like, why, why are you doing it like that, man? It's not an attack against you. It's an attack against like the falseness and the lies they they like taught us in schools and in the media and like everywhere related. So one one day for how for how many years uh, or when did you discover that it's a f it's flat? What about um, about five years ago, probably. Nice, nice. And back about the like uh, back to the like experts on on the subject like who can actually have a like uh, insane like uh, insane like uh, basically uh, evidence or like uh, witness. Mark Sargent used to like uh, 
invite or or interview those like uh, like uh, people who are in the military or like in uh, ATC air traffic control or radar or uh, just I'm wondering like were those people fake like I, I don't remember hearing like some of them or uh, especially like those like insane people in the military for obvious reasons of course they have like agreements they cannot violate in the military uh, but like uh, I think Mark Sargent, Mark Sargent was doing something similar to that mm. yeah it's trying to branch out isn't it to the other well who, like i was saying to indio who is it who do we who do we go to with this who would you go to you know other than this sort of arena and that's, that's what i was saying are we all sort of coming from the same sort of background and uh working class um or whatever we i'm a working class guy I've not really spoke to any upper class people about this. Are they interested? You know. Well, it... Also, there is there was a uh, like a female pilot who was actually kicked out of her job. Who who was a, a member of the like flatter server? Uh, India know, knows it, and like many many other like uh, flat earthers in here uh, know know her. She's from the Netherlands, uh, if I remember correctly, or maybe from Canada. So. Yeah, she like she discovered it and she was kicked out of her job because of it. When she started talking uh, about it to other uh, like uh, pilots' colleagues. So yeah, definitely, if you know the truth and you start spreading it, it if if you are not like uh, or if you are financially dependent on your job, you will like uh, it will scare you not to talk about it and. Uh, yeah, people will, will keep like their silence about it. But if they are like, let's say, rich or they they care about the truth more than anything else, they will speak about it and uh, yeah, start like uh, teaching people about the truth. Well, I had an interesting experience where I can kind of touch on that. And this was uh, two days ago, right? Like, without doxing myself, I work for a casino. And this guy's playing roulette and he's winning. And he's going, right, I'm going to Hawaii now. And then the he keeps winning and the place he describes keeps getting better and better where he's going to go on holiday. Eventually he goes, I'm going to go to the moon. And then he shouts out, I don't believe in that. I'm a flat earther at the roulette table. Right? And the guy next to him goes, complete stranger goes, I'm a flat earther too, but I don't tell anybody. Fist bumps him. Yes. And I'm there, and I'm at work, and I, I'm silent, but I'm like, it, I want to say, but obviously I don't, because I'm, I'm employed. I'm in employment. But it was interesting to see out in public that there's so many out there that I think aren't telling people. Yeah. There's so many that have come in, like, I think a lot of us probably came in in 2015, 2016, maybe 2014. But it's like a whole wave of people that have come in since 2020. Since, since the C word happened and they've started looking into truth and stuff. That is like a lot that have come in since 2020. It's hard though, isn't it? It's like, you know, I mean, I'm not saying everybody's... It, it, when you're walking around with something that you are keeping to yourself, say, you know, just in normal life, it's it can be a bit of a strain, can't it? You know, you, you want to, you, you know, you can't really speak, you know, just, I don't know what it might be, something about your member of a family or a job situation, something that you don't really, you're keeping it too close to your chest and you, you feel like, it's a heavy burden, isn't it? And uh, so that's probably how a lot of people Ah, because everybody deals with this differently, don't they? When 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 they find out, some people are just like, "Yes, that it's flat." That uh, yeah, some people are like, "I was like that initially," but I've been on a roller coaster journey, you know, um, since I've discovered the truth. It's not necessarily been an easy an easy journey for me, personally. Imagine, imagine you're in a situation where everyone at your work now knows, and all of a sudden your manager gets this Agent Smith syndrome and just turns into one of these globe earth psychos 
No, your your working day is just going to be so shit. Not only is he going to not trust you to do anything because he thinks you're an idiot, he's also going to be on your on your case about everything. He's going to be bringing it up every day. He's going to be bringing it up in public situations every day. As soon as you're in, in front of a group of people, he's going to bring it up to try and shame you or whatever. Like, If you end up working with one of these globe earth psychos, as I call them, you, you could have a shit life at work, aren't you? So you just don't bring it but, up. I mean, I, I, there's, I've got people, I, don't know, I call them friends. There's friends of friends, you know, groups of people I know when I'm out and about and in different areas, you know, I bump into people and they know, a lot of them know I'm a flat earther, but I know for a fact some of them, when I'm in the company, there's a, there's a vibe, so I can pick you up. Know, it might, it won't get brought up in conversation, but I know that I've just got one particular person in mind and the, I, I know what, what how they feel about it and they, they, they probably look at me and think, you fucking idiot, flat earther. What is up with you? They'll be looking down at me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so I, I know this. You know, I get that. Well, like before I, you arrive in a social situation, they're going to say, "Here's such and such." Oh he's yeah. A flat, he's a flat earther. Yeah. <laughs> went, before you sit bar- down or whatever. Yeah, I went to a barbecue once a couple of years ago, and uh, my friend's mum. Uh, um, she she got just that I was a flat earth. Anyway, we walked in to the uh, it was like a party, a house party in the garden. People drinking a few beers, barbecue on. And I walked into the garden. There's a lot of people there. I know, hey, how are you doing? And letting on to everyone. And then the, his mum turned round. We get on with quite well, but she'd had a few beers. Oh, here's Lee. They want the flat earther. He believes the earth is flat. And everyone just sort of looked. At, I, thought, I, thought, I just said to her, I said. You don't want to start bringing this up right now. <laughs> it won't end well. <laughs> I have to shut her up because I've I've been in them situations before where I've nearly ended up in fights in in bars with grown men. I think the best uh, if you don't want to get drawn into this this argument in real life, like you've seen how heated it can be, is just say yes. Yeah, so what? What's your problem? And then now the onus is on. Now it's their fault. Now they're the guilty ones. They're the one with the problem, not you. And if they continue now publicly, now it's definitely their fault because they're demonstrating that they do have a problem. You know, I I always uh, like to politely uh, teach a teach a lesson to uh, those like uh, ignorant people who like uh, have. Who mock others, like especially flat earthers, uh, I they usually like have that like mocking smile or mocking laugh, you know. Uh, it depends on on the place and the person, but like it happened to me like face to face, and he's like smiling. Do you really think Earth is flat? Like, are you blah blah blah? You know all this like crazy stuff they say. I said like, wait. So how have you researched it? So I have been like X years like researching it, and you haven't done your homework and now you are laughing at me because like i have done research where you have not do you understand what what you are doing now do you understand your position out of ignorance laughing at me do you understand that i just like try and they usually it depends on the ber- person but usually they, it just like wakes them up oh wait a minute actually i don't know about it and they they start to go the the route about the the what about you know oh what about that what about this i mean i'm not yeah. I, I don't within my everyday life and family and friends life i don't i will talk about it with some people uh, but i don't uh, when i first got into it i was trying to drum it down everyone's face you know what i mean i thought i was like a chosen person to, to spread the word of flat earth but i i don't really talk about it now but i haven't got a problem if somebody brings it up now if i'm in the mood i well i'll just go through the i'll go through the uh, I'll go through it like I'm debating a globe, and just you know, give say well, you know. Yeah, so, I will. I will also say like, uh, uh, so if I if I talk if I talk to you about flat Earth, are you are you like a truth seeker? Will you change your mind if they say no? Okay, when I, I have no time for you, man. Uh, and uh, what's the other thing? Uh, something 
also related to that. Uh, let me remember. Go ahead. Well, I think the landscape's changing. It's not like it was pre-2020 where it was like almost nobody. Now it's like if you're in a room full of people, chances are there's going to be a couple that if they're not already flat earthers, they're on the fence. I've, I've genuinely started yeah. questioning things. I agree. I fully agree. Uh, it, it, like nowadays, it doesn't, ha it doesn't need a lot of courage to actually talk about flat earth in public. Where, as you said, like pre like uh, 2010, oh man, oh man, if you talk about it, like because like people barely talking about it, like on YouTube and uh, what have you, other places. Uh, uh, when you talk about it, you have no support. For example, myself, like I have, even though I have been like like researching and, and like learning about flat Earth, and I discovered the truth about like 13, 14 years ago. But I was very like malleable at the time and very soft and very ignorant about like many topics. But like being with the flat earthers and like especially in, in on Discord, like the flat earth 24-7, uh, I have like met a lot of people like who are insanely educated and they have like uh, backgrounds uh, that serves the, and expertise that serves actually uh the 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 truth seek you know uh, or the truth quest about like the flat earth and they have the, all the debates they had with other globe earthers it just like make makes you st like uh, uh stronger and stronger and educate you about the topics and uh, i remember the the time where uh we had like no good arguments like when it comes to debating flat earth d debating globe earth sorry and it, it usually jumps to space, you know, and it, 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 it changes from like f de de debating the flat earth into debating whether space is real or whether NASA is real or, or those, those like stuff. But, and, and suddenly we, we started like organizing and agreeing about like methods that was like about five years ago or, or more uh, about like, Hey, it's like the, the shape of the earth first and the, the uh, like uh, uh, movement of the Earth, the atmosphere, you know, the and the violation of the like uh, uh, what is called uh, thermodynamics laws and what have you. Uh, it, it just I I witnessed the the development of the like uh, methodology in debating globe Earth, which was amazing. So before that, like before like five six years ago, I do, like. I never heard people talking about it like this way. So yeah, I learned a lot like from from uh, flat earthers. Which for example, if I talk now in public and people like really shame me really hard or put me to shame, you know, it doesn't really get under my skin because I know there is others like online who I I have met and who I I know for years now who are actually highly educated, highly intelligent. And uh, yeah, I have a back, you know, even though they are not uh, uh, available at the moment, like it, with me at the time, but like, yeah, it just like gives you that like comfort uh, innately, you know. So these uh, these GF sixes, what's all that about? Mr. GF six.
any globe earthers in here guys come come on like speak something you know you should you shouldn't be ashamed right you should be putting us to shame right because like we are the flat earthers right not you so like any of you really interested in knowing the truth debating talking about it go ahead guys don't be shy The anti flat earthers, not globers. Yeah, that as well. They make their own stories up. What's the difference? Anti flat earthers are probably flat earthers. Yeah, anti flat earthers are people who are uh, like, uh, I think certainly they know the truth, but they are like, they are financially uh, benefit, like benefiting from like fighting and arguing against the flat earth. And uh, yeah, so they, you, you, you find them like spitting all those like nonsensical arguments and lying and, you know, going in circles just like to distract people uh, where, where globe earthers are those like uh we used to be globe earthers before like educated in school and what have you about yeah it's space globe solar system all this like st stupid yeah. stuff now no we we are like educated about the truth so globe earthers people who are uh who have no motive to actually debunk or uh just like uh, argue against the flat earth so hopefully like normal people who are just interested to know the truth or maybe acceptable to the truth accepting to the truth sorry okay so globe earthers are just people who go to the educational system and anti-flat earthers are people who like fight the flat flat earth yeah so uh which one of them are you yeah yeah so, just, so an anti-flat an anti, an anti earther would say something to you like nobody's ever claimed the horizon's earth curve when yeah, that yeah. is the actual that is the actual globe claim on the table. So there's a distance yeah. there's a distance to that horizon at a given height. That's the leaning edge of the sphere. That's that's in the Earth curve calculator. It'll tell you the distance to the horizon. That's the one the boats are falling over because of the curvature. Well, and anti flat say... earth will say no one nobody's ever claimed that. They, 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 they change they make their own rules up. They're not they're not really speaking the globe. Uh, rhetoric they're speaking anti flat earth rhetoric they'll also say things like nothing can be ever truly known which is also the yeah. foundation of that kind of worldview right or perspective mm. yeah only 99.999 percent yeah, yeah but that is that is a stupid argument because like if if they if allegedly they believe they have or humanity have launched you know like satellites in, in space and they have like uh like taken pictures or images like from space right what how how aren't we certain about the shape of the earth right after all they'll say there's a degree of certainty but it's not a hundred percent. So you are a flat earther, year, right? Probably, yeah. I guess. Good. I don't really pick a side. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of listening in. I like to listen to the discussions. Okay, that's good but you'll you'll uh, pick up lots here mate there's some really good guys in here and uh, you know the stuff we've been doing it a long time well i think when you actually real when you actually sort of like me when i when i when flat earth hit me i remember the moment it hit me i just thought to myself it, it, it is the, the earth is definitely fucking flat I had no, I had no, I didn't know any of these arguments. I didn't know there was arguments going on. But I've always sort of been in, you know, I've always loved the Earth and 
I've always, <laughs> I don't like saying this because it's <laughs> this is that they use this to prove the globe, but you know, I've. I've always looked at the stars, the sun and the moon. I've always been um, so sort of really intrigued with that. But you, it's obvious that they're moving overhead from our stance point. You know, it's obvious that we're living on a, a flat stationary plane and the luminaries are moving overhead. It's just so goddamn in your face obvious. And that's that's what I was, and, and then you've got you look at water, how water behaves. You know, how water behaves naturally, always finds and seeks its level. They tell you it's stuck to a bloody spinning ball flying through space, but you can't feel any movement, and but you'll never see the curve, except from a picture from NASA or a cartoon or a film. There's no suggestion that we live on a globe anywhere. If I oh, was laughing before, could you can Google this if you if you start getting interested and think, well, how how do we know we live on a sphere? It'll give you seven or ten proofs, and one of them is to climb a tree. This is what the um, this is what we, people are being given, uh, um, to to prove that we live on a globe to climb a tree, because you'll see a bit further. Watch a boat sail away. Eclipses. And uh, the ISS. This is the evidence they give you. Good morning, gentlemen. Generally speaking. Morning. Morning, man. It's reduced to NASA pictures. It's a globe. That's all I got. Which is nothing. Consensus. And also, um, sorry, go ahead. Surely, surely we could take NASA. Surely someone can take NASA to court. No, wait. I I, I remember journalism uh, talking about that there is a uh, some law in place that you can't actually take NASA to court. He spoke about something like that for like. Three years, three years ago, he was like discussing some, like taking NASA to court, and then I think he discovered that no, you cannot do it. I think it's got something to do with them being a corporation or something. Or I think they've got they've got something covered. So I remember the guys on FED talking about it last year. There's something yeah. in there where they, they covered. It. I mean, I know they 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 put it in the descriptions on the posts, don't they, on social media. They the imagery, and it'll tell you it's an image. And you know what's crazy? So the U.S. is usually looked at as well the greatest country or one of the greatest countries, you know. And all those like billions going to NASA every year should like solve the homelessness, the joblessness uh, in the U.S. at least, right? And when you look at those like I don't know how many billions every year that goes to NASA in the tens, you know, tens of billions. Like, okay, what is really, how is really benefiting the the American people directly, right? It's not, it's not at all. Yeah, but, but yet, yet those are, those billions are from the taxpayers' money. Yeah. So it's crazy, man. It's just like a heartbreaking. They might be actually, you know, imagine they know the Earth, well, they, they know the Earth's flat. There's maybe possibly other lands out there in in outer space, not upper space, and maybe the money and the what they're doing is they're actually trying to find out what we already know and more about this place, and it's all you know being staged as this space expedition. What they're doing, well, really, yeah, they might be they do send rockets up and all that, all that other, but they might be actually looking into trying to discover what is really happening across there. You sound really muffled one day. Yeah, Sorry. at the end. Sorry, repeat man. what you said at the end, please. I was saying just imagine that the, uh, the, the you know, the, the, the new, they know the Earth's flat and the, 
there might be possibly other lands out there and they, that's what they're using the money for to find out the truth but they they they, they stage in it as a space game yeah i i also remember something you know like uh three four years ago when i used to come in this server and argue about flat earth you know i had like there was no place in here like for discussing like flat earth so i want to thank like all the flat earthers in here like and the like especially the admins and the members of this like channel because now it happened with me many times when people are laughing about flat earth oh so you are laughing hey how about coming down like uh to the or going going up to the flat earth like 24 7 flat earth and debating it for real and you see you see them running everywhere or like uh like uh, lying about yeah well i'm banned from there uh, and i say if you are banned then you are like a liar and stupid that's why you you, you are banned from there because i know those people for years now and <laughs> if you are banned from there man yeah then you are like the bad guy here Yeah, it would be good to get so try and encourage people to come in. Just uh, uh, average everyday Joes, we need to get them in uh, who don't really think about the Earth or where they live. They just take it for granted, like we all did, that we live on a globe, and just say, "Come and step in and um, ask a few questions," because they won't be coming in like an anti-flat Earth or talk a lot of crap. They'll just we'll just ask them a few questions. I'm going to try and get some people in. Yeah, Start because. <laughs> At the time, it was like tricky and also risky to actually invite someone to another server. And, you know, it, it takes a lot from them, you know, like, do I accept? Do I go there? What would I like uh, uh, see there? Or, you know, all those expectations, you know. But now, yeah, they have no argument. Yeah, it's down there, man. <laughs> it's not <laughs> risk free. Come, come with me. I mean, when you get the average Joe in, it's, it'll boil down to why Why would they lie? How could we, How you know, that's what it'll come down to. With As much as you tell them, it'll be just a ridiculous thought that this could be going on and, be, and there's people involved covering this up. It, it, that, that's, that, that's what they can't get. Because... That, that, they probably never really questioned anything and they don't realise a lot of the other lies and deceits that's gone on in, in this world and cover-ups. So, you know, they just get on with their life and doing the job and going to work and never really thinking about the globe, but that's what they live on. Cause... So when someone tells you it's not actually a globe, they'll be like, well, of course it is. It's all been worked out. Everybody knows it's a globe. And <laughs> why would anybody lie about that? That's the part they can't get over. Yeah, I usually say there is like insane amount of answers to that question. Uh, you know, all the power benefit, the economical benefits or like financial benefits, like look at NASA, right? Uh, if it was a flat, <laughs> they would not get like all this like uh, taxpayers money to, uh, you know, explore and advance in the so-called fake space yeah so yeah that's one of the reasons man how about how about is it like satisfactory to you yeah okay so let's move on now to the actual like uh topic here which is the shape of the earth which is flat basically as we know it like proven and and what what i said about like uh those like uh anti anti-flat earth people so you they be usually benefiting directly or indirectly from uh arguing against the flat earth because either they have a job they don't want to lose it they don't have the courage you know to actually talk about it and uh they just want to prove well hey i'm a good fella you know i'm uh, yeah i'm also like arguing against the flat earth yeah those stupid people yeah the ignorant people but th that's one type the the people benefiting indirectly that they just want to keep their jobs and their positions and what have you and their 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 income and they, there's the other people who are actually paid shills that come in here and keep on arguing you know for like you know endless like cycles you know and keep on going in circles just like yeah they are never changing anything 
and they always bring the same stupid arguments against the flat earth as India said that has been debunked like endless amount of times for years now yeah these guys never really change do they i think a very important part of what we do in our community is to record every engagement we have that recorder running 24 7 as much as possible and we provide those recordings to anybody to go back and review and listen to so whether you're on the flat or globe side you have all of our engagements recorded Indeed, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. I think it helps for honesty. I think our currency that we deal in as a community is honesty. And what we've recorded and what we've been able to show with our recordings is a level of dishonest engagement by these anti-flat earthers day after day, week after week, year after year. 100%. It's all about honesty. You know, truth is about honesty, it's about being honest. That's why we stick to the truth and we seek it. And we try to educate people about it. I think it starts to paint a picture. And that is, you can't come in here and defend the globe for very long without at some point being dishonest or invoking some fallacious reasoning. Yes, hundred percent. So, like those people, yeah. when you are when 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 you show them all the like all the truth about it, and like like discuss it with them, and then they don't change anything. They say, "Well, uh, you know, I don't know how how don't like how how you don't know like, what's what's wrong with your with your head." You know, like after all those like hours, now you don't know. Instead of saying, "Yeah, well, you know what." Uh, an honest somebody will say wow you know what actually i didn't know that thank you for all the time man I, I definitely i will i will definitely look into it you know and uh uh yeah well uh you, you changed my mind uh quite a bit uh you know tonight or today and i didn't know about those like uh, all those points about flat earth i i thought like it's stupid ignorant easily debunked you know but uh, no, not after now. Thank you. And they move on. And later on, I have witnessed some some people like that who actually became a flat earthers after afterward, who done the research and uh, yeah, uh, joined the club. You know. Basically, became a flat earthers. Valid, honest, uh, valid point. Key point that if it was honestly a globe, they could honestly come in here and show us it's a globe, but. They can't do that, can they? No. Nope. You know, I have been waiting for like, since two thousand. Sorry, before before two thousand and twelve, about they allegedly NASA said they will like they will uh, launch a manned uh, trip to Mars. Yeah, from two thousand and twelve, and look at now. You know. Uh, <laughs> 12 years later nothing it, it keeps it keeps on being delayed and delayed and delayed for whatever stupid reason yeah after 60 years of the moon landing like yeah something is wrong there well, i mean i'm a true believer i'm just slightly off subject about the luminaries and what the creators put there i think they're there for a reason well we know what the sun's sort of providing and the moon and it tells you it's for times and seasons but I think there's more to it than that. I, whatever it is, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, but there's, they're, they're up there, them luminaries, the constellations, the wandering stars, are play a massive part uh, with everything that's going on down here, I believe. Now, that's another reason they'll tell you, you know, it's just a rock in the sky and we're going to land on it. It's nothing. It's just a bag of dirt, you know. So again, it's just like taking you away from the real, what might be the real um, reason the creators put these things in the sky for us. They've disguised that as just, you know, floating gas balls in a vacuum. Right, it's like NASA's poisoning the well with their version of cosmology to make sure and gatekeep that you are incapable of processing some kind of independent thoughts about the world that you witness on your own. Exactly.
these luminaries really are mysterious and flat earth allows you to entertain all kinds of interesting speculation based off of uh, prior cultures, experiences, and understandings of these things. We already know off the bat immediately that these luminaries are not testable. And we know NASA can't prove what they are and how big they are. And uh, even their composition is in, is in question. Um, I mean... If the creator's so, gone to, to the effort of putting that um, one we call the sun in the in the sky um, to give us time and life and seasons and everything else and heat and warmth and life, uh, then is the other what the other lights he's put there are also there for a reason. He wouldn't just, or I say he, the creator would not put them there just for the sake of it. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I shouldn't speak as the creator. I don't know what, but I can imagine that if, if if the sun and the moon have a purpose, then the other the other luminaries and wandering stars must also have a purpose, whatever that may be. Okay, you know, actually, you, you reminded me. I uh, uh, I watched a documentary a couple of years, uh, sorry, a couple of weeks ago, about that the the uh solar year used to be 12 cycles of the moon basically it wasn't 360 uh, 65 uh days it was in sync with the orbit with the cycle of the moon the the, the monthly cycle of the moon and slowly they changed it and now uh you have there is no connection basically with the like uh, solar year and the lunar year. Uh, for for example, the Jews and the Muslims they use the lunar year. Sorry, the uh, yeah lunar year. Uh, yeah, twelve cycles of the moon, and it's like uh, two hundred fifty five days, where like uh, the Gregorian year, which is like uh, or or calendar basically, it's like three hundred sixty five days. And if you follow those, uh, it, it always goes out of sync, you know, uh, because like, yeah, it varies in the, the, the length. So it wasn't the case historically. It wasn't that always. Have you ever read the uh, Book of Enoch on the, uh, the sun and moon? No. Really interesting. Yeah, I've, I've heard, yes, I heard great stuff about it. Uh, it does sort of the way it, 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 it's a lovely to read uh, about it. It, t it tells you the uh, going to the moon, uh, the cycles, and coming in and out of portals, and how many it, it's got it, the seventh of its light. It goes into some detail about the light of the sun and the moon, and it gives it other names and and, and where where it, it's just if you just I think it's chapter seventy six in the book of Enoch talking to someone about this the other day and we said <laughs> when they ask for a model we should just send them the uh, book of enoch so go on no worries uh, yeah so imagine like the the distortion of of knowledge and history it's insanely deep even the calendar we use nowadays isn't accurate isn't really correct uh, historically as like all civilizations used to like have the lunar and solar calendars in sync together, uh, which will be much much stronger. So you have the sun like representing the uh, the like the complete year, where the moon is actually representing the month, uh, the complete month. And yeah, with the, with that, you are set. It, it would it wouldn't really, uh, uh, or sorry, it would actually benefit humanity much more than now with all those like changes well that um just read you a bit of that chapter 77 uh the names of the sun are these one are yaris the other thomas the moon has four names the first is asonia the second elba the third Bernice, and the fourth era these are the two great luminaries whose orbs uh, as the orbs of heaven and the dimensions of both are equal. 
in the orb of the sun, there is a seventh portion of light, which is added to it from the moon. By measure, it is put in until a seventh portion of the light of the sun is departed. They set, enter into the western gate, circuit by the north, and through the eastern gate go forth over the face of the heaven. When the moon rises, it appears in heaven, and the half of the seventh portion of light is all which is in it. In 14 days, the whole of its light is completed. And it goes on and on like this, and explaining the cycles of these um, luminaries into some detail. It's telling you how much light they're giving off, how they share in the light, uh, and how it's moving through some portals at different times. So it's really, really interesting. Book of Enoch, chapter 77. Yep. I saw a really interesting sun dog video before. Um, you know, and some of you guys have seen these too. What made this one interesting and unique was the, uh, the observer had filmed 360 degrees a sun dog and typically you know you see the uh the two points of light on either side of the sun and then you see points of light above and below the sun well this also showed additional points of light in a circle a horizontal circle that went all the way around the observer so on the same circle of light the same circuit there were five points of light one of them including the sun Yeah, I posted the in the side chat. It's the title. Sadly, it's in Arabic only, but like uh, there is a English subtitle for it. And they talk about the calendars and uh, the old civilizations and how they used to like to calculate all these like uh, cycles of the sun and the moon and how now it's changed for like whatever you know like uh, fallacious reason. The sun dog thing is really good. Elijah has a bunch of photos that he's taken that uh, captured some good ones. Regarding stolen history, I read a really compelling book not too long ago called A Guide to the Phantom Dark Age by Emmett Scott. And it was really well done, really scholarly researched. Um, we're talking lots of end notes, and some footnotes, um, references, citations for, for some wild claims that he puts forth. And the main claim he presented, he was focused on Charlemagne, and Charlemagne being a, a fiction created by Emperor Otto. There are a series of, of emperors that were uh, of, of uh, Gothic origin, and it appears that they kind of fabricated their history to cement their their uh, their stake over rebuilding Western Europe after the fall of Rome. Yep, yep. Uh, those like documentaries mentioned uh, stuff about the like uh, the emperors of Europe and uh, the Roman Empire. How they uh, sorry, the, not Europe, the emperors of of uh, Rome, the Roman emperors. How they like uh, when they when, when there's a new emperor, they they basically change you know the calendar and the dates and the even the even the ordering of the month you know and uh, the first month of for example the uh, basically january wasn't always the first month in the like uh, right. uh solar it year it was march exactly so th those documentaries talk about that which is insane you know like you would you would think as like like the dates and the calendar should be something like fixed yeah unchanged at all you know because like it's just following it should be following the sun and the moon and yet you would be surprised that it's not actually and people manipulated it what i also find interesting too on on the same topic is how you had western emperors rise up 
and do all these things while there was still a sitting emperor in the east. So the Roman emperors that existed, um, that are often given credit for their existence prior to the Great Schism of 1057, were all basically usurpers. Because there was an Eastern emperor in the seat of Constantinople all the way until, until their defeat in 1450-something when, when Byzantium fell once and for all to uh, the Ottomans. But again, just to go a little bit, like we were talking before about NASA, you know, describing the luminaries as something that they're not, people lying because it's taken away our proper consciousness and spiritual growth um it's the same um i oh, lost track there sorry mate <laughs> it went right on my fucking head what i was going to say um what would what was you saying sorry i was just going to wrap up that point and say that the chronology of of the east of byzantium uh, is different than the west and in the east they keep holies feast days for saints and their timelines don't add up to western um depictions of those same saints mm. that was it as on the same of the calendar thing is that also uh puts you out of sync with actually uh with nature the the fact that um they've changed these calendar months and and days of and how many days are in a month because that should be coming from them luminaries yeah, properly from them. They should be telling us the, the signs and the seasons and, and everything else. But they've changed it. You sound muff so muffled now, I can't hear you, man. Sorry. Yeah, it's like New Year. They, they tell you the New Year's in um, January, in the deepest of winter, when it's obvious it's... It, it, spring equinox is the is the beginning of a, a a new cycle, especially in the northern circle. I'll call it. That's when life springs into action, and and the blossoms come on the tree, and it's lambing season, and the flowers and the leaves start to. That's that's a new year. So that that's nature. Uh, that 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 is a new year. But they tell you it's in winter. It's not a new year in the darkest days of winter. So that, that again, it, it puts you out of uh, syncretism with creation. All this. That's all yeah, good, good point. Good point. You know, actually, all those attempts to just distort and this image and manipulate, like basically all angles and aspects and depths of of like human life, you know, like to disconnect them with like from nature because like. When you're connected to nature, you would live much, much better life. Uh, but look at now, you know, all this, like, for example, pollution, destruction in, in Earth, you know, and in the sea. Uh, it's crazy, man. All of that just because they they wouldn't really look at nature now as a a home, but a, as a business, you know, as a... Uh, and that's, I mean, it's April. That's why they have April Fool's Day. I mean... You're a fool if you believe that the new year is in winter and not now. This is the, we're in the the new year now, springtime. The sun's moved over the equator, pops into the northern circle. It's bringing new light and life, yeah. And that's anyone who thinks that that isn't the case is a fool. Yeah, and you know, actually, uh, that that's you know, one Dick that. Uh... The documentary I posted in the, 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 the sorry the side chat uh, also mentioned the like uh, Fool's Day, April's Fool's Day, which is something to do with that uh, the changing the calendar, which is like you know weird how you know how NASA nowadays mock people like to their faces, you know, like about like stuff and they when they manipulate stuff and they laugh, you know, at people. This is exactly the same deal with when with like exactly. April's Fool's Day. Yep, it, it is mocking you. Yeah, because they've, they're trying to mess with the signs and the seasons and put put us out of sync with the creator's creation. But if 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 all the 
I mean, really, if, I'm not going to say the, the sun cycle and the moon cycle. It should be that should give you the so many equal days in a month, really, not like 28 days in one and a leap year and, and all this. So yep. it should all be predicted by the creation in the heavens, which the creator has given us, and they've tampered with it. You know what? Even even September, according to the documentaries, it's uh, it means the eight months a month in the like for the Romans, you know, in the like uh, Latin or something. But uh, uh, they changed it because they wanted August like that, like represent Augustine, you know, the emperor to be yeah. before. Yeah. So they just like moved <laughs> entire month that used to used to mean the eighth month. Eighth, eighth month and they moved it uh, like uh, back uh, one month just because well we want the emperor month to be the first you know be before it which is like crazy or maybe yeah maybe uh gf6 what you are saying yes maybe i'm i'm mistaken thank you for correcting me Yeah, it's October, not like uh, September. Thank you. So I try and do it as well, but you, you should try and have this in mind all the time and be mindful of the uh, actual seasons and what's going on with the luminaries and um, try and work with them as we possibly should be doing. Yeah? And try and, try and fit in with how it should be naturally Let's try it have, have a, a, a research that and and see what you can do to do that and see if it see if it has any um change within you yep saying that to me my, my friend's dad he's, he's an elderly guy and but he didn't. He, he saw. I mean, I, I was. I I point out this time of the year is Easter, um, and as the sun is coming up uh, into the northern uh, circle, it's it's in the east it, it, as it's returning back to us for springtime, and that's the, and then we're celebrating Easter, aren't we, at the moment? And then the Jewish holidays, Passover. Again, the sun is passing over the ecliptic and the equator coming into the northern circle yeah so it's passing over and that's when you have uh passover celebrations and also you've got ramadan which is uh, another celebration that's happening at the moment and i'm talking western astrology now but um people might argue this isn't correct but on that spring equinox as the sun is passing over in the east it's in the constellation of uh, Aries, which is a ram. And then you've got Ramadan. So you've got Ramadan, the sun's in Aries, the ram. You've got Easter, the sun's in the east. And you've got um, Passover, the sun's passing over the equator. Which I find very interesting. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. Like uh, the insane amount of efforts put by some individuals historically to separate themselves and their civilization and culture from basically the mainstream humanity at the time it is insane that's why you have like all the division nowadays that even people people like uh still till this day the coptic calendar isn't really they they don't consider this year 2024 you know it's something else i, I forgot what what is it for them and same with the like russian orthodox you know it's a another year like people can't agree even on the of the on the year uh, of the birth of jesus you know which, which is like weird yeah that's why it's called holy day holiday because of the sun the sun is holy. Yeah.
So that all, all what all what we talked about is about why would they lie? You know, the lie is everywhere, even in the calendar, even in the date. Yeah, true, mate. True. And back to the you know pyramids. Yeah, imagine if like the not the Egyptians because I believe this like uh, the pyramids uh, existed from like uh, before the floods. Uh, so yeah, people basically back back then used to enjoy free free power, basically free electricity, uh, transportation. You know, I have looked into stuff about like the old civilization, how advanced it was before the flood, and uh, yeah, man. So. Yep. The only thing that gets me with it, like I say, when if, if I've always sort of looked into things, but I started twigging a bit more when I realised that I don't think the pyramids were built as they were telling us they was built. Um, I think the advancement of that is unbelievable. Now, at that time I was going through all that, I was telling people, because there's a, there's a, and I don't know how true this is, they'll tell you within this pyramid um, information that the measurements of the angles and the and everything equates to some sort of earth measurement globe earth measurement so i was spouting all this out to people you know th there's a hidden measurement within the pyramids which matches the circumference of the earth or something along them lines anyway uh, and i think they do say that but obviously now i know the earth isn't a sphere um so i i don't know if the measurements of the pyramid i've got any um meaning to the flat earth or some other meaning and they disguised it to say well it measures the globe so they put that in there for a bit more brainwashing probably to say well they've even got the globe measurements on the pyramid this is and um, you know the, the this civilization was so advanced so the, the, they're sneaking it in there as well you know what you know the the uh, lion-like statue close to the pyramids abul hole this this like uh this guy this huge statue out there is accurate to the millimeter that is a cnc machining out there like historically like what how would you do that like to the millimeter accuracy curving something out of out, out of one piece of a huge like uh, stone or or something yeah, well, to the millimeter saying, accuracy without without cnc before. machining yeah but imagine like we were saying before about how, how humans must be maybe some sort of, um, and we are an advanced creature, but maybe we don't know our full potential. Um, maybe that potential comes and goes on some sort of big cycle. Um, I don't know. But at some point then in history, maybe the humans were particularly um, grown in consciousness and spirituality, and, uh, and they had this, the discovered technology to do these things which we are now lacking yeah i agree but this may come back round we've you know we've got a day cycle we've got monthly cycles we've got yearly cycles it's supposed to be a great yearly cycle which is 25000 years or something so that that might encounter like the golden age the iron age bronze age silver age and that might reflect on uh, how humans are behaving on the planet at that time. Sorry, flat Earth at that time. Yeah. Again, it might be to do with the heavenlies in the sky, which the creators put there. At some points, we're going to be at the lowest ebb of life, like the trees and everything is in the winter. Um, on a, and that's on a yearly scale. But then this might happen on a bigger scale where. We have a we have a big winter for I don't know um, four thousand years or more. Yeah, uh, sadly I don't have it now. Sorry, go ahead. No, I'm just saying. So that that's where, where are we now? I mean, if we, if we if we're sort of determining that to where they say the sun is, and they're saying it's just moving into Aquarius after being in Pisces for two thousand years, then there's a shift. The sun, if that if that does affect anything on earth uh, where the sun is which constellation is in him behind in front of for 2000 years in pisces uh, 
so that might determine sort of behavior on earth in a certain way belief systems and knowledge and i don't know now it's moving into aquarius then this is a sh big shift that's going on at the moment people say there's an awakening going on people are, but it's probably to do with that god's luminaries moving and adjusting to a new phase for another 2000 years will be uh, and it's not going to happen immediately but you can see there's something happening there's a change happening at the moment yeah and we know there's a change in the sun's in the sun's position and constellation so that we know it and so is it is the relationship is there a relationship there Yep, there's a great there, there's a great image about like uh, old civilization where where they bring the like uh, what seems like a representation of the concept of the universe for all all civilization you know like for the Egyptians the Mayans the this and that you know you see all of them agreeing about like flat Earth firmament above and something you know happening in, in this like concept of this of of theirs. Except when it comes to NASA, suddenly it's a ball. It's a ball, man.
What doing? Kind of quiet in here.
Oh, yeah, hello. Is this the Flat Earth Society? These guys are all muted. No, it says, look at the rules. It says not the Flat Earth Society. Oh. Wait, do you believe in Flat Earth? But, yeah, do you believe in Flat Earth? No, it's not a belief. Oh, well, it's you definitely suck. not. Well, the Earth is going to be what it is, regardless of what you believe or what you don't believe. Belief is simply not required. Was that it? Did you pew her out?
Earth is a sphere. I.
What up, what up, what up? Are you guys having a marvelous day?
Slam like him. I want to talk about Fat Earth. Hello. That everyone El Gustavo Fring
247 flat earth 247 flat earth 247 flat earth 247 flat earth Gustavo Fring Nestor the Jester You guys you scare them away Quetzal Cottel Resolve Trinity is good and loves everyone. F Batman. 100 emoji. AU emoji. Ping pong emoji. Man's bathroom emoji. Crit. Bracket. GF6. Closed bracket. Space. Manufactatum. So, what brings you here? Uh, every event leading up to me being here. Mm. Which so, is? everything. What are you looking for today, then? What am I looking for? Yeah. So, How can we help you today? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Do I need help? No, I don't think that I do. All right, then. Nice shot. Very fruitful. Yo. You know how much I would expect from my fucking... What did he say? I didn't hear. Something about sex. What do you say? The guy who left? Yo, Nestor, you're fucking slow today. Holy shit. I don't know. Can you reply you faster? Oh, you're dying there. What's going on? You my boss or what, man? Quetzal la quatal. Quetzal la quatal. What are you doing, man? Are you sleeping? What am I doing? I'm Waking up? Yes, I'm sleeping while I'm playing poker and talking to you. Sir. Poker? Hey. All right. Hi. I'm going to you. I'm playing, I'm playing I'm with the pennies. Yeah, thank you very much. I'll need it.
What are you doing, boss? Holy shit, you're fucking slow today. Oh, dearie me, dearie, dearie me, where I love you, has I? What a quiet Monday, eh? Because people are doing something else. Yeah.
Yo. Hey. Flat Earthers. Hey. Are you all Flat Earthers? Welcome, welcome, brother. Welcome. Welcome. Are you all Flat Earthers? Welcome, brother. How can we help you? Are you Flat Earthers? Sure. Yes. Why do you believe the Earth is flat? We don't believe. But you know the Earth is flat? Well, it's a tough question. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We know first, that. Uh, we, I we think know first that we have to. Part, huh? Yeah. First, we have to ask him. What do you know? Uh, when you say flat, what do you mean? I mean, it's not uh, the. It's it's a pancake basically. It has a dome. Pancake. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, and it has a and it has a dome, in a pancake shape, and it has a dome. Mm. Yeah. What what has a pancake shape? As the structure of the the earth, the earth like, being like, like the trees this, and the grass like, and the and the houses like a, they have a like, they have a structure like, shape. It's like it's like a disc. Oh. What is? Are well, you trying to make to play dumb? Uh, oh, but you're saying, you're calling the earth like the things on the earth ha all have a consistent shape to them. I I don't observe that in reality. I I see different shapes, different elevations. Uh, yeah, but you asked me what's the general what's the general shape of the Earth. So I said, well, what, what, what do you mean by flat? I mean like a disc that has a dome. You think flat is a shape? It's not a shape. It's uh, we can understand that it's something that is not round. Okay. Would you say that's a description of a surface and not a shape? That's the description of the surface, but what do you care what's under the surface? Now, who knows what's under the surface? The lowest so my, someone dug is like, what is it, eight, eight miles or something like that? Yeah, like seven, eight miles. Seven, eight yeah. miles. Yeah, no one has gone deeper than that ever. Yeah, but we don't, so we, we're, not, we're not questioning the, what's below the, the plane level. We're talking about the plane level. Which you yeah. believe is flat. Well, a flat level, and it has no curvature. I mean, a plane would not. A plane would not have any curvature. No, that would be that would be silly. A leveled plane. Yeah. Uh, that's why. Th th that's why. Like uh, the weird comment like this would get you nowhere, but more stupidity and laugh. Not I really. mean. Yeah, I, I, listen, a plane has no curvature to it. Like, Bro, you know, what, the, what the hell are you talking Even about? Like, what, what, what the hell are you talking why. about? We're talking about the shape of the Earth, and you're talking about the plane. What the hell are you talking about? I'm just responding to your comment about a plane. I know. Mm. Is this guy retarded or something? Is, is, is this the reject of the group? Well, well, what's so, his role? What, what's his role in cool. this uh, in this room? I'm just rolling with the conversation to, to just to just yeah. uh, annoy the people and make them leave. <laughs> All right, no, so, no. yeah. But yeah, uh, the one you're thinking about it's the one in space, floating disc. Yeah, I think that's the one you're thinking about when you hear uh, flat Earth. I guess, but that's not what we uh, claim or whatever speak about. Yeah. So do you know? So do you know about that time where a flat earther literally exposed the the whole theory by uh, that light through uh, what did they what did they call it? That uh, that giant guy, right? The like twenty three he, foot he, tall he, guy. He used the yeah. uh, light, and then he asked the guy to <laughs> my friend take a camera to... and put it in, it, and put it in seventeen degrees above. Wait, my, my friend, a flat earther proved the earth being what? A sphere? Are you kidding me? No, that just pr proves the earth is not flat. This guy exposed himself. When he asked the guy to raise up the camera, that just proved the curvature. The curvature from the plane, like a deviation from the plane. Is that, no, because it was a calculated reality. like uh, uh, 3.5 miles. And they calculated, yeah, calculated oh, yeah. but that, that should be a three, three degrees off. If there is a if there is a curvature, three degrees he got, of deviation from a plane, right? From like a straight line. No, from a from a flat surface. A straight line that lies within a plane, right? Yeah, no, no, no big deal. 
but you, there should be a deviation from that is what you're saying no let me just mute this guy <laughs> fucking reject <laughs> so anyways what i mean is that Are you right, the buddy? people that try to prove your theory they basically they they prove I mean, how listen, stupid I it I is i don't know if if I'm really muted or like, not muted, do you understand if what I'm I am really to say? muted, I, I 